did a whole lot of this. <laughs> Literally like that as well. Literally like that. Um, can I just say a thank you to our lovely Lynns for coming to our, my rescue on Thursday? Oh, yeah. I started the show thinking, I'll be all right. Oh, I'll be all right. Well, I was on King Cold. Yeah. And you've been probably doing beautiful Debs, everybody. Hello. Do you think it's because we hugged? I know. It might be my fault, you know. We should, I don't think it's your fault. Germs. We just shared love and germs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel okay now. I, I'm losing my voice a little bit, but I'm good. And I've got no germs that I know of to share with you today. No, nor me, hopefully. I sound like an old goat sometimes. No, you don't. You sound like um, one of those sexy DJs. Do I? Yeah. Like ah. Joe Wiley. She's got a nice... Husky voice. Husky, that's what you sound like. Do you know, I've got a, a very small story about that. Like Go when on. I was in school and, and it was parents' evening, <laughs> and my dad, he was quite a handsome man. You've seen photos yeah, he, of my dad. He, he, was, he was a good looking chap, my dad. All my friends fancied my dad. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, for God's sake, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> um, but I went to my parents' evening, and I remember speaking to my maths teacher, which, as you know, was not my strong point. Um, but my dad had had a, a cold and had a little bit of a, like, husky voice from the cold and my teacher she was like oh mr barker your voice is so gorgeous <gasps> my mum sat there like oh, <laughs> she was properly swooning over my dad i'll never forget <laughs> but anyway i didn't mind because it meant that she didn't really talk about what i wasn't doing very well at, so it was all good <laughs> um anyway jewelry makers we're back we're fighting fits and we've got an amazing what day is it tuesday it's Tuesday. Tuesday. It is, yeah. That's the thing when you're off, you, you, you lose track of time, don't you? I don't know what's going on. I mean, you know. I have to ask Alexa, Alexa, what day is it? Do you? <laughs> Alexa, what day is it? Not what date, what day? What's my name? Yeah. Alexa, who yeah. am I? No, when we're going into the school holidays, so I lose complete track then for the foreseeable. Oh, I love the school holidays. It's carnage in my house, school holidays. I like... I mean, I don't have to drive my daughter to college. I mean, I don't have to drive her anyway, but I do. Um, so there's none of those trips. Yeah. So that's good. No, you don't have to set alarms so frequently, do that's you? That's it, that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. But um, I will say, probably on repeat, um, come Friday, because that's when they break up, if you can't get on, play separate. Oh, yeah. That is like a slogan in our house. Mm -hmm. If you can't be nice to each other, mm -hmm. play separately then. Because oh, it's... Nice. <laughs> Um, anyway, what is coming up on your Thursday, Tuesday show? Told you. And um, Tuesday <laughs> show, we've got gorgeous Debbie Kershaw. I will learn to speak in a minute. Um, and you've got the most amazing projects, which I'll get to. We'll do it in order. That okay. makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, at eight o'clock, you know, your early bird. Our lovely jewellery makers, we have some 925 two, sterling silver knot covers. Also go mm -hmm. by the name Colots. Colots, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're Colots. But they're designed collots so normally we're used to just a circle aren't we yeah these have got like little stars and flowers yeah I so you them. can even decorate your knots <gasps> i know how good's that i've never seen those before um i don't know if we've done them before deb's i'm not sure we've done them hang on hang on that one's a star how good's that oh that's so cool and then you've also got them in the flowers too. Shall I show you a flower? Yeah. Let's show you a flower. Hang on, ads. There you go. There's a pretty flower too. Oh, I love the flowers. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, I love those. Oh, they're gorgeous. So, um, shop ahead on these jewellery makers. Have we got quantity? Yes. We have about 250 of each of them. So, stock up. Shop ahead. They're in items number one and two. Um, you get four of each. So you get four of each of them per pack. So if you want to multi-buy, then obviously you can. You're not capped. And then straight away, I can see they're going on the phone line. So um, they're coming your way at eight o'clock, along with lots of other early bird deals. Then at nine o'clock, inspired by animals, Debs. In the jungle, we... Wom, wom, but we haven't got a lion. Oh no, we kind of have. A wimble way, a wimble way, a wimble way. Sorry, I have to kick into Pumba. <laughs> I love um, Pumba. <laughs> um, you've got an elephant. Yeah, look at him. Isn't and he's he lovely? Obsidian. He's, he's absolutely gorgeous. beautiful. And then you've also got a leopard. A leopard in your jasper. Look at him. Hello. Little bully cat. 
He's so cute. He's beautiful. Hand carved. Yeah. And also, you have, I, I think this is my favourite. This is my favourite. Yeah, the zebra. He's so cute. And That's look how gorgeous. cleverly they've carved him so that all of his colours are all zebra like. And is it just like, is he is? He's perfect to use. And little. Little and they're waffle. really affordable, these projects. Oh, are they? Yeah, really affordable. So those are coming up at nine o'clock, jewellery makers. Plus you get the strands, plus you get some spaces, don't you? Yes, you Alongside do. Alongside that. So it's a, it's a really full jam-packed kit. It's a bit like old school kit. Yeah, old school. Really love it. Old school. I was with Sheila on Sunday. Oh, I have seen Sheila. Sheila for a long time. <laughs> I meant old school jewellery maker now. <laughs> She's an amazing jewellery maker, Sheila yeah she really is like she she makes things and i'm like you know she's just got she's got that incredible eye for design and she just uh, just got such great energy she oh has. she's brilliant yeah she doesn't stop she's funny she's on well. bouncy castle and everything on Sunday. <laughs> yeah that was amazing um 10 o'clock then jewelry makers i'm going to be joined by a very special guest am i going to tell you who it is yet Shall I? Is it who I just saw? It is who you just oh! saw. The first time ever. So you've got to give him the, the warmest of welcomes. And he has got a massive deal for you, jewellery makers. Um, we've actually got what? A VT. Have we? Should we do it now? Should we do it now? No, because I've not seen this. Okay. Who is your mystery guest at 10 o'clock today? It's manager's special this week, but half of them have decided to go on holiday. So some of the team members have decided to take over instead, and now they think they're the managers. We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for manager specials on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Only at Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Only at Jewelry Maker. You're fired. <laughs> You're fired. You can't fire Wayne in Georgia. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, Although funny. I do think that would be quite fun just to say. Just to say to the guy, I don't mean it, sorry, don't fire me. <laughs> I would say that to my husband when we're playing board games because he's just... <coughs> Oh, we've got Alan! Yay! Yay! Alan's joining us at 10 o'clock, so it's going to be absolute mayhem. Um, a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Because he is the funniest. If there was an award for the funniest jewelry make jewelry maker crew member, it would probably go to Alan, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, I think it would, Ross. You don't do you don't do your stand up comedy anymore, do you? Otherwise, the award would go to you. But you you are pretty funny, yeah. You are pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Alan's going on at oh. ten with six hundred pearls, and they're pearls in sizes that you don't often see. So to be fair, he's bought, he's got probably one of the, the, the best deals. I don't know how he's managed to navigate the price. So I hope he's got that moustache. You've got some serious goodies on that desk today. I know, I know, I know, I know. 600 of these. Oh. Shall, we give you, shall we give you a hint at how low these are going? Look at the luster. They're metallic, yeah. Super metallic. Oh, they're gorgeous. How about if I say, you know how expensive pills are at the moment? Yes. These are some of the most affordable pills you have seen in ages. Seriously? Yeah, possibly ever. Possibly ever. Yeah. 600 of them, Debs. I might have People to won't just get one. Might have to disappear under the desk with you, my phone. You, yeah. <laughs> you could disappear. <laughs> 600 quantity. That's amazing. Low price. <gasps> Extra low price. I think they, I think Alan will literally sell out a 600 today. And what time is this on? 10. Okay. 10 o'clock. Yeah, 10 o'clock. So don't go anywhere. And I'm very much looking forward to Alan's uh, TV debut. Because it is his first time, isn't it, really? On, I think. It is. He's done, he's done VTs. Um, anyway, so that's a 10. 
Then at 11 o'clock, um, one of our favorite gemstones. Oh, bless you. Ross has said, this is the third time, Mel, I've scheduled the showcase for you. And was I poorly last time? Last time we didn't have time. Second time I was poorly, I had to go off air. Uh, but well, yeah, third time lucky then, Roscoe. Well, because there's some lovely strands here. The quality of our malachite is like second to none. We've got brand new bullseye malachite. Creme de la creme doesn't get much better than that. Oof. Brand new rounds, um, full of lustre, full of those vivid green colours that we all aspire to own in this beautiful gemstone. That is everywhere at the moment. The high, by, <gasps> when I say everywhere, in the most luxurious of jewelry houses, obviously. Um, so that's coming your way at a, an amazing jewelry maker showcase price tag. I know it's incredible, isn't it? And then at 12 o'clock, Debs, mm. I was doing a bit of reading about your masterclass. Because mm -hmm. um, I absolutely, this has to be one of the most feminine gemstones that exist. Mm -hmm. It's certainly one of the rarest organic gemstones on our planet. And we're talking Queen Conk. I know. Conk. It is pronounced Conk. We can out, we pronounce it conch, but technically it is actually conch. See, I never know what to say. Conch. It is conch. Conch. Yeah. Like conquer, but conch. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and again, I'm going to say this on the back of Alan's show. Mm. This is the most affordable queen conch I've seen. Oh, really? Yeah. Three different connectors. So oh, you've gorgeous. got that beautiful square. You have a rect you have a clover yep and the other shape is circle. a circle shape as well so 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 beautiful really beautiful so they're all at 12 o'clock and again surprisingly affordable for one of the world's rarest organic gemstones so Ooh. that's coming up at 12 o'clock jewelry makers we're gonna have a lot of fun this tuesday lots of interaction can i also just give you a little bit of a heads up on the most insanely beautiful pearls that are coming up in the nine o'clock is it roscoe yeah, in the nine o'clock hour. Can you see those? Sorry, there you are, Becky. Um, you've got your wonderful multicolored graduated pearls coming up at nine o'clock. These are limited, as you can imagine. I've got 27 of these available. Beautiful. I mean, we always say it, Debs. Not it was silk, put it on a gold clasp. Yes, I mean, oh, they're beautiful. That's heirloom jewelry. And do you know what I've seen a lot of people doing lately is wearing a string of pearls with their regular, ne you know, stack yeah. of necklaces every day. Yeah. You know, like YouTubers I follow and people on Instagram, and they, they'll have these beautiful pearls and they wear them every day. Yeah. And they're becoming a staple in Absolutely. people's wardrobe, and aren't what, they? And so it should be. Yeah, definitely. You know, you've got, if you've got amazing pearls, wear them. Life's it's too short. It's almost a shame to keep them in your, in your drawer, isn't it? Or in a jewelry box. Agreed. Um, so they're coming up. Get your messages in as well, jewelry makers, because oh, there'll be giggles today. Because I've got Debs. You know, there's always giggles. <laughs> we try and behave, don't we? Um, nah, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> not so much. Maybe we don't. Um, starting with what? Cup chain, cup chain, cup chain, cup chain. Am I meant to have two? No. Oh no. It's got two. <gasps> oh, that's long. It's a meter. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Normally, well, we, I remember launching Cup Chain. It was about that long from Swarovski, and they were like fourteen ninety five, if I remember rightly. Da, 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 da. Oh, it sold out. Well done. Well done. So many of you there. Congratulations. That was a deal, Roscoe. Um. To be fair, there's a tea bar here of dreams. Yes, amethyst with an AB coating. We don't see amethyst that often, Debs, do we? Not anymore, one of my faves. Oh, AB coating, I've never seen an amethyst with an AB yeah, coating. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a really good point. It's magical, isn't it? Oh, it's Absolutely gorgeous. magical. Look at that. And a graduation to it as well. Um, oh, 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 you have to be quick. Plus it's Zambian jewelry makers. It's gone. Well done, well done. Next up. It's already sold out. <coughs> what is it? Okay, we have to show a picture. <coughs> you set it at a pound on the web. Right, okay. So you've chopped ahead. Okay. Ah, pack of seven. Mixed gemstones, crystal. Love crystals. Ah. Ah, oh, there they all are. Huh? All that for are a you pound. Kidding? For a pound. That's incredible, Ross. He's, he is the best. 
What a lovely gift for someone. I know. Amazing. He's also made another massive mistake. <laughs> he says, I won't even tell you what it is. If you can work out, message in. Where's the spot the mistake? Oh, what? You can spot it on the website. Okay. It's, spo it's supposed to be at a price, but he set it at half. So if you can, if you can work out what it is, he'll tell you, he says. Okay. What if you go text in? Text in if you can figure out where there's a huge mistake, huge error, he says, on the eight o'clock hour. I'd check it out before you message in, though. <laughs> because, should we do an apology? What were you apologising for? Because you set the last one at a pound and it sold out before we even showed it. Yeah, okay. Close out deal. On. Brand new low. Natural blue sapphire. Yes, please. This will be lovely with all the pearls you've got coming up today. Three millimeter, one of our most popular sizes for sure. It would go amazing with Alan's pearls. Go beautiful with Deb's projects. It'll go incredibly with your Queen Kong. Yes. It'll go amazing with your nine o'clock pearls as well. It's genuine sapphire. Look at the quality of those. So sparkly, aren't they? Yeah, beautiful. Now we've got a hundred. Let's do a close out on 100 jewelry makers. Brand new low, get Tuesday started kind of deal. It's totally natural. They're not diffused. They're not Fisher filled or even heat treated. Graphics alive. And let's just say it as it is. That's 25 carats of natural sapphire at £49.99. pence. Where else in the world? Sorry, just got to say that. Where else in the world will you find natural sapphire for £50? No. Of this quality as well, mm -mm. you know, where you've got that light performance, where you've got that wonderful rich regal blue. Um, jewelry makers, close out deal. So join us on the web, join us on the phone lines. Oh, 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 Debs. Yeah. Capriccio. Can you imagine doing it in sapphire? <sighs> Four. Four. Whoa. Yes, L. Yes. That, that would be nice, wouldn't it? And most of the time we'd be like, oh, that'd be expensive. Because you'd need a few strands, wouldn't you? You need about 250. Okay. Okay. So I reckon today might be the day that that Capriccio bracelet is doable. Sapphire. Sapphire. Oh, Ross is saying, I'm telling you now, you're going to be able to multiply on this. Three millimetres, which has become one of the most popular sizes here at Jewelry Maker. Absolutely. And rightfully so, because you can do so much with a three mil, can't you? Brady Beads. Uh, loom it. Put a large pearl in the centre mm. and make a choker necklace or a bracelet. So nice. sapphire and one pearl. Nice. A lot of celebrities are wearing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see more of you on the web, more of you on the phone lines. We've got a hundred. We want to take this to an extra, extra, extra low, brand new low. So you've got to help us out with this. Join us and then we can do it. Even if, like, if you want to add multiples to your basket. What about a full sapphire tassel? Oh, come on. Oh. If yes. you're a September baby, it's a given. You've got to have it. I tell you what, let's show you a price that you're not going to pay today. Not. In fact, we're nowhere near. This is not your price. Not your price. Not. Ooh, ooh. I'm excited, I'm excited. We've got 25 carats of natural sapphire. We're under 20, 20 pounds. I almost said quid then. And we're going even lower, Debs. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm That's excited. super amazing. Oh, Ross, 100 of these are going to sell out in a nanosecond. Look at the web, look at the phone lines. There you go, jewelry makers. And we are not even close. Not even close to your closeout deal. Look at the quality of the sapphire. It's not, you know, heavily included, no. really dark borderline black sapphire. <laughs> yes, please. That Capriccio bracelet is doable though, isn't it? And when people ask, you can say, oh, it's sapphire. It's exclusively sapphire. And I'd be making it for me. <laughs> yeah, 100%. percent i would be selling that. Me? Yeah, that's all mine. <laughs> that is all mine. Pop on first dibs after you've made your confirmations as well. And they, they, were, they use uh, faceted sapphire, mm. not just your calibrated sizes. Um, 
Yeah, and, and you're talking hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. The phone lines and the web has gone wild. Way! Guess what? That's not your closeout deal. Ross said a mega, mega, mega closeout deal. People are buying multiples. Oh, Capriccio's. Do you think they're going to? I hope so. I hope so. Lucy, Jacqueline, Hilda, Linda, Audrey, Michael, Marianne. I, mean, I can't keep it on. There's so many names. Every time I look at the call screens, it jumps. We're going even lower. Look at the quality of the sapphire. I'd understand if it was kind of borderline black, but it's not. And it's really sparkly, this strand, yeah, isn't it? That's a three mil for you, though, isn't it? I love it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ross, this might that that's got a, <laughs> that might be a record, you know, <laughs> as in one of the lowest prices for this quality of sapphire. It might well be a record. Guess what, says Ross? It's still not your final price. Really? I want to put these in between my pearls. I've got a strand of pearls that will go beautifully with this. Oh, well, stock up now. Nah, now is the time to stock up on your sapphire. Just to, just to put that into perspective, jewelry makers, we're saying stock up on sapphire. <laughs> Do you remember the time when we first launched Sapphire oh, here yeah. at Jewelry Maker? The little, um, little gems of distinction. Yeah, and they were nowhere near twelve ninety nine. No, 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 no. No way near. And people say our prices are, go are going up. They, they are not, not in my opinion. I think they've gone the opposite way. I agree. Are you ready? Twos, twos, four. Natural blue sapphire, twenty five carats of. <gasps> oh, it's good. Yeah, ten, ten, ten quid. I'm going to get, well, if there's any left, I'm going to get some because Daisy loves this gemstone. And I'm also going to get some for me because I want a Capriccio. Yeah, can you imagine that? A Capriccio sapphire so, bracelet. A, a sapphire Capriccio bracelet. And I reckon two or three to be safe of those for 30, 30 quid. Yeah, 30 pounds. You can make a sapphire Capriccio bracelet. That would be insane. Oh, yeah. Insane. And like you said, get them to go in between your pearls as well. Because sapphire tassels. and pearls. And tassels. I love your tassel idea. I oh. think that'd be amazing. Hold everything. Oh, okay. Why is sapphire in July? I think our I think our IT are our, our I don't I don't <laughs> Teresa, we didn't know this. I don't understand why, Sapphire. Okay, it's all good, try it. Plus there's 20% off that price too. There you are, well, eagle eye Teresa there. <coughs> Excuse me. Give it a try, July, uh, July? July 20. <laughs> July 20, give it a try. I didn't know that. <coughs> Excuse me. We did that price tag without knowing what that. We don't keep an eye on the web, believe it or not. It is actually managed separately. Okay, clock to close because of that. We need to, we need, yeah. What's that? I have these lovely stones. They're beautiful, Mandy, aren't they? Ah, oh, they're beautiful. That's an absolute steal at 9.99, isn't it? Hi, uh, Michael in Cheshire, my friend has just asked me to make her another captured bead necklace, bracelet and earrings. Thank you, Ross, she wanted it in blue. Oh, perfect. Well, Michael, now you can make it for it in sapphire. Perfect. How amazing is that? Not just any old blue. Seriously. You know, you might, she might be thinking like a blue agate or, <laughs> yeah. you know, a jasper or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, what have you made me, Michael? Uh, sapphire. Wow. Sapphire. How incredible is that? Some ugh, Your lucky friend, Michael. But you need to be quick because these are absolutely flying, as you can imagine, at that price tag. So make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody, as well. And good morning. It's lovely to be back with you. I do apologise for the cough, but it's all good. It means it's going. Yeah. Um, do you know what else has gone? Yeah. Yeah. Not surprised. Absolutely um, amazing deal. <coughs> it is done. That was fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Should we do another one? Yeah. Another, another, should I say that word? Another silly price. Let's do it before Wayne gets in. <laughs> Are you going to do it on Serpentine? Do it before Wayne gets in. <laughs> He's in his car now, isn't he? So. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Nothing to see, Wayne. Nothing to see. 
He usually, you see, normally Ross will say that and then he walks in two minutes later. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Wayne. He'll go, I heard that. Hi, Wayne. How you doing, Wayne? Is he not on holiday, Wayne? He's on holiday more than he's not at the moment. Hey? Tomorrow, I knew it. I knew it. He's only just got back. He's on holiday tomorrow. He's on what? He has a holiday from his holidays. <laughs> it's time for some, isn't it? A break from his break. <laughs> Natural serpentine, one of the most difficult gemstones for our um, gem buyers to actually source at the moment. Um, we're going to do a massive closeout deal. Um, if you love your jades, if you love your nephrites, if you love those sort of rich, deep greens, mm. you know, I always refer to it as like a Rolex green. Ooh. Because their branding is this, isn't it? It totally is. You know, like, that, like you've got the robin egg blue. Like British racing green. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got like uh, the Sleeping Beauty turquoise is like your Tiffany yeah. blue. Yeah. This is your Rolex green. <gasps> Does that make sense? I love this. This is perfect for like vines and flower. You can make flowers with these. Oh, are they checkerboard faceted? Yeah. Oh, look at the light coming off them. And you could use them as individual solitaires, couldn't you? Yeah, you could ring. Yeah. Serpentine. Often carved in the same way that jade is as well. It's a it's a very highly regarded gemstone. It's very rare as well. Um, you quite often see some beautiful silvery chatoyancy within this amazing gemstone. And the price that's on your screen is is pretty epic, to be truthful. Ninety nine ninety nine for serpentine. Um, I, for, to put it into perspective, I couldn't do a showcase of serpentine. We don't have enough of in our vault, and that probably goes across the whole partnership. To be truthful, um, how many have we got then, Roscoe? A hundred again. You saw how busy the last auction was. If you are a collector, Serpentine is definitely one of those gemstones that needs to be on your radar. Should we do something ridiculous again before Wayne walks through the building? <laughs> the next price crash is already too low and we're still not done. We should have an alarm every time Wayne's car gets in the vicinity. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> What? No, 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 that really is ridiculous. The more of you that are in, the lower we'll go. Okay, well, let's get this sold out before Wayne get, does get here. Genuinely, I see what you mean now. I see what you mean, Ross. It's the one stone Wayne always harps on about how difficult it is to get hold of. It's beautiful It's so well. beautiful. It's just a stunning green. Yeah, like, what do you call it? Racing green. Um, British racing green. Oh, yes. Spot the daughter of a, a car dealer. <laughs> like like, like, a, like a Jaguar E-type or something like that. Yeah. Uh, like, um, oh, let's think. What's British racing green? Yeah. They often were red, the E-types, weren't they? Are they? Uh, I don't know. They are are they green? green? My dad had one. He did one up. It was red, yeah. It was oh, beautiful. That's cool. It was like a rocket. Oh! <gasps> Look who's arrived. Hello. <laughs> Nothing to see here, Wayne. <laughs> Guess who's arrived. We're just talking about Jaguar E types, Wayne, that's all. Let's do it. He's there. He's there. He, he, like a ninja. You just swooped on in the gallery, didn't you? Without, not a single word said. I just looked over my shoulder and there's Wayne's face. We're at 14.99 and we're going even lower. Who wants this under £10, jewellery makers, for one of the gemstones that Wayne always says, can't, I can't buy it. Can't buy it. You say it just like that as well, Wayne, don't you? Can't buy it. I can't. Can we do a showcase, Wayne? No chance. Too expensive, he says. Should we count them? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. So we're at a pound of solitaire right now for beautiful serpentine. Totally and utterly natural. There's multi buyers there as well. I'm not surprised. Yeah, that, that's, that's got to be the lowest. Again, this is a moment in history. I don't think we've ever done serpentine under £10. Surely not. It's gorgeous. I mean, that middle one, I'd in ignore the drill hole and I would bezel set for a ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that'd yeah. be a gorgeous the ring. gallery wires Do you? and things like Yeah, perfect. Because you've got translucency, yeah, so that's it's amazing I mean. quality. Did your dad's um, E-class e look like that? Can we show that? Did your dad's E-class look like that? No, it was bright red. Bright red. 
That's, is that an E-class? That's not an E-type, is it? What's the top E-type, that's wrong? it. That doesn't look like a Jaguar E-type. That's not an E-type. Doesn't look like one. Which one is it? The different types. Is that a James Bond one? Bond had an E-type, didn't he? He found it with the, in a garden with grass growing through it. No he, way. What he, your dad did? And he restored it from the ground up. We've got still got the pictures of it and then how it ended up. It was it was beautiful. That's a cool story. It was so beautiful. So cool. Labour of love. I bet. I bet. <laughs> my my dad built a, a motorbike. Oh. Weirdly in our spare bedroom, which I always thought was really strange. I was like, why are you building it in our spare bedroom? Because then you have to dismantle it to get it down the stairs oh yeah of course yeah so he built it in our spare bedroom um and that was racing green as well yeah nice it was nice as if we have just brought you the uber rare serpentine full of beautiful translucency again you know if you love as i said earlier on if you love your spinach green nephrites then you'll absolutely adore this gemstone but actually you get that a little bit more i think with serpentine you often get like silvery chatoyan patterns within the gem that just add to the magic add to the beauty um we had a hundred make sure you've checked out on that one there's loads and loads and loads of you there um okay coming up your early bird jewelry makers these are already going on pre-order and i'm not surprised at all a culotte, I think I've told you, I've said this before, is like a, one of those revolutionary findings that you think, ah, oh, where's this been all my life? Yeah, and it's um, fabulous. Because it does finish it to perfection, doesn't it? So mm -hmm. a culotte, um, for those people that are maybe new to jewellery making, um, effectively, at the end, before you attach your clasp or your jump ring, um, if you can imagine you've got the knot attaching mm -hmm. it, so the thread will go through here and then you just literally close those two flowers over to hide the knot. So it gives you that polished, professional finish. Definitely. And also adds longevity, doesn't it, Debs? Yeah, and like, you know, if you use wire guardians, say when you're pearl knotting, sometimes yeah. if you're using the thicker thread, you can't get it through yeah. the wire guardian. I prefer these yeah. on the end because I just think it adds that lovely bit of precious metal at the end that you can see. Yeah. It covers that knot. So it's doing two things. It's making it look really professional, but it's also protecting your knot as well. Yes. And I always put a dab of glue, I've said this before, inside on the knot so that when you close it, it glues it together as yeah. well. Uh, so it adds the security. Now shop ahead on these jewelry makers. We've got them in stars and in flowers. We're most excited because normally they're just quite they're just circular, which is nice too. But these have actually got a decorative yeah, like aspect it. to them as well, functional and decorative. So those are your early bird jewelry makers. We've got 250 of each of those, but I don't think people will just be getting the one. You're going to be multiplying across all of them as well. Um, okay, up next, what should we do? Had a message. Okay, message through. Couple of guesses. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We asked. Um, Bronca Onyx says Lisa. Is that the mistake, Ross? It's actually not. So oh. take advantage of that. Um, somebody else guessed the Bronca Onyx, and Ross, you just said you meant to close it at what? Oh, you'd you'd be able to work it out, right? Okay. There are some people that have figured it out. Because 10 have already gone without us even referencing it. Okay. One item on the web is at a brand new low. Half price what it should be. Okay. And Ross is saying, can you spot the error? Okay. Let's have a little look. I won't, I'm not allowed to say if I see it. Um, uh, I think I've seen it. I would 100% be taking advantage of it. Uh, I think I know which one it is. Half the price that it should be, yeah. Somebody else has messaged in? Okay. Uh, silk quartzite jade? No, not that apparently. Another guess, good guess though, because that's an amazing price. Carnelian? It's not the Carnelian, but that's six ninety nine. So again, I'd be grabbing that too. Avon? Birthstone strands? I did register that Avon. 
but apparently that's not the one. I did register that as, I did register that as well, because that's ridiculous, because there's, look, look, you've got 12 strands there for that price. Um, hello, Suffolk. Zambian Amethyst. Nope. One more message. Uh, ah, hello, Mark. Morning, everybody. Elle, just seen the christening pictures. What a stunning family the four of you make. Bless you. See you Saturday. So looking forward to it, Mark. And I'm so sorry I wasn't with you yesterday. So, so sorry. Ah, oh, yeah, I had a lovely day. Bless you, Mark. Mwah. See you Saturday. Very much looking forward to that. Oh, it was a lovely day. A very nice day. Should we do some more amazing deals? Oh, I had my eye on these. Now, launched last week. 200 of them were available. And now I've only got 39. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Told you I sound like an old goat now. <laughs> no, when a cold breaks. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. We've got how many? 39. Out of the 200 that we originally had. And we were talking about the fact that how you don't see potato pearls very often now. You do not. Because they're really difficult to get hold of. Are these high luster ones? They certainly look it. They look, look it, at don't that they? Recording, it doesn't yeah. say it. But. They look so, we were say, I, I think actually, Debs, you're backing up something I said during the auction. You know when something's so white it looks borderline blue yes. or silver? Yes. Um, yeah, high luster. Now, even here, Jewelry makes it 99.99. To find any pearls at a double figure price tag is absolutely amazing. We know the current situation, don't we? You go on your high street, pop to your local jeweler, see if you can find a single pearl pendant for under, uh, under 100 pounds. We've just half the price and we're still not done. 30 seconds. And the reason that we have 39 out of 200 is because this amazing, genuine, cultured pearl strand, not faux, not simulant, not plastic, not glass, not, not even shell pearl, went under 20 pounds. I thought we couldn't do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> We've just taken the serpentine to a crazy low price tag. Might as well do it with pearls as well while we're at it. That's amazing. Come what yeah. a morning. It's not even nine o'clock in the morning. We're already in trouble with the boss. <laughs> he should be in holiday mode now though, shouldn't he? No, no. Yeah. <coughs> 1999 jewelry makers we had 200 of them i'd be using this with the sapphire oh yes put them together shall i and that is an easy make you know if you've never made jewelry before pop a sapphire in between these pearls just crimp the end or not whatever you want to do oh my goodness that's so beautiful and when people ask you oh i like your, i like your necklace i like your bracelet and go yeah it's pearls and sapphires i made it i mean just to just just that Pearl and sapphire. So how much is that together? Um, 30 pounds. That, that, I defy you to find anything of this quality anywhere else for exactly. that. that's real. And even by our, you know, if we compare with ourselves, yeah. like 10 years ago, I don't think we were doing prices like this. <laughs> oh, I generally don't. How so, amazing. Amazing, yeah, you can get both of these jewelry makers for under 30 pounds, how insane is that? Mariska, Mary and Jerry, Gillian, Amanda, Melanie, Angela, Staffordshire, Sarah, hello to you, maker Julie. Make sure you're checking out everybody, I only have 39 left of your beautiful potato pearls, but again, look at that luster. Oh, I love it, I love those, they're gorgeous. I love potato pearls as well, I think you can do so much with a potato pearl. I, I almost wish they weren't called potato pearls. Yeah, me too. They have some funny names for things, don't they? Like mutton fat and things like yeah. that. You know, you wouldn't necessarily call them that. They're so beautiful. Baroque is nicer, isn't yeah, it? Is call nicer. them Baroque pearls, like because they're kind of irregularly shaped. Mm. Um, I think it's far more romantic. Uh, lots of you there. Denise, West Midlands, Northamptonshire. Melanie in Buckinghamshire has just got hers. An amazing deal. And add your sapphire if it's still available. You know the deal that Ross keeps talking about that he's put the price in wrong? Mm. You haven't told me what it is, no. And nobody's messaging right, he says. He thinks. He thinks that people aren't messaging in because he doesn't want, because you don't want them to sell out. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, well, maybe. Because they're quite limited this hour. Justine has messaged in saying, chrome dioxide? Hmm? That's good. Mm. Hello, Samantha. Morning, lovely ladies. My favourite twosome, Roscoe. Oh. <laughs> it has to be the jet. It's not. 
Is it not? Hi, Sam. No. How are you, my lovely? Mwah. Hello, my darling. Yes, we're free and done it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Should we give everyone a chance? Should we do it? Yeah, I don't know because I can't see, quite see the monitor, so I've no clue. This piece previously closed at <laughs> £99.99. Okay. He doesn't know why he entered it onto the web at the price that he has. Did you have, yeah, did you just have a moment, Ross? We all have moments. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Can I just say, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint here, <laughs> how it's laid out, you could literally just restrand. But even if you th look at, like, the halfway point, there's a space for you to put a pendant or something like that. Ooh. It is designed to perfection. Ooh. Ninety nine, ninety nine, as it is. Mm. I think I know. Am I right, Ross? Am I thinking the right thing here? Yeah, I think I have got it. it. Is an amazing, amazing price. What I clocked on the website is 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 so wrong for this gemstone. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up and, and 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 we'll find out together if I've guessed right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got it. I've got it. I'm borrowing the bust. You know it's special if I go for the gold bust. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Ross, this was far, it's far too low. It's also far, far, far too low. You could literally just restrand this. That's beautiful. Look at the quality. Oh. It, it's already half price, jewellery makers, on the website. 30 seconds, we're talking about beautiful Burmese type A jade eye and the fact that you've got the jewel colours too. 30 seconds... And then one minute on screen for you to grab this. How many do we have then? <coughs> 14, okay. There were a couple of correct answers at the end. Number five says Lisa in County Durham. Suzanne Burmese. Um, jackets, rice and rounds. Yes. I think, yeah, I think that was like autocorrect there. Love autocorrect. Stitches you up sometimes, doesn't it? Forty nine ninety nine for two colours of beautiful Burmese Type A jade eye. You've got a minute to grab this. It is limited. It's hard. It's uh, yeah, far too low. Far and look, you've got split pay as well. I've got multi buyers getting involved. I love the shape. The fact that you get the jewel colours. It's like a honey. You get the honey rounds, mm. and then look at the spearmint green. Beautiful, beautiful translucency. It is going to be a sellout. That's an absolute given, jewellery makers. That is far too low. 99.99 is incredible. Already for this strand. <clears throat> 49.99 is a mistake. Spot the mistake. That was the game we were playing. So elegant. So elegant. Mm. You know, we were talking about tassels. I'd be putting a couple of these on the bottom of the tassels. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. Beautiful. Because of the shape just lends yeah. itself. And the sound. They always talk about the music of Jade Eye. Yeah. It is so difficult to source jade eye. Like, I think a, a sentence that Dave said a few shows ago that we were on together, j the situation for jade eye buying is dire, is absolutely dire. Wherever you're looking, you can't get hold of it. You know, the prices have absolutely skyrocketed. Mm. We knew it. We, we, we've been talking about it for the past three years. We knew it was going to happen. Yeah. It's done. Well done. Well done. We've just something ridiculous on Jadeite. Should we do something else ridiculous? Ah, oh, these are gorgeous. Yeah. Grey Jadeite. Very rare. Because we've showed that elephant carving before, haven't we? Um, well, it's like the bluish grey. On the back of my hand, it's going to look quite dark. But it is a really lovely, like a, there you go, like a stormy grey very 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 rare because you know when grey is kind of almost blue yep oops here you go now these are half drilled half drilled drops ah oh, see i'll be using those together like asymmetrically that would be beautiful who would like a brand new close out on type a burmese grey jade eye one of the rarest colors might well be one of the best deals of the hour says producer ross It might be the one of those one of the deals that you come in and buy it yourself. 
Yeah, how many of us own grey jadeite? I've got black. I've got black. I don't have grey. No, well, it's very rare. It's very, beautiful. very rare. 30 seconds. We've got a limited quantity of these. You will need to be quick. They are half drilled as well. Let me double check that, actually. Yeah, half drilled. So again, perfect if you wanted it asymmetrically. I think that would be really pretty on the neckline. A pair of earrings. Earring lariat. Nice. You know, so it's just because they're and so, sliders. Yeah, they're delicate and elegant. A brand new low price tag on natural from your black series where you get the shades, including this lovely moody dark grey with a hint of blue. He's done it, he says. I've done it, I've done it. I, oh. <laughs> 10 pounds each. <laughs> That'll do. That's That'll amazing. Do, That'll do, pig. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That is so good. What on earth is that price? <laughs> That's got to be the most affordable grey jade I, I've ever seen, Ross. I and love most that shape. Um, without a shadow of a doubt, he says. How many did you say we had? 26. But they're flying. They're absolutely flying. So you do need to be quick. They're so beautiful. They're lovely. I love the different shades yeah. you get within it. Can I be controversial? Go on. I think I prefer the grey to the black. Do you? Because it shows it's more jade. You can see it's more jade. That's very true. And just with this shape, yeah, it's a match it's made stunning. in heaven, isn't it? Yeah, stunning. Um, I'd be multi-buying on this as well. That's far lower than I was expecting Ross to take it. Ross, I, I thought forty nine ninety nine was going to be your price. Um, <clears throat> see, you're not predictable at all, are you? Not at all. Nobody could foresee that on one of the rarest colours of your jadeite. Uh, Cornwall, Susan, Jane's got two, London's got two, Caroline, Alan, Mariska, London's got two, Maker, Amanda, Nicolette, Sandra. Hello, Maker on the phone lines, Pauline and Ellen and Dorset. Make sure you're checking out, we only had 26. And you get two, you do get the two. Amazing, well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Do shop ahead on the other goodies that we've got on your website. Remember, they do time out as well, come nine o'clock or there or thereabouts anyway. Um, so make sure you're checking out. You can always combine your orders. You've got just over 10 minutes, if we stick to that timeline, that is. Um, let's do one more auction before the collots. And these are another essential jewelry makers. We always, always need our crimps, but sometimes, <coughs> excuse me um sometimes with crimps they're so decorative they're so beautiful it's almost a shame to squash them because that's what you're meant to do with crimps aren't you yes but deb's i think you'd agree it's almost a shame to squash these i often use um longer crimp beads as spacers because i think they're really pretty and mm. they also they give you that moment of sterling silver yeah because they are precious metal yeah so these are the longer variety that Debs you were just describing. Now, oh yeah, isn't it pretty? Like diamond cut. Let me scooch it over a bit so you can see them all. There you go. I definitely wouldn't want to squish that. No, it's a shame too, isn't it? Mm. It's a shame too. Again, they'd be like little bugle spacer beads. Yes. We're nineteen ninety nine, solid nine two five sterling silver. Imagine how difficult it is to diamond cut crimp tubes. That must be so do you know one of these with a pearl on the end and it dangling mm. from your ears would be so pretty wouldn't they yeah gorgeous. very elegant um or two if you wanted longer ones mm. have you got an elsa pretty tight bangle sat next to your elbow i do yeah sorry I that's do. what i'm staring at we're at 9.99 debs but we're nowhere near done How this is a basket get? opener on an essential item whether you crimp them or whether you choose to use them decoratively. I'm gonna tell you, there is not just one more price crash coming your way, there's two! How many have we got then? Almost 200 available. Um, we're gonna get everybody opening their baskets, ready for the early bird. We need our sterling silver components. Two more price crashes, and we're already really? under 10 pounds. <clears throat> you couldn't make these, could you? Oh, it's not just by a little bit, is it, Ross? Well, there's another price crash as well. Yeah, we're at 4 99 Debs, and we're going again. And how many did you get? Ten. Ten? Ten. It's a basket. This is some, Sometimes it's like PR deals. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, that makes sense. Per. I'm definitely going to get some of these if there's any left, because I love the look of these. 
<laughs> Sometimes, yeah, I just, I just, pur yeah, my brain. Purr. I just purred on it. That's okay. We're at 4 99 jewellery makers. <laughs> and we're going even lower. Do you remember um, Susie was saying the other day, if you see findings like this, always grab them because yeah. you will use them and they make such a difference to your designs. The amount of multi buyers, in fact, in fact I, I'm fairly sure everyone, <coughs> pretty much anyway, 3 99 Ross. That's what are amazing. you thinking? You'd think that's kind of base metal prices, wouldn't yeah. you? Um, great in a tassel. Yeah. Great in space beads. Yeah. I wouldn't be squishing those. No, they're things. too pretty to squish. You could make it a solid bracelet, couldn't you? Oh yeah. If you want, if you multi bought, got a few packs of these, you yeah. could do a solid sterling silver stretchy bracelet, and they'll make your cut. They'll sort of preserve the carrot weights that you've got within your stash as That's well. True. Actually, just adding one of these immediately, you can say it's nine two five sterling silver. Yeah. Doesn't exactly. matter how how heavy it is. You've got that. No. You've got that statement there with the piece of jewellery. So many multi buyers. I don't blame you for getting twos, threes, fours even. I would be doing exactly the same. Your early bird is coming up momentarily, jewellery makers. Please do stay where you are on your phone lines. Shop ahead on your early birds as well. They're brand new crimp covers. No culottes, sorry. Culottes. Um, but they're decorative culottes as well. We had 200 of these. Sixes, fives, fours. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, but work leads us beautifully, seamlessly, some might say, um, into your early bird jewellery makers where we've got the stars and the flowers in your culottes. <laughs> Okay, I remember us having a conversation and we had the same conversation when your Wire Guardians came on oh, our shows yeah. and we were like, my gosh, these are revolutionary. Where have, we, where have they been on our lines? Yeah. We need these because they look so professional. Yeah. They add longevity to your jewellery. Mm -hmm. Would you agree, Debs, a culotte is the same? Yeah, and we didn't really see them for the longest time. And no. if you did, you might get two or, yeah. and they were, you know, not very interesting. No. Um, nothing like this i mean these are great i love that they we've kind of come along with our findings yeah we have we? yeah we've realized what people need and then we've kind of bespoke them to make them different and that's what i like yeah because a, a standard culotte is almost like uh almost like a little bowl isn't it yeah on one side then you've got the piece of metal with a dot and then another bowl yeah just circular and the idea is that you put the two bowls together around a knot yep if you like in your in your jewelry and it gives it that polished look doesn't yeah. it and yeah. it does make a big difference i think yeah then actually having that exposed but why not decorate said bowl yeah. for want of a better description you know yeah and i think it's only certainly i don't know about with carol um or um any of the other members of the team but i've only seen designed culottes maybe twice Maybe. I don't know if I've seen design ones. I might have done. I don't remember seeing them. Yeah, I, don't, I think maybe maybe once before. Maybe And they stars. sold out. Do you want to start with the flowers or the stars? Stars. Starting with the stars. Because these add a bit of um, story to your jewellery as well. They certainly do. Superstar. Oh. You know. And the flowers and stars are always like two motifs that are consistently popular in jewellery, aren't so they? So popular. Um, again, let me just show you all the way around a clock just, because, just in case you haven't actually seen it. So if I hold it like so, you will see you've got the loop here, which Debs, am I right in saying that's what you attach your clasp to? Yes. So that's where your jump ring or your clasp will actually go to. Yes. And then here, you've actually got the two little stars, which are concave. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the hole in the center so you put your thread through there mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and you're not and then you clamp the stars around yeah think of a clamshell encasing a pearl except you've got a silver clamshell encasing your knot yeah so that you're looking after your knot but you're also adding precious metal but you're also making it really pretty and very professional. much so. So I, I think I'm describing this right. So imagine you've got your gemstones here knotted. Yes. You've got the silk and you post the silk through here. Yep. You tie a knot, yep. cut it, close yes. your culotte over it, then directly attach your, your, clasp, your clasp or yeah. your jump ring. Yep. It is 
super, super, super polished. Um, but again, these are relatively new in terms of actually us bringing you a designed collot. Now they're already going, you get four of them as well. Um, we're at 10 pound per sterling silver clot, which again, this must be so difficult to actually create something like this. And it will, it's little things like this that I think take our amazing, um, or, or your amazing pieces of jewelry that you create to another level. Yeah. Agree. It takes it to sort of professional high end jewelry levels. Definitely. Um, it's, and just adding a little component like this, as opposed to having a knot just next to a jump ring, mm. you've actually got a decorative star. Yeah, it gives you that professional finish. You know, if you're going to keep them at the back of your neck, you, the back of your neck probably your jewelry rubs on the back of your neck. The, that, that's the place it rubs the most. Yes. So you want to protect that knot because you don't <coughs> want any fraying. Yeah. You don't, you know, and you've spent all this time and you might have gorgeous pearls or gorgeous jadeites or gorgeous any of our gemstones on there. Yeah. You know, so that, I always think that sort of level of gemstone deserves precious metal. Me too. Me too. It's complementing the quality. It's brand new today. We've got 250, starting with the stars. Stock up your stashes when you see these components because we don't have them on every show. We're at 19.99 for a pack of four. They're not base metal. They are solid sterling silver, but today we are going to go to a, to a base metal price, Ooh. which is absolutely amazing. And again, it, it might... I totally get how when you're first, when you're new to jewelry making, how you would overlook a component like this. Mm. Yeah, I don't need it, I need the gemstones. But actually it makes such a difference. Finding, Do you agree? Yeah, findings make the jewelry. Yeah. It's so, because I did that. When I first started making jewelry, it was all about the gems. Yes. And then I found I couldn't really make much jewelry because I didn't have the precious metal findings Absolutely. and the components like this. It makes such a difference. In five seconds, jewelry makers, we've got 250. They are brand new. We're going to take it to a base metal price tag. Oh, <laughs> I didn't thought. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> £2.50 each. I thought you were going to go up a bit from that. £2.50? That's amazing. That's so good. So good. They're not tiny either, are they? I can see no. them from here. I was thinking that. So this will work with your bigger cords as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, in those instances where you, where you can't use a wire guard, you yeah. know, it just doesn't look right. Yeah. Um, it's lovely to use this. It also um, re totally encases that knot on that cord. And you can't always get thicker silks and things through a wire guard, Ian. No, that's true. Yeah, that's true, actually. You, 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 you're kind of restricted, aren't you? Mm. Now, obviously, you would use your pliers, jewellery makers. I just want to show you. I'm not, I'm not going to bend it over completely, but obviously, it kind of goes like that. Um, obviously, close it properly. But you get the idea. So that's what encases the knot. And then you put your jump ring or your clasp just here. And it, again, look at it's so polished then, isn't it? Yeah, it's so lovely. did you see where I'm coming from? So you close it actually over, they meet together your stars. You can use it with your thicker cords just because of the size of the actual collette itself. We've got 250 of these. They are brand new jewelry makers. 30 second clock on your screen, because believe it or not, we're not stopping there. We promised a base metal price tag, didn't we? So yeah, you would use pliers rather than tweezers, but just gently coax it over, spend time, make sure that they align beautifully. It's nice, isn't it? I'm just literally doing this live on air at arm's distance, but. You can see how that, especially if you're gonna be wearing your clasp at the front. Yeah. Maybe you've got like a decorative toggle that you're wearing at the front. Um, have these either side rather than a knot showing and it will just add something to your design. Yeah, totally. And it's all tucked away beautifully inside the actual star. Six ninety nine for a pack of four. These are larger clots as well to what you normally see because they're five mil. Uh, hello, Suzanne. You could put a small um, post earring through the middle and hang a bead uh, from the ring at the bottom. That's a good idea. Yes, you So could. you would have it like that. Obviously, you'd straighten yours out, though, properly. You'd have it like that then, Suzanne. Yeah, that's a good idea. And because they're sterling silver, you can do whatever you want. <coughs> you can yeah. solder them. You can, you know, file them. You can cut them in half and have two stud mm -hmm. earrings. You know, you can do whatever you want. We have 500 clots essentially across the two different designs. Okay. Should we make sure every single one of those 500 sells out today? How about if I make a price promise? Debs has just heard it. 
<laughs> then you get both. 925, they are all 925 sterling silver. In either your stars or your flowers are under five pounds. Shop ahead, stock up your stashes. We did say a base metal price tag, didn't we, jewelry makers? So you get, you can choose the stars for four ninety nine. You can add the flowers for four ninety nine. Just imagine how difficult it is actually to create a clot. We couldn't make something like this. No, 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 no. It'd be, you know, you'd have to either have a shop plate or you'd have to cast it. It would just be a pain. And it would probably cost you your hourly rate. I reckon it's going to be more than four pound ninety nine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> launch price we shouldn't be this low but it's going to be a super tuesday four pounds and 99 pence <laughs> we were meant to be double that by the way now you can get both of them for the price of one buy one That's get one free effectively in solid 925 sterling silver loads of multi buyers i had 250 of each design 500 kilots essentially and and relatively new i'm not wrong in thinking that am i <laughs> I don't think so. To actually have the design. Yeah, and they're not on very much. No. I mean, it's not like we see them all the time. It's one of those things that we talk about, don't we, when we see our bread and butter of findings or we're kind of searching through the drawer trying to find yeah. another one. You know, I, but, when I see something like this, I, I tend to get, <coughs> put them in my drawer, put them in a little pot, label them up, and then they're there for when I need them. Yeah, keep them safe. Yeah. Because they are invaluable and they do give you give your jewellery that polished look, don't they? Definitely. They're that much more... Um, polished well done the phone lines have gone crazy hopefully you are taking the initiative to shop ahead as well on your others um, with the lovely flowers and again if you're working with as Deb's just said if you're working with high-end gemstones it's little additions like this that are probably well they're costing you what a pound each uh, uh, a pound twenty amazing one pound twenty each one pound twenty five Mass. There's that story of the mass teacher again. Um, <laughs> £1.25 per sterling silver clock, but again, it adds so much more than £1.25, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, amazing. Well done. I'm going to bring you the flowers now, jewellery makers, so they'll run alongside seamlessly. Again, you get the same quantity. Um, we'll do it in one price crash. No surprises here. And then you've got a minute. And that's a minute not just for these. Come on, turn over. Not just for these, but um, for every item that we've brought you so far this morning. Oh, they're so pretty. I love these. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Are you ready? No surprises here. I've got 250. Hopefully you've shopped ahead on these as well. Solid 925, sterling silver, at even below base metal prices, I think. 4.99. The trusty collot that just gives you that seamless professional finish. Definitely. And because they're sterling silver, you can polish them. You can use your polishing cloths. Yeah. You know, that if you want to bring them up to a high shine, um, if you wanted to have more of a uh, wire brush finish, you can use all your tools on these because they're sterling mm. silver. And like a, like a wire guardian, knotting directly onto a jump ring, you've got that risk, haven't you, yeah. where it's going to catch and fray. Whereas actually knotting and encasing it in something like this, it's adding longevity yeah. once again to your jewellery. Um, so in 38 seconds, jewellery makers, we're going to close uh, close uh, your early birds, but also everything that we have brought you so far this hour. So do make sure you check them out, everyone. Um, we've got big quantities of your clocks. Coming up in the next hour with our gorgeous Debs, we've got... Um, we've got amazing projects, animal inspired with an elephant, a zebra and also a leopard. Super affordable projects, you get loads in them as well. Gemstones and seed beads. Check out your baskets, jewellery makers and join us in a few moments. I'll make my way over to lovely Debs for all things animal. <laughs> It's manager's special this week, but half of them have decided to go on holiday. So some of the team members have decided to take over instead, and now they think they're the managers. We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for managers specials. 
on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewellery Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Jewellery Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Oh, welcome back, Jewellery Makers. It's Debs. Hello. Both of us sporting our kimonos. Yeah. We love a kimono, don't we? We do, don't we? You know, I try, I try to not wear them sometimes, but then I just have to wear them. Oh, I think, I think I'm embracing the kimonos. I was literally having this conversation with my with my best friend yesterday. Mm. She said to me, "I'm on a certain website looking at kimonos, and it's all your <laughs> fault." I was like, "Yeah, because it's they're some essential." I love them. And me. And winter and every other time. Yeah, why not? Mm. Why not? Um, now, talk about is talking about summertime essentials, pearls. Would we all agree? Oh. And again, I'm winter time and all year round. Who doesn't love pearls? It, it, it has, I think for all of us, if it, if it wasn't already, certainly become one of our most popular gemstones. And it has been, I think for many a years, been our greatest strength here at Jewelry Maker. I would agree with that. However, we can't say that so much now because the pearl industry has flipped on its head. Now, I'm not gonna be bringing you your deal of the day today. I can sit back. I could go off and have a coffee. <laughs> Couldn't I? Oh, I can't. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. Um, no, I wouldn't because I would want to be here because you've got a very special guest, as you saw in the VT. The first time his TV debut <laughs> bringing in an au his first auction ever. Oh, epic. Yeah, that's exciting. Mm. And I do want you to really, really, really welcome him as well. We've cause because he's definitely a favourite of the jewelry maker crew, isn't he? Our yeah, lovely Alan. Yeah. Everybody loves Alan. Yeah. Um, what's not to love about him? He's just he's just 
he, he's one of those people that needs to be a fixture of every party. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't he? Because yeah. he makes everyone smile. Anyway, do you want to see the pearls that he's bringing you at 10 o'clock? And the most unbelievable price tag. So there is 600 pearl opportunities. Good grief. 600. That's amazing. I want Alan to meet the other managers. Okay. Yeah? Ross says, do you know what? You're going to put them on pre-order? Yeah, can we, can we all... I mean, I, I think we're all in, are we all in cahoots here? Because I want Alan to meet the other managers. No, but I'm, I'm like Team Alan. <laughs> team Alan! Are you with Team Alan? Yeah, 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 Becky's Team Alan. Hands up if you're Team Alan. Yeah, everyone's gonna be Team Alan. <laughs> We've got, in 10 seconds, these are going on pre-order. Oh, good. Can I shop with this as well? Because I'm Team Alan. Yeah, I'm, t I'm, I'm Team Alan. Look at those beauties. Look at them. They're stunning, aren't they? There's mm. golden pearls there. I love those. And look at the start price. Can I just say, in our history of, what is it, almost 13 years, these are going to the one of the lowest pearl prices ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guarantee yours. Because whilst we might have 600, six have just gone in a nanosecond, seven, 12. Uh oh. Guarantee yours, and I don't think you're just gonna buy one. In under 30 seconds, he's a popular guy is our Alan. So I do think, I would, do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you've got people from di different channels going, yeah, Team Alan, I'll buy some pills. <laughs> yeah. Just to, su just to champion Just <laughs> to support Alan. him, yeah. yeah. Amazing. So that's happening at 10 o'clock, Jewelry Makers. Um, shop ahead on yours. 600 is probably the biggest quantity pearl auction I've done in many a moons. Oh, yeah. Now, what do you want me to do now? <coughs> Straight into the projects. I just want to mention these pearls. They are coming up. Very different to Alan's pearls. Um, these are all multicolored. Oh, they're gorgeous. Multicolored, naturally colored as well. They are gorgeous. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes, Debs, oh. I like to just get my pearls out. And <laughs> so do I. Yeah, I've heard that about you, Elle. <laughs> and you sit and gaze at them. It's not just me, right? I just look at them. <laughs> With give them an occasional stroke. And she tells me off for saying that she means business when she gets a gold bust out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. Are these the kind of pills that I would literally just sit and look at. Me too. They're, They're absolutely so beautiful. Stunning. Oh, I'm crying. What is it, Debs? Why can't, Why am I so naughty when I'm with I, you? I ain't done nothing. <laughs> you haven't, to be fair. It's all me. Um, now, I've only got 27 of these. These are naturally coloured. And they are perfection. Do you all agree? Yes. They are perfectly spherical. The colours are exceptional. They're perfectly uniformed. The shape, the luster, everything. Absolute perfection. Again, Yoko of London Pearls style. They're that calibre. Yeah, yeah, they're that yeah. ill, can't they? Definitely. Um, so they're coming up. But I also want you to have a little look at these beautiful pieces of jewellery that our lovely Debs has created. A wimber way, 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 a wimber way. A wimber way. Eee, one wimber way. That was good, isn't it? It was beautiful. Lovely. Um, sorry, I do notice not a word was spoken by Ross in, throughout that. Well, yeah, it's in he my. Was like, make it stop. Make it stop. <laughs> Um, we have your elephant carved out of there a beautiful he gemstone. He's absolutely amazing. In obsidian. I've got 40 though, so they are quite limited, jewelry makers. All three are on pre-order, so you can guarantee your animal. Um, so then you've got your lovely zebra, which I love. Um, he's beautiful. <clears throat> don't ask me to try and do a zebra sound they're very difficult to do <laughs> um, do they make a sound no they, they don't they're not like a horse no they what kind of make a, like a oh, I can't like a huh? that kind of noise <laughs> no, I knew it. 
They do. Is it horse with hiccups? Yes. It's <laughs> a really good description. Horse with hiccups. Oh, and I then hear you, one now. You, Ross, can you make get get a, a zebra sound <laughs> and just play it to Debs in her ear, please? <laughs> if you Google it and then just play I didn't it to know Debs. that, you know. Huh? No, on your phone. And then and then you've got your um your your amazing. I've gone blank. What is he? It's the leopard. leopard. Thank you. Ah, oh, look at those. There he is. They're very limited, but you don't just get the carvings, jewelry makers. You've also got, if I just slide these over, with each gemstone carving, you get a long strand. You, do. you get two strands, do you? Do you? I think so. I got two. So with the elephant. Ah, oh, amazing. Teamed alongside your monochromes. Yes, you do get two strands. Two strands. And then, should we start with the elephant? Yeah. <coughs> and then you get all your spacers. Look, too. Really good There's spacers. There's masses. Yeah. Masses and masses. And then you get your crimps and your crimp covers. Oh, my goodness. There's loads in these projects, isn't there? So let's, let's just put them all out. Here you go. So there's your spacers in two different sizes, two mil and I'm going to say four mil. Then you get, how many is it there? Um, four crimps, four crimp covers. Yep. There you go. So you get those two. Two strands of your beautiful uh, black zebra jasper in your four mils. Perfect monochromes. And then you get your amazing elephant. Oh, these are great projects. And instructions. And of course you get Deb's amazing instructions. The adjustable elephant necklace, which of course you can do for your um, leopard and you can do it for your, ze your zebra too. You can, yeah, because we always think that everybody knows how to do an adjustable sliding knot and not everybody does. So no. I've just, uh, I, I added some red in there, but because it's so um, monochrome, you can add any colour you want to that or just keep it at yeah. this lovely black and white. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Hand carved. I know. You won't believe the price of these projects, jewelry makers. I've got 40 or less, so do guarantee yours. Um, so 45 carats on each strand, mm -hmm. and then you've got 45 carats in the elephant pendant as well. Um, so what's that? 90, the 135 carats across all your gemstones. Plus then you're getting what, 200 spacer beads in both your two mil and your four mil, and then five, I beg your pardon, I said four, four. five year crimp tubes and five year crimp covers as well. 39 pounds and 99 pence. Mm -hmm. For the elephant alone, I think that's an amazing price tag. Not your price though, jewelry makers. I do think these are gonna sell out super fast. You know, what's not to love? Again, you can choose your animal or across all your animals, whichever you wish. £19.99 again for the elephant that carving. That is a cracking price for this. <coughs> I paid out for the spacers. And you do get loads of spacers and the bigger ones have got a really good size hole so that you can actually get them through different cords. Um, so I found myself using some of these for the 12 o'clock project as well because yeah, good they're a really good size. Yeah, good call. Two, so it's 200 spacers in total. There's loads. There's, it, it looks, yeah, 200, is it 100 of your four mil and 100 of your two mil? At 19 pounds and 99 pence, plus you get your crimps and crimp covers, plus you get your strands as well of lateral genuine jasper. Um, and then you've got your beautiful obsidian elephant too. We often talk about, it is 200, yeah, 200, so 100 of each of the designs, of each of the sizes, sorry. Um, Vivian, well done. Tina, Christina, Mary and Jerry, Kimberly, Michaela and June. What? I was just going to say how amazing that was for, for just the little elephant head. That would be amazing on its own, wouldn't it? 19 100%. Debs, I was thinking these projects could easily have been something like £79, couldn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Easily. I don't think any of us would have really argued at 79.99, given the fact that this is, has been hand carved. That's so clever. We're going even lower. We're at 20 pounds and going even lower. I've got 40 or less jewelry makers. So, can, and you can shop ahead on each of the animal projects. All come with Deb's instructions. Remember on Sewing Street, they'd be 10 pounds for those instructions. 
Yeah, I worked with Vix the other day and she was telling me that. Yeah. Mm. 14.99. So, 10 for your instructions. Yeah. Five pounds for your gemstone and your spacers. How good's that? That's fabulous. That is a, I haven't seen a kit with so much in it for a price like that for ages. 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 Absolutely ages. Yeah. I mean, here we are, like, again, go back, go back 10 years ago. This project would not have been 14 99 no, 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 no way on earth. You get two strands as yeah. well. You've got that carving and all those spaces. That's incredible. 14 99 is great for the spaces. Well done. They're flying and they are looking like they're going to sell out jewelry makers. So do be quick. So, um, okay, let's, all I've got to do, because you've got the same spaces across each of the projects. Should we do the zebra? I love the zebra. Oh, I love him. He's my favourite. Look at his little ruffle mane. Love Aww. his ruffle mane. Look at him. Hello. Ah, oh, he's so cute. Very pretty and lovely gemstones. You've got Australian zebra jasper in your strands times two, which I love. 100 of your four mil spacers, 100 of your two mil spacers, five crimps, five crimp covers, and then... There he is. Then your amazing zebra. Ah, oh, you're so beautiful. One price crash. Perfectly hand carved. This is zebra jasper, which makes sense. You can't really see it on your screens, but he's got lovely little eyelashes too. I think what's lovely with this as well, if you've got any wooden beads at home, if you mix some wood, um, wooden beads in with this, um, or maybe you make polymer clay beads, you can get a real tribal feel. Now he's sideways on there, but he's, um, I just did a spiral rope and kind of did a long line necklace so that it's actually on some cord at the top just for something different. But yeah. he'd look lovely just on a piece of cord on its own. Yeah, I agree. To, on a bit of leather or something yeah. like that. And the drill hole is very cleverly discreet within his mane. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. That's it's amazing. Really gorgeous, and I love how they've all—they all look slightly different, of course, because they're hand carved. All hand carved. Shop ahead. How many have you got of the zebra? Forty of the zebra. Again, super popular. I would have expected to have paid over fifty pounds for the carving on its own. On its own, you get two strands, you get 200 spacers, and then you get your crimps and your crimp covers. <clears throat> Kimberly, hello to you, Linda, Christina, Julie, Samantha, Angela, Mary and Jerry, Susan, Tina, Anne, Judith, Donna, Joanne, Catriona, Michaela, loads of you there. Let's move on to your next animal, your leopard. Oh yeah, this is my daughter's favorite one. Yeah. She likes this one. Well, so it's giving me Cartier vibes, this one. Yeah. And this is drilled entirely through. Yeah, this one is. Come on, stay. There he is. And for your gemstone strands, you have your picture jasper, which, gosh, we don't see that very often either anymore, do we? Times two. 30 seconds. I'm not displaying this very well, am I? Sorry. And we'll do it in one price crash. There he is. Beautiful. So picture jasper in your four mil rounds times two. And then you've got leopard skin jasper. Um, in the actual leopard carving itself. Beautiful. Absolute. I didn't realise as well, um, you can get black leopards. Yes. Didn't know that. They're very rare though, aren't they? Are they the ones with the green eyes? They're Ooh, really unusual. They're beautiful. There he is. He's beautiful. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Again, giving me definite Cartier vibes. This one, because of course they're all. I know it's not a leopard; it's more the panther, but they look similar, don't they? Oh yeah, I mean it could be. It's, it's called it's a big leopard, cat. but it could be a big cat of any yeah. description, couldn't it? A big cat. It could even be a tiger, really, because of the gemstone. Yeah, that's true. Fourteen ninety nine. Well done. Again, you get the two hundred spaces, the crimps, the crimp covers. You get your beautiful gemstone hand carved leopard, and then you get the two strands of your picture jasper with this one as well. Um, so we had forty or left or less or of each of these projects. So they are incredibly limited. And don't forget, you also get Deb's amazing instructions, which is based on. Um, the elephant pendant. Um, but like you said, that's adjustable, isn't it? It is. Please, can I borrow the um, zebra? I'll yeah. give him back to you. Here you go. Thank you. Now, you be good. I'm about to demo. 
Right, he's sitting behave. there. Behave yourself. So what's really nice um, about this, I thought I'd do a um, spiral rope because it's kind of like jungly. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of safari. So what you need are um, some Ato seed bees, but you can vary the sizes. Um, I'm obviously using the gorgeous Jaspers from the kit, and I've got some Eleveno, and these are kind of pearlized um, seed beads. So to make the core, I'm going to take three of my Ato seed beads. I've got a, uh, a stopper bead on my on my uh, thread and I'm using a six or eight pound fire line but whatever your usual beading thread of choices will be fine. So I've got three of my eight toes there and I'm gonna pop on, and this will be my sequence going forward, two of my 11 O's, a Jasper, two of my 11 O's. So that's what I have on my needle. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna drop it down to my three eight o's. Now for this first one, I'm just gonna hold it on my finger so that you can see what I'm doing. Now you want to come back up the three eight o's that are already there. So I'll come, there we go, and then I'll get my finger out of the way. So I'm coming up those three eight o's. And what this will do, it will form a loop. I'll pop that down on my board. It will form a little loop to the right hand side. So I'm going to continue doing loops and every single time I do a loop I'm going to keep them on the right hand side and you'll see that it'll start to spiral around. If you're left handed feel free to put it on the left hand side. It doesn't matter as long as you keep to the same side. Now going forward we're just going to add one a toe each time. So one a toe, drop it down. So this is your core bead. And then you're going to do exactly the same again. You're going to add two 11 O's, a Jasper, and two 11 O's. So that's what I have on my needle. Drop it all down. And we're always going to come up the last three A toes. And it's very repetitive, very relaxing, and I really like doing this, this little weave. So I'm coming back up the last three 11 O's including the one you just put on, and I'll put that down so you can see my thread path. Okay, so I'm coming back up the last three 11 O's, and this will form my little loop. And then that will sit on top of the other one. And I'm keeping it on the right-hand side. Now you'll keep going and keep going, and then you will end up with, just let me get this thread out the way so we don't get tangled. Um, this lovely kind of shaggy spiral. I just wanted to show you how I added um, the carving itself into the weave. So I finished one of my spirals and then if you see this little leopard, uh, not leopard, uh, zebra, he's got a little drill hole through there, through his little mane. So I'm going to go through his mane and he's going to sit there. Now I'm not going to continue, I'm going to start again because if I continue it's going to leave a, a, a gap in the pattern. So I'm just going to start from the beginning again and add three of my eight toes, drop them down. So exactly the same but it's, it's as if I'm starting again and I'm going to move it that way so that you can see. Then my fringe again which is exactly the same, it's just two eleven o's a jasper or whatever gemstone you've got, and two 11 O's, drop that down. And then I'm going to come back up those three. Now, when you get to this very first one, you just have to do a little bit of maneuvering to get these little beads exactly where you want them. So you don't want any thread to be showing once you do your little so you'll find, if you can see that, can you see I've got that thread showing? So you're gonna to have to get these beads and really push them down to the head of your little animal before you continue, because you don't want that thread to be showing. And then you just continue as you were before, adding one at a time, because you only add three at a time at the very beginning. And then two of your 11-0, one of your Jasper, two, 11 -0. drop it down 
and you're coming back up the last three eight O's in the row and that includes the one that you've just added same again you're going to add that little kind of loop onto your rope so one two and three give it a pull and once again you want that loop to sit the same side as the other make sure that your beads haven't traveled and you'll just continue it's it's really really repetitive you just continue up the other side until you've got a loop of of spiral rope and then what I did just to do something different is when I got to an equal length I just sewed them together and I don't know if we can have a look at like a, a, a wide shot of the necklace so you can see the, the full thing if that's possible and then you can see what I mean yeah so that it's sort of a long line necklace so that I've double doubled it up and sewn it together and then just added it onto a piece of cord and that's actually a kumahimo um, that you add a charm from but you could use a jump ring mm. um, but if you wanted to just have this as a bracelet or if you just wanted it to be singly on the rope I think that looks really pretty as well and that's yeah. all there is to it and in your instructions, I've actually written you instructions on how to do the elephant pendant with a sliding knot. Um, yeah. Shall I show that? Yes, please. Here we go. So this is the sliding knot, which makes it adjustable. Which, which makes it adjustable. Which is, 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 like you just said, you know, it's something that maybe not everyone knows uh, how to actually create, but it's so practical having the adjustability. Really, really practical. So I've just um, given you instructions on how to do that. Um, but you know, there's so much you can do with these because you know they're fun, aren't they? You yeah. can you know get your wooden beads in there, or get different colours, your favourite colours in there, or it just you've got a whole story with this sort of project because you've got the animals in there, and it's just fun and lovely jewellery, statement jewellery. Well, absolutely, who doesn't love that? In a moment, moment I stepped into the studio, I made a beeline for the animal carving. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, they're just so gorgeous. I'm like, oh, straight away, because who doesn't love who doesn't love sort of the animal kingdom? They're fascinating, and often, like I said, it's. I think we discussed it a few weeks ago, didn't we? The fact that animals often remain quite a, a constant, if you like, in yeah. a lot of the ju uh, jewelry designers. Like Definitely, it's been the panther for Cartier, hasn't yes. it? Um, flora and fauna is always huge. I can't, you can get all three kits. My, my brain has just registered this. <laughs> I, I get all three projects for £35. £45. Yes, sorry, yes, £45. Yeah. And there's a, I mean, that, that would be 600 <coughs> spacer beads. Yes. 600. For the spaces alone, that's amazing. And then you've got six strands and three yeah. carvings for less than some of our carvings cost on their own. On their own, exactly. Wow, wow, wow. Now, they've absolutely flown out, jewellery makers. Now, remember something special coming up in about half an hour. I'm not sure if you've seen. Quantity of 600. It's available on pre-order right now as we speak. Um, also remember... And we have the most amazing I've stolen. Should I give that to you, darling? Here we go. <laughs> Let me pass that to lovely Lauren. There you go, Lauren. Um, also, you've got the most beautiful multicolored pearls. These are perfection. They're coming your way. The manager specials at ten o'clock. Quantity is six hundred. Um, for a massive, probably the lowest price I've ever seen. Uh, lowest price I've ever seen. When are we doing these pearls? at the end of this hour, so top of this hour, shop ahead on this. I'm so in love with this. These are the next. There they are. At 10 o'clock, you're dealing the day with our special guest. They're beautiful. Shop ahead on those jewelry makers because they are crazy low. I agree, probably the best ever pearl deal we've ever seen. The most affordable pearl deal, deal I, we've ever seen, possibly. Um, so do shop ahead on that. Um, for your natural pearls in your rounds, they're coming up at the top of the hour. Um, so there's only 27 of those available. Now, Debs, I spy before me some absolutely incredible jewellery. If Can we go on the overhead, please? I've just arranged it really nicely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, no, don't look me. at that bit. <laughs> oh, my. Zoom in, Ad. That's what, it. <laughs> look at that. Shall we, shall we buy the bust? Oh, please. Let's do this. Thank you. Because, oh my goodness me. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, Adam. I should have warned you about the mess at the top of the beadboard. 
You were wearing this, Debs, weren't you? I love this project. It's blooming gorgeous. It really is. <laughs> it really, really is. Oh, it's is. just, look at, I mean, come on. Oh, my goodness, Debs. That's absolutely incredible. This, um, this project was just, I couldn't believe it when I got it out of the bag. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, all your Christmases have come at once. Absolutely. Because uh, I'm just going to borrow this bust as well. Because if I was to tell you that this project was basically, okay, some of the most beautiful. I know. <laughs> Seriously, look at this strand. Oh, yeah. This strand on its own is yeah. absolutely amazing. It's incredible. <laughs> Seriously, how many? Three oh. left for this project. You don't just get this though. You also get... Not just one. One of my favourite projects ever. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you. Two strands, two additional strands of your Baroque peacock pearls. You get three strands Look. of your beautiful peacock pearls. Yeah. And you also get the peacock tassel. Look. Which is absolutely stunning in sterling silver. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine how much this would be to buy in somewhere that does all of their, um, you know, animal jewellery? I was trying to think who it was the other day. It wasn't Van Cleef. It's another jewellery What, that does peacocks? Yeah, that does um, all of the lovely animals and they're all encrusted. Oh. Who is it? Yeah, we were talking about it the other day, weren't we, Roscoe? Yeah. I couldn't pronounce the, the, uh, the name. But like literally hundreds of thousands hundreds of pounds. Hundreds of thousands yeah, of hundreds pounds. Hundreds of thousands of pounds. That are particularly birds. Yes. Who is it? Uh, begin with C. It began with C. I can, I can never pronounce it. Because I follow them because I love their yeah. designs. And this gave me vibes of that. Hundred percent. You know, by the way, within your peacock pendant stroke tassel, yeah. you have the gemstones that are included in this are amethyst. Yeah. Topaz and Tanzanite. Yeah, it's not cubic zirconia. No. That's what I love about it. It's sold out. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, you get the instructions as well for oh, how yes, I made this necklace. Now, this. Oh, I've seen this the other day. It's gorgeous. That's a, that, this is a, a Marbe pearl. Oh, it's gorgeous. In the most one. beautiful peacock feather. This is stunning. It would go beautifully with, with the with previous the project, one. With the project, I was yeah. going to say, you could kind of set it asymmetrically, couldn't you, in that necklace? Oh, look at that marbe pearl, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. But a pear marbe as well. Mm. I love that so much. Look at all the anchor points. There's so much you can do with that. Yeah. Yeah, you could literally wear it like so, couldn't you? Yeah. You could wear it that way around. You could have something two. coming off the bottom if yeah. you wanted. Wear it like this. I like it like that. And of course, you can remove any of the jump rings that you don't yep. want to use. Or yep. you can add maybe sort of further embellishments. How many do we have of these? Twelve available. Oh, wouldn't they be amazing earrings? Oh, yeah. Can you imagine in a pair of earrings? I'd wear them that way, I think. I don't know. <clears throat> or as a brooch? Be beautiful for, as a brooch, absolutely stunning. Wow, wow, wow. How many do we have of these, Roscoe? 12 available. Ooh, okay. Massive gram weight. Um, again, beautifully encrusted with your dazzling white topaz. Then you've got the most exquisite natural blue Marbe pearl. Natural blue. Um, yeah, if you got the first project, I think it would go absolutely hand in hand. Hand in hand with Deb's previous project, because they've got the peacock colours there as well. Obviously, it being the peacock feather does seem to make sense. And if you do rosary link, then you will have pearls left to be able to use with this. Oh. It's stunning, I love this. I just want it on an um, asymmetrical necklace. Yeah, all day long, it's so a marble pearl. It's a Marbe pearl, you've got all that intricacy. They've captured the peacock feather so beautifully yeah, as well, they haven't really they? Have. You know, just because a peacock feather has got a definite movement to it, hasn't it? Yes, definitely. It's not as stationary as say, what about with, what about with, hang on a minute. 
Oh. Would you use those together, Debs? What do you reckon? Yes. Can you imagine this? As a piece of jewellery. <sighs> oh yeah, exactly oh. like oh I can't cope with that. <laughs> That's beautiful. I mean, you're not that that piece of jewellery is not going to be sitting in any high end jeweller's window at a thousand pounds. It's going to be sitting a lot higher than that. Definitely. Oh my goodness me! Seriously, we're at one hundred and ninety nine pounds, and we're still nowhere near done. I've not seen this before. It would go absolutely exquisitely with these beautiful pearls that are coming up as well within this hour. Thirty second clock. We are going even lower, but they're limited jewellery makers. You've got pristine, eye-clean, dazzling white topaz, giving you that beautiful brilliance. Um, you have the beautiful blue South Sea Pearl, eight and a half grams of sterling silver. As pointed out by Debs, you've got all those anchor points that you can choose. And then if you want to sort of take any of the jump rings away, you can do that. Just buff it down yes. ever so slightly. Yep. Really simple to do. There's 12 within the bowl. How elegant. Definite 1920s vibes. Very much so. Very much so. And you have your 0% interest with payment too. 199, wow, that's amazing. 129, for, a, for eight and a half grams of sterling silver. Oh, Never mind the gemstones, for eight and a half grams of sterling silver. Yeah, with five way split pay. Wow, yeah, if you love pearls, I mean, that would just be a stunning piece. What about with the sapphire that we had earlier on as well? Oh, with the sapphire, can you imagine? It would look like something from um, Bridgerton or Downton Abbey, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, Great Gatsby. Yeah. Those kind of, that level of opulence. Yeah. Wow, eight available, 25 pounds and 80 pence on your 0% interest split payment, jewelry makers. Oh. Um, yeah, if you love pearls and you love, who doesn't love flora and fauna inspiration? Then, um, yeah, dial quickly, because I've only got five of them available. They're absolutely breathtaking. I think they most, make the most amazing brooch as well, which are making somewhat of a comeback, aren't they, brooches? I love brooches. I like putting brooches on hats as well. Yeah, me like too. Berets and yeah. things like that. Like the ribbon of a hat or something yeah. like that. Very nice. Um, I have some, do I? Oh, yes. Do you know, um, we've got peacock pearl. Oh, earrings. I made these. I could have brought <coughs> them with me. me. I remember Deb's. They're oh, so they're gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. I'm actually kicking myself. Why have I not bought these? They're really gorgeous on. Do you wear them? Yes. I bet you do. Yes. <laughs> they're very you, Deb's. So they come like so. You've got a lovely half drilled peacock pearl. And then you have all these amazing gemstones, which complement the peacock pendant that we brought you. Obviously, with just a little bit of glue. Yep. Leave it overnight. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They are. Whoa, Ross. They're really stunning. Look at look at the colours of that pearl. Full rainbow spectrum. Now again, the gemstones we have: tanzanite, blue topaz, and amethyst. Perfect choice, I think, for that pearl. Gosh, they're high end, aren't they? They're beautiful. When I made them, I couldn't believe it. And I bet they haven't found their way out of your uh, jewellery box. No. No, absolutely not. I love them. They're stunning. And it's, just, it, it's look, it's literally, a, if you've never made jewellery before, if I show you, that's why that, that one's on the bottom, there's a little peg. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might need to burr, give your give your pearl a little, mm -hmm. almost a little clean, if you like. Um, touch of, of your hypo cement leave them overnight don't be tempted to wear them straight away yeah. leave them overnight let them adhere let them bond and you've just made high-end jewelry it is that simple Debs isn't it and they are breathtaking yeah you know you open the box and think it's like something that in a film where they they give you know their girlfriend or their wife a really high-end piece and they open the box and you see something like this yeah that experience that's what you get with these they're just oh can you tell I like them? <laughs> yeah, I love them as well. Again, the gemstones perfectly colour match the overtones of the pearls. It, yeah, it? they're beautifully designed, really are. How many do we have of these, Roscoe? 16 available opportunities. I've got my eye on these. So beautiful. Now, first price crash. Wow. Okay. But not where we are closing. Can I also, look, oh, 
hold these like this because this makes a difference when you're making earrings it's a mirror image see what I mean yes so it'll frame the face yes believe it or not not every jewelry designer does that no they don't and I, I like this I just feel like it completes the look I oh, to go with that pendant absolutely I mean look look how beautiful that is I've only got a, a limited quantity though yeah it goes gorgeously with the peacock kit that you had earlier on 49 pounds and 99 pence only oh my goodness me as a set they're incredible yeah this is special occasion wear isn't yeah, it yeah I've been known to wear the necklace and earrings together yeah I don't blame you I bet they look amazing on you too they're just lovely they just make you feel good yeah and I bet you get lots of compliments as well. Uh, yeah, they're one of the ones where you go, I made those, and people look at you like, no, you didn't. And you go, I did. I did. I'm, I a did. Jewelry, I'm a jewellery maker. I, I did. tell you, I did. Some people don't realise that people make jewellery, like just ordinary people. <laughs> yeah. With a, with a little bit of know-how, a little bit of knowledge. And, and the, the right component. components. Yeah. yeah. Um, well done. Linda in Hertfordshire, Cheshire, Davinia, London, Swansea. New customers getting involved as well. Make sure you're checking out. Just, I mean, can I just say... For this part alone, for the actual earring mounts at forty nine ninety nine, I think that's amazing. There are a lot. There's a lot of work in there. Um, if you think about, you'd have to make the mounts um, to exactly fit the calibrated gemstones. Then you'd have to set the gemstones. Mm. Um, so there'd be a lot of work in making these. And just to think that I think if you like them on your screen, when you get them home and you open that oh, that parcel, you're going to be it's a bit of a sharp intake of breath moment. That's what I had when I opened it. I was like, goodness me, they're lovely. Yeah, gorgeous. And they're you know, in terms of jewelry making, they're actually pretty simple to do. Oh, aren't very they? very simple. Yeah, just basically a little touch of your jewelry making glue. Well done, everybody. You can still do it, but they are very very popular, as you can imagine. Beautiful peacock pearls teamed beautifully with a peacock uh, choice of gemstones, um, or peacock colours rather, that goes gorgeously with the original peacock yeah. necklace project yeah. that Deb's brought you. Um, that I think sold out, but you get the instructions with that as well. Um, but I mean, you could do just sort of your, your sort of generic knotting, couldn't you? Oh yeah, most, most definitely. And maybe you've got some peacock pearls and just stranded. Yeah. Um, and they'd be beautiful with these earrings that would kind of make it into a set. Yeah. A sweet. Sorry, not a set, a sweet. Amazing. Now, 10 o'clock today, we have his TV debut. Ooh. Well, not really, but his auction debut, definitely. <laughs> um, one of the most popular jewellery maker team members is our lovely Alan. Our lovely Alan. Oh. He works usually behind the scenes. He's very busy as our Alan. He always, is, always is, busy. Yeah. He does loads. He does loads. And like lots of things that we might not think of, like all the promos Alan will do. And that's not just for us at Jewelry Makers, is it for all the channels? Does he? I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I'm right in saying that, aren't I? Alan does them for all the channels, doesn't he? Yeah. Does he? Wow. Yeah, so he's, he's super, super, super busy. But he has designated a bit of time for us this today. Good. Because he's got 600 pearls that he's going to bring for a mega deal. Wow quite possibly one of the lowest prices <laughs> okay ross has just said look let's just just to just say as it is hi alan just talking about you let's just say it as it is would you say you're knowledgeable about pearls no, are you knowledgeable about pearls be honest no he says <laughs> no but one thing alan does know that if he is going to make his auction debut, he needs to make it a good one. Yes. He said, yeah. It's coming up in 10 minutes. <laughs> and as I said earlier on, we're Team Alan. We want Alan's auction to be the most successful of all the manager's auctions. Alan, Alan, you got this. You got this. <laughs> there is a lot of Team Alan members here. So don't worry. Um, they are on pre-order <laughs> right now. I can't, I'll make a statement, jewelry makers, because uh, little Dicky Bird told me what these are going to. What well, Alan's statement to. I don't know to. what they're going to. Let's just say in our, what, almost 13 years? <coughs> Excuse me. It's probably the, one of the best pearl deals you've ever seen. Ooh. 
It is, says Ross. It is the best. That's quite a statement. It is a big statement. Wow. It is. Purely because of the quantity, uh, yeah. though, Deb. Okay, yeah. And please, please, please do not forget the current situation of pearls. No. We can't buy them. If we had 100, they'd probably close at the price that's on the web right now, £99.99. and mm -hmm. 100 is a massive quantity for pearls. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Mm. I think 99.99 would be more than fair. Yeah, absolutely. Look at the quality of those pearls. They're golden with luster. Guarantee your place because Alan is going to break the mold today. <laughs> he is going to break the mold. Now, before we do, I'm going to bring you pearls, but very different pearls. Now, these are very, very, very limited in their quantity. We've only got 27 available opportunities. You can get, in the, the pearl world, you know, when I first started, even when I was sort of uh, um, working alongside things like South Sea and Tahitians, when I first started in the industry some 20 odd years ago, pearls were pearls to me. I couldn't, I, I, did, I didn't really know the difference. Mm. Um, but you get marine pearls, you get freshwater pearls, you can get different shape pearls, you can get drops, you can get rounds, you can get brocks, you can get keshis. Bewas, you can get colours, you can get shell pearl, you can get uh, um, dyed pearls, of course. What you're about to see is creme de la creme, some of the finest pearls that we can offer. Not just here at Jewellery Maker, across the... How many? Oh, it's less than I thought, sorry. I've been saying there's 27, there's 17. Across the entire partnership, I'm always wary to say a flawless pearl and yet somehow that's what these are they're up next um as i said there's lots of different varieties of pearls all of which are, are incredibly difficult to get hold of at the moment and that is all down to lots of uh, there's a few different factors that affect the value the price of gemstones so i'm not just talking about pearls here i'm talking about gemstones as a whole so um obviously rarity comes into play yeah so if i use paraba tourmaline as an example paraba tour one of the reasons paraba is as expensive as it is or alexandrite or grandidiorite is because of the rarity of the gemstone um but probably another factor which is even more detrimental if you like to a gemstone's price point is popularity and fashions change don't they in the gemstone world Emeralds is a prime example. Emeralds have been sort of a constant over many, uh, many civilizations in actual fact, certainly centuries. But we've fallen in love with it, out of love with it, in love mm -hmm. with it. Out, not out of love seems a little bit harsh, but you know, it's it, it's popularity dips like this, and the same applies for all your gemstones. As we speak, as we speak right now, pearls have never been more popular globally, globally, where the East have the most insatiable appetite for pearls right mm, now. Yeah. And given the fact that China probably harvest 90 plus percent of our pearls and they won't export them. They won't export them because they don't need to export them. You can literally go, okay, such and such down the road, maybe quite not that literal, but um, they'll buy them for me and they'll buy them at premium. Why am I gonna send them halfway around the world to jewelry maker? where you want to pay less you want to pay less for the finest quality and it's not just us having this challenge yoko of london is probably one of the most ex respected pearl traders jewel jewelry not traders jewelry houses in the world with some of the finest pearls in the world they actually approached us approached dave saying where are you getting your pearls from because we need if you go on their website there's so many out of stocks Oh, uh. They can't source them. And I don't hesitate. If I was to show you Yoko of London's website right now, these pearls would sit shoulder to shoulder with the quality of the, that's on their website mm. for tens of thousands of pounds. 
These are creme de la creme, as I said a few moments ago. Remember your five virtues in the pearl world. We're talking about size. Anything over double millimeters, because we don't measure pearls in carat weight, we measure them in uh, millimeters. <clears throat> Anything over 10 mil is colossal for a pearl. Then we start talking about color. Um, are they natural, being the first question. Do they have overtones? Do they have iridescence? Um, yes, yes, yes. These are natural, they are not dyed. Some of these pearls are only actually cultured from a couple of families of pearls. They're a hybrid variety. You like, uh, you, you like the terminology, the impossible pearl. Yeah, I love that. Uh, <clears throat> so few will actually produce this color. Then you start talking about, um, so we've spoken about size, then we've spoken about color, then we start talking about shape. Every pearl that is cultured, the aim is to get around because they still command the highest price. That's the aim. These are perfectly spherical pearls. Then we start talking about nacre, which is the rare precious material that makes the value of a pearl. And then we start talking about luster. Nacre and luster go hand in hand. You wouldn't have luster if you didn't have an abundance of nacre. These are remarkable quality. And this is again why I always say these words. Jewelry makers should have 18 karat gold clasps because we bring pearls like this. Yeah, I actually, it's all done, it's your choice, of course, but I think it personally, it's a shame to put it with anything less than 18 karat gold. Yeah, I would agree with that. And you can pick them up for about 100 quid. The graphics are live. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Natural, multi-hue, those are the overtones and undertones. These are some of the finest pearls that I have seen here at Jewelry Maker. And that's saying something because we've had incredible pearls here. But there's only 17 in existence. When we talk about heirloom, when we talk about legacy, it's exactly this. Oh, yeah. Go to, go to Yoko of London. In fact, let's show one of their necklaces alongside our pearls. And that's heavily edited. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can see, can't you? On their website. That's the best it's going to look. Do you want to know how much it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, good grief. 22,500 pounds. <sighs> it's lovely, don't get me wrong. And there's, there's a few diamonds in there. 18 karat gold. Not a massive amount of gold, though I have to say. The 22,500 pound price tag, the bulk of that is made up of the pearls. A single pearl in a white gold wedding band. £2,300. That's the price you pay for pearls like this. How about some earrings? £5,700. It's not the diamonds. It's not the 18 karat gold. It's a, it's a percentage. £8,000. Kind of re reversible earrings, effectively. The bulk of that and again, just I'm, I'm showing you these photographs. They're very p different pieces of jewelry to highlight the quality of the pearls. The quality of the pearls that we have and we offer to our collectors. I encourage every single one of you, and I get it costs money to do this, have your pearls valued. And that's not just for ego purposes, have them valued for insurance purposes. Because the price that we're taking these to, and believe me, I, I know it's, it's amazing, I've already looked, is ridiculous. Yoko of London, frankly, could buy them direct from us. It might be something that's happening, I don't know. I know some big designers do. Already, these are going. I've got 17. Another thing I should factor in and mention, that your freshwater pearls, most freshwater pearls, or mollusks rather, <clears throat> will actually house a collection of pearls. They'll be able to, they'll, you know, start the bead nucleating process. They might produce a couple, they might produce 10, all in one oyster or, or, or mollusk. These will be one pearl per mollusk because of the sheer size of them. 
there won't be enough room for them produ mm. to produce masses. They don't, the, the, the actual mollusks themselves don't grow to the size that, say, a South Sea pearl is in fresh water. So these will be one pearl per mollusk. So then when you imagine, consider that these have been, you, you've got to have enough to make up a full 38 centimetre strand. And they've got a match in quality. They've got a match in shape, color, hue, overtones, undertones. They've got a match in the consistency of the shape, the nacre, the luster, all of the above. 2,000 pounds, frankly, is a steal. Mm -hmm. You put that, imagine this, jewelry makers, we're, walk, we're all walking together, we're, we're, I don't know, going just we're window shopping, we're looking in some high-end luxury jewelry de boot, uh, designers, maybe along Hatton Garden or in Bond Street, and you see this one small window, it's velvet lined, you've got a single bust in there, some beautiful strategic spotlights, no, no price tag on there, because they don't do that in luxury jewellers. And then you ask the question, we pluck up the courage to go and ask the question, and they say, that's 2,000 pounds. I bet you, in all honesty, a lot of us would go, oh, that's actually not bad. Yeah. Because the reality is that wouldn't be bad. Back 25 years ago, when I started, when, when I started in the pearl world, pearl jewellery world, there's no way this would have been 2,000 pounds. No. That's 25 years ago. No. This would have been high four figures, easily. They're so beautiful, though. They really are, mm. aren't they? And don't you think, though, we can talk about, oh, they were worth this, they, they, they'd be selling at that price, which is great, but they are so beautiful. They're so beautiful, they're perfect. I don't like to use that word, but they're perfect for me. They're the perfect shape, yeah. the perfect color, the perfect size. I just think they are stunning. I love them. Me too. I want them. <laughs> Debs. I know, I'm not going to. I know what they're going to. I don't. Let's just say, in my head, and I'm putting my jewellery maker hat on here, mm. oof, it's half what I think they should be. And you've got five-way split pay. That's so helpful. Yeah, 0% interest. We don't charge you for that. Use the split pay. Might as well. I do. I do. Yeah, mm. I do. Why not? Better in your bank account, isn't it? I've got single figure quantities. Mm. And 499 is not your price. Okay. I've given you a little hint, jewelry makers. We go again. They are some of the most perfect pearls I've seen. But aren't they? You know, you could go to Yoko of London, get two pearls. What do you reckon? The purpley ones? Yeah. With some sapphire, don't get me wrong, sapphires and diamonds, eight thousand pounds. Or you can get a full, natural, multi-hue, perfectly spherical pearl necklace, or opportunity to make a necklace for four hundred and ninety-nine pounds. And then I say, actually, actually, wait a minute, four nine nine is amazing. Nowhere else can compete with that price tag. But I tell you what, let me give you some money back because that's not what they're going to be on our screens for today. This is what I'm talking about. <gasps> Come on, jewelry See what maker. I mean? That is amazing. That's why I work here. Yeah. Look at that for 214. And you've got five-way split pay. That's you can get it home for less than 50 pounds. <gasps> they are honestly, the, oh, look at they're them. They're breathtaking, aren't they? They I, really are. <sighs> If you'd have said seven nine nine, I'd have thought, well, yeah, that you know, these are those that kind of strand that's going to be seven nine nine. Our price, I, I can't believe that actually. It, it, yeah, exactly. I don't that's know how you're saying. They're half what I would imagine they're here at Jewelry Maker, and that's ridiculous. Oh, that's so. Lovely. Four nine nine was already an absolute steal. Wow. Two thousand was already an absolute steal for the level of the quality, and you can see that quality. You've got the abundance of overtones. You've got gold. You've got some of the deepest, most like almost orchid purples in here. It's all natural. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of it, is the natural colours. Yeah, they're not dyed. All Mother Nature's doing. Good luck. Oh, I'm tempted by these now. Me too. And as we said earlier on, Debs, it, it's the kind of pearls that you could literally just sit and look at because they're so breathtaking. 
so breathtaking. Good luck, everybody. Renfusha, Samantha, Anna in Derbyshire, London, you're there. I've got Tracy, I've got Lily, I've got new customers getting involved. 0% interest on your split payment as well. This is why, and I know I go on about it, and I do go on. When I get a bee in, a bo in my bonnet, I do go on. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll freely admit that. But this is why jewellery makers should have 18 karat gold. Because, to be honest, you, know, you don't see... And I love silver, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I love that too. But for what you're looking at here, the amount that you're saving here, spend that saving on a gold clasp, because it is only complementing the quality of the pearls. Yoko of London, £22,500. You were at pretty much 1% of that price. £249, or less than 50 on your split pay. Do you want to know how many we've got left? Five. Not surprised. I'm not surprised. That blows my mind when, Ad, when you put those <coughs> two pictures together, like you just did, yeah, that. Because they look the same. Yeah, they do. Like, I can't see a 20 grand, well, more than that difference between those two. In fact... I also doubt they'll give you 0% interest split pay as well. I don't, Very think, much doubt I don't think they would. I, I prefer ours. Um, the, I know the other one's been really highly photoshopped, but it just almost, they don't look real. I don't... I, do you know what I mean? They look a bit shell You've got more luster here. There's These more, are more lustrous. Yes, and the, the, you've got that slight difference in the color tone which i think yeah. makes it yeah i agree we've got four left oh you lucky people <laughs> 60 seconds and we're gonna have to move on from oh, this jewelry so makers gorgeous. come the break I, 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 the, yeah i mean they are our favorite gemstone aren't they pearls yeah without I a doubt absolutely adore them again not this put it on the gold clasp you've got you've got a hugely considered piece of jewelry okay. it's not just diamonds and sapphires no, no. and rubies and emeralds pearls have probably been a constant, haven't they, throughout uh, uh, you know every uh, century. You know we've loved oh, pearls, yeah. but the reality is they've never been more expensive than they are today. And here we are bringing bringing you some of the finest pearls in the industry at two hundred and forty nine pounds. I've got three of them left. I've got Angela there, Usher there. I've got Jean there, Lily there, and also I've got Tracy there. Make sure you're checking out. Um, we're cutting to a break shortly, jewellery makers. Oh, where if you love pearls, we're about to bring you an amazing deal. Historic, I'm going to say, deal on pearls. Um, they're very different. They're very, very different. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if you want the perfect spherical pearls and your natural colours, then most definitely make sure you're checking out. Now, available on pre-order, jewellery makers. At what is essentially a closing price for a strand like this? Even if I had 200, 99.99 would be an amazing deal for beautifully lustrous, they're big Baroque pearls, big Baroque pearls. You have his auction debut. <laughs> One of the superstars of the jewelry maker team. Yes. Everybody loves Alan. Yeah. It's true. It's true. He's, Alan is bringing six hundred <gasps> opportunities historic that's all i'm going to say this is a historic price point in the world of pearls it's happening just after the break use this time to confirm um to make secure your place because even though there's 600 i'm going to say it, there's going to be people multi-buying left right and center don't go anywhere because alan's up after this <laughs> Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your jewellery maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your jewellery maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Shopping with jewellery maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. 
We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Jewellery Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. manager's special this week, but half of them have decided to go on holiday. So some of the team members have decided to take over instead, and now they think they're the managers. We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for managers specials on Jewelry Maker. Look who it is! Hey! hey. How are we doing? Hey! I was like, I look really little <laughs> next to you, Alan. There we are. You are very tall. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all legs. It's all the way up. All legs? Yeah, all legs. That's all, yeah. all right, yeah. It's not too That's bad. That's all right. Your auction debut. Yes. I love this. Have you totally been roped into this? Yeah, yeah, 100%. It, it's not a gimmick. <laughs> uh, the, the managers aren't here. There, there's no managers here. This Where is what, are they all They're then? all on holiday at the same time. They're on a jolly or something. All right, like, OK. We'll so. put that yes in the bank. Yeah. And yeah. well, we want to all go on holiday at yeah. the same time. But like, yeah, but remember when? Yeah, so all of the managers. So that, that's why I've been roped into this. So this is why I'm here. Yeah, but yeah. do you know, like I said, I was saying earlier on, we're team Alan now. Let's get to Because yes. I want, yes, yes. Alan, yes. you've got 600. 600. And I want you to completely annihilate well, Wayne's numbers. Yeah, well, Wayne said I couldn't do it. So I am now, yeah, yeah, ah. he, he gave me all this in my ear. So is that's a ah. challenge. We've got, yeah, he rolled, he rolled my up. eyes, he rolled he my eyes. He did not. Yeah. Goaded me, he goaded me on. Did he? Yeah. Hang on a minute. Before we get into this, the previous auction that we just played, 
There was a mistake on the graphics. It said they were bleached. Ah, they weren't, they're not bleached. They're natural, they're natural, natural, natural jewelry makers. So we will correct that. There is still two available. A couple of people asked, they are natural. Okay, they are natural. There's the details for the previous auction. Here it is, natural, they're not bleached. We will, we will correct that. Natural multi-hue. Then see the, see, the, see the bleached bit in brackets there? They're not. It is wrong, it'll be remo uh, removed. We have just had confirmation they are totally natural. So two available. And also Morag, Berkshire, Helen, Angela, Jean, Lily and Tracy. So all of which are competing for the final two. So thank you for, for <laughs> highlighting that to us. Thank yeah. you for highlighting that to us. We will get it sorted for you as well. Now. Come on then. Alan. Hello. 600 available. Six, 600 of these. But you've, you've, just been, you've just been in the background there. You've surely heard the situation of pearls, right? Yes. You know that pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now. Correct. And you know that to have 600 is just, well, frankly, yeah. not going to happen. Yeah, silly. It's silly. The Most jewellers will have one. Yeah. And, and here we are, Wayne's just getting them all in, isn't he? Yeah. Getting them all well, in. No, he's not. He's not. You are. I am. That's right. Yes. I'm Come the manager. On, Alan. Yes. So Alan. Ma manager Ma has got them in. Yeah. Manager Ma. Manager Ma. I like Manager Ma. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, so that's going to be my new badge. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, sure. I'm I'm Alan. I normally uh, make the promos that you see, and probably some of the mistakes as well, that are on the actual <laughs> promos as well. So anything that's not live on the show, I do. You do. And that's not just for Jewelry Maker, is it? Yes. Yeah, anyone with mistakes from the new girl <laughs> that Lauren does. <laughs> and uh, any, any of the proper good, that, that's the really me. Good, that's all down to you. Yeah, oh, yeah 100%. <laughs> yep. Uh, yes, and that's across all channels. So that's Simon Street and Hobby Maker as well. So you're a pretty busy guy. Yes. Like, I see your car in the car park very early. Yeah, yeah. And it was this morning as well. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> yeah. Well, <it's, laughs> but everyone's gone home by then. Everyone's gone home. Oh, so you come in early and then leave early? Today, today especially. Uh, today I do. Like, what time did you come in this morning? We'll say six. <laughs> we'll say well, officially six. <laughs> officially. There's no managers here. You can be honest. <laughs> yeah, they'll be watching though. Yeah, they're, oh. watch, they're waiting for me to trip up. Waiting. No, we've got Alan's back. Yeah. 600, 600 available now again when we're talking pearls they have never been more expensive in the current climate pearl industry that is they're still being cultured look pearls are still being cultured however the supply is the issue because yeah. the chinese market will literally go no we're, we're culturing these might as well sell, sell them to to the jewelers here because we know that they will pay the premium and uh, what's the point in us shipping them halfway around the world for you to go on and do something like this? Yeah. From they're right. They'd be right. They would be right. Um, Alan. Hello. I, a little dicky bird has told me what you're taking these to today. Yes, potentially. What do you mean potentially? Yeah, oh, it depends. Depends. yeah it depends. So the more that come in, the lower it's going to go. You drive a hard bargain. Yeah, well, you know, but it's fair. I'm a fair guy. Yeah, to be fair. Wayne doesn't think. Yeah, I know. Well, he doesn't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Very rare. <laughs> we want to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wayne doesn't think that that oh. Alan is going to sell six hundred. No, of these he doesn't. Today. He does not. So we need you at home. <laughs> yep. To be team Alan. So that Alan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. You can go upstairs. Yeah. And rub it right in Ru right there. Yeah, right there. there. <laughs> yeah. It is silly face. Yeah, it is silly face. It is, <laughs> that's it. It is stupid face. We're going to rub it in your face, Wayne. Ha! Yes, Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Because honestly, though, all joking aside, Alan, if if you do what I think you're going to do, uh -huh. this is probably one of the biggest pill deals jewelry makers ever. Done. Yes, yeah, and I'm, I've I'm been here a while. Yeah, yeah, you have, haven't you? Yeah, for almost thirteen years. Yeah. Oh well, well, we'll see. But um, <laughs> what we're, but well, you know, it's going to be one of the biggest ones, and probably just, the most fun. Yeah, and it'd be the most fun. It'd be the most fun for sure. For sure. 
for sure. 100%. So you've probably recognised Alan on a few promos and the voice as well. Mm. You often do the voiceovers, don't you? Yeah, only when everyone else has gone home. <laughs> so, so I find myself having to do the voiceover. And I love the one with your daughter. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Her yeah, little, little voice. Yeah. Very sweet. She got paid more than I did for that. Did she? Yeah, she did, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. So you know, that's she's, fair. Uh, she's got a glowing future. Yes, yeah, she has. Yeah, she, yeah, she was brilliant. Right, it's been on pre-order. We okay. have been pushing this for you. Oh, good, good. One hundred and six have already confirmed. Well, so. yeah, well, that's a good start. That's a very good look, start. Look, Thank you very much. You weren't even on air then. No. So if you didn't love Alan until now, you most <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me finish the sentence. Go you on. most definitely <laughs> will after this. Yes. After this. You don't already love him, you definitely will after this. Especially after this, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, you will, you will. You can't not love him. Yeah. You can't not love him with or without pearls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With or without, exactly. With or without, with pearls is a bonus, isn't yes, it, Yes, yeah, that's what I've been told. Oh, big bonus, yeah. Big bonus. That's what I've been told. He's just become my favourite person yeah. of all time. There we like go. I said, I said he's. Mo I said earlier on, Alan, you're probably one of the most popular jewelry maker crew. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take. I'll take him. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna I'm take not going to be humble about it. I'm just like, fair enough. You know what? I don't get, I don't get praise us and say, bring on. Well, we'll, where, we'll, we'll give you all the praise. Thank you very much. We'll give you all Thank the praise. <laughs> yeah, um, I praise okay. no. oh, Alan doesn't get praise. Can we big up Alan? Right. <laughs> There's 600. 112 have already gone. Brilliant. Confirmations. Yes. If there is any auction for you to get involved in, this is the one. This, yeah. Because honestly, I don't know how Alan is doing this. No, well, you, you know what? It's because um, it's because I've got no one to answer to in this. Well, no one's here, so I'll just oh. do what I want. Fair enough. <laughs> so. So what? Well, Chloe's not here. Well, she she might be kicking about, but she she didn't want to come on air. Oh, she doesn't like going yeah. on air, does she? Yeah. Wayne's off on holiday again. Yeah. Uh, Scott's away. Scott's away. Liam's away. Haley's away. Georgia was here yesterday. Yeah. But we got you. We got me. Yeah, you yeah. got me. But you got me. Every cloud. Yes, yeah, every yeah, exactly. Every cloud. Yeah. If there was a cloud, like managers being on holiday, we've got you. <laughs> yeah. We've got, we got lovely yeah. Alan. Yeah. Yeah. Right then, jury makers, the clock is ticking. Are you ready? I feel like this should have music on it, but then I realise that's oh, my you're job. You're on gems. <laughs> yeah, that's your job. Yeah. Where's the music, Alan? Yeah. <laughs> Can we oh, have some music dramatic good, music some, some like gems? dancing music. Have you got the dramatic Q gems dramatic music? Have you got that, Ross? I think we need to do all the funny music with Alan. Yeah. Ready? Go, go, go. Yeah. Claire in East Dunbartonshire has bought ten. Ten? She trusts you, Alan. Yeah, yeah, fair play. He's got quite an honest face. Yeah, I have got an honest face. I have. You're an honest kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell it as it is. What's your favourite gemstones? Opal and pearls. Is it opal and pearls? <laughs> yeah, and pearls. Yeah. No, um, yeah, yeah. in all seriousness, I, like, joking aside now, we'll talk about pearls. What is it that gives pearls their value? Now, we know that... Pearls on the market are all cultured, yeah? So what it basically means is they're farmed effectively now. That takes, um, it, it takes a lot of care, it takes a lot of time invested into not only sort of culturing what will hopefully be a pearl, but also you've got to mature the oysters. You've got to mature them to a stage where they can actually start that process. Um, anyway, and they are literally pampered every step of the way. They're, any barnacles are removed off the surface of the oyster. They're pivoted so that they're feeding nicely. They're moved around to different locations within the freshwater or salt water, whichever it might be, um, in a hope that they will produce just one, just one beautiful pearl. And then we have the five virtues, which is actually the simplified version. There's more virtues than that. But let's keep it to the five. Size, these are large. These are large Baroque pearls. Um, then we start talking about shape. It used to be always about the spherical. Now we really embrace your Baroques, your Keshis, your Bewers, your Fireballs, all of the above. I like the anomalies in a Baroque pearl. I like the kind of like quirky shapes. Then we start talking about your colours. White is still that classic pearl colour, isn't it? Mm. And then we start talking about nacre and lustre that go hand in hand. Um, with your recording, can you see how golden? Can you see how reflective, how mirror-like these are? That tells you you've got an abundance of nacre. So these are 
Alan, I have to say, incredibly, incredibly lustrous, amazing quality, frankly, for the price that I have heard. Yeah. So you genuinely are delivering probably one of the best pearl deals I've ever seen. Genuinely. Well, and you, well, and you've been in the game a long time, haven't you? A long I've time. I've been a long time, yeah. long time. Yeah. 150 confirmations. Don't put the price up, yeah. We haven't, even, we haven't even brought the price to air. Shall we show you the price that's been on the web for the last hour? And where other people have been confirming. But don't worry what you're not paying. Now, if we had 200, Alan, yep. we believe 99.99 would be a fair price. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, you, probably, you walk to, I don't know, Ernest Jones, Beaver Brooks, you're probably going to find pills at that price. Yeah. You know, just one single on a chain, you're probably going to see them at that price. But, how about if I told you that stratosphere is away from where? Millions of miles, millions of miles. But it is down to our customers though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we need to see more, we need to see more people coming in first. Yeah. That's, that's all we need to do. Claire, who bought 10, you might well double your quantity. Yeah. Yep. That's how low this is potentially going. But remember, it's a two-way thing, Alan, isn't it? We need we need enough customers yep. to justify the low exactly. price. Exactly. It's, it's a balance. Yeah. It's a balance. We need that balance. That's it. That's all we need. Yep. To find balance. Yep. So, go on. Well, let's give it a minute clock. Yes. There it is. Pow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. a, a minute to uh, for you to show Alan. Yep. That you trust him. Yeah. And then what are you going to do? I'm going to do a massive crash. Yeah. Big crash. It'll be good. It's going to be a big one. It'll be a big one. I like that. It'll be a big one. I like that. So a minute clock to show Alan the love. Yeah. Show him that you trust him. Yep. We've got 600. All you need to do is drop it in your baskets, pick up the phone lines. You don't have to confirm as of yet. No. If you don't want to. But trust me, you will. Angela Genuinely. in East Sussex, she's all put nine in, look. Oh, I see Angela trusts you. Yeah. So does Cheshire. Thank you, Angela. Four. Thank you. And Catherine in Bridge End, she's yeah. bought five. So there's lots of love for our yeah. Alan. Do you yeah. want to see more of Alan on here? <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll see what the, more manager specials when they're away, maybe. Like. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with you being here. Right? Yeah, oh, that's, well, I'm happy to be here. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Another minute, there's not enough people. Yeah. More yeah. love, please. More love Come for on. our Alan. Here's your promo oh, yeah. guy. That was not your title though, is it? What Pro is your title? Uh, uh, content creator. Content creator. Yeah. Angela says yeah. I'll have nine. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, I'll have nine of um, these. Uh, fun fact as well, um, like I've got a bit of uh, affinity with pearls because my daughter's never known as Pearl. Ah, that's, that's lovely. That's, that's true. It yeah. just had to be then. No. So that's why it's one of your favourite yeah. gemstones. Yeah. There we are. Aww. You see, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's the same birth month, June. Oh, she was, is she a June yeah. baby? Yeah, June, yeah. So is that why you named her Pearl? The, the, the middle name Pearl, yeah. Oh, Alan. It all yeah. makes sense now, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. All makes sense. All makes sense. It's all coming together. You're still... Synergy. Yeah, you're still going to do something reckless though, aren't you? Yes, yeah, well, yeah. It wouldn't be me if, if I didn't. Yeah, so. absolutely. 600 were available. How low can we go? What's Ross saying? Oh. Well, you, no 50, well, well, you want to see another 50? He's not happy as no, our Ross. No. He wants 600, he says, available. We want to sell them out today. Yep. We promise the price that will be a sellout price. It's going to be bonkers. Yeah. Bonkers. It is. I generally don't know anywhere else in the world that can actually no. offer the price that Alan's mentioned to yeah, me. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. But and it's because I've got no repercussions. If there's no manager, I'll just go back on my work. That's true. Yeah, so and you can literally just go, it's not my job. It's not my, not my job. Yeah. It's not she, my job. Should have been here. Throw me in at the deep end. <laughs> yeah. This I is take what's no, going to happen. I take no responsibility <laughs> for it. Exactly. I like it. Yeah. I like it. It's one of those few walks of life scenarios where you can say that. Yeah. Well, yeah. you put me in that yeah, situation. Yeah. It's my so. first day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is there enough people now, Roscoe? Almost, he says. 20 seconds to show Alan the Come love. Come on, some love. We've got 600 and Alan guarantees that you will see one of the best pearl deals ever. 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 Do we make a history? Big yeah. statement, but I know it's absolutely true. Yeah. Absolutely true. And pearls have never been more expensive in whatever variety, especially of this size. Yeah. 
you're going to go low. A big low. jump, you said. Didn't big, you? big jump. It's going to be a big jump. Okay. There we go. Look. No messing here. Are you going to do it now? Let's go now. Uh, half price. Ooh, Let's go half big price. jump, big jump. Come on. <coughs> so that's not the closing price that's then. Close. That's nowhere near it. Oh. That's nowhere near it. So you've got to remember, like 600, Alan. Look at that, 50 quid. Yeah, it's, I mean, incredible. 600 yeah. can crash our web. Yeah, and it has before. Has before. Yeah. You see the IT department stressing. Oh, yeah. All the engineers With are running time. around, like, ah, yeah. panicking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything's crashed. The apps down. The web's down. Yeah. The phone's down. Why is it, Alan? Yeah, he's, <laughs> Alan, Alan, it's yeah. Alan's fault. Yeah, Alan, Alan he, yeah. just, he just he just took some pearls for fifty quid. <laughs> yeah, it's Alan, it's not... and then Alan's got to go in the office, and then it's all. Yeah. When we said if we had two hundred ninety nine ninety nine would be an amazing price, we've just half that. It's already a close out. Yes, massive. When you started in the jewellery industry, Alan. <laughs> yes. How yeah. long ago was that? Five and a half years ago. Okay. Did you ever imagine pearls would be in fifty pounds? No. 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 Not thought at all. Never. Do you want to give our customers a bit of a shout out? Go on. Well, the first one's going to give a shout out to Alan. Big up. Yeah. He's got two. Yes, Al. Go on, uh. son. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've got oh we've got a, a maker in Conwy yeah Conwy yeah yeah got five big up and then we've got uh, Judith in Essex she's got three nice one I think they're going to get more they're, yeah they're gonna get, what's just the, read down the names read down okay we've got uh, Brenda Cheryl Janine Janet Judith Kay Sandra Christina oh we've got another one just popped in uh, Vivian big up Valerie June Angela Angela David Christina. Jacqueline, Kate, God, there's loads. Sandra, it's, it's hard to read, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, because they just keep on coming I in. I know, it's a skill, Alan. It yeah, I, skill. yeah I, I can barely read as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you read a name, the call screen um, um, jumps. What about those on the right-hand side, Alan, that need to check out the baskets? Are we stopping at 49.99? We are not stopping at 49.99. No. We are not stopping. No. We are not stopping. So, people, yeah, you need to check out the what check you got to do. Check out your baskets. Sandra, Christine, Barbara, Valerie, June, Caroline, Barbara, yeah. David, Caroline, Barbara, Jacqueline, Angela, Kate, Leslie. Check out your baskets, everybody. Yeah, Loads of trust and love for Alan. Yeah, and I appreciate it. I Bless appreciate it. He's been massively thrown in at the deep end here. <laughs> yeah. Massively. We've made the most of it, you know. Oh, yeah. No, Sink or swim, I've, totally. I haven't sunk yet. Well, no, no you're, so, you're, you're swimming pretty well. Lovely. Doggy paddling. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Yeah. As long when as it gets you there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mini clock? Yep. It definitely, def definitely needs music. You want some music? Yeah, I want, I want You've just some... added to your, I know. To your I'll, list. I'll, I'll give it to Lauren. Can we have music, Ross? He's going to have a little look. Because I know we've got some gems music. Yeah, we just need some, like. Oh, that's. Yeah, tense. Yeah, isn't it? Tense. Four. Gems. Ooh. Yeah, but Alan, Al, this is a tense moment. It is right a tense now. moment. I love it. It's, it's, it's just impacting it more. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should have almost like a shot of Alan like this there. Yeah. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Right, intense, yeah. intense gaze. Yeah. Right, are we ready? Right, okay, Down. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right ready, okay, ready, yeah, ready. Yeah, so three. <laughs> Brilliant. We're going lower, Alan, aren't we? Yeah, of course we are. We, we, haven't, we haven't put that clock on so because we're going higher. No, we're going lower. we don't do that. We don't do higher, we, we just do lower. We don't do that. Are you ready? Go on. Look at that. Show it, Alan. Twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, yes. A yeah, huge that, close that, out that, deal. That's They're not tiny bills. No. Yeah, bring back the old school music. It's always good. Yeah. It's always good. Yeah. Do you know when I was on <laughs> when I was working nights on Jeff? Yeah. You know, yeah. On, yeah. On, on rocks. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm crashing, I'm crashing, I'm, I'm going, I'm flagging. Yeah. Get the music, else yeah. start dancing. Yeah. We're 29.99 for natural pearls, genuine pearls, jewelry makers. Yeah. 
It's a massive deal. 99.99 was a massive deal. Yeah, you should be able to get them for that. You shouldn't. Not that quality, surely. No, definitely not, Al. Oh. That's awkward, isn't it? We were just dancing. It's like, when, yeah, it's like when the lights come on after the club, isn't it? It's yeah. Like... So oh, many. look at this. Do you want to shout out the names again? Yeah, I'll shout out some names. Do, here's a tip start from the bottom and work up. Bottom and work up. Oh, see, I was doing the other way. There right, you go. Right. Oh, they're coming in a bit too fast. Okay, we've got Gillian, we've got Davina, we've got Valerie, we've got another Gillian. Uh, Cecilia, Christine, and Val another Valerie. Uh, Claire, Sandra, Angela, David, and Maker, and another Vivian. Yeah. <laughs> Angela. We've got loads of people coming in <coughs> with multi buys as well. There's more. all trusting you, Alan. Yeah, that's what we like. We're loving Alan on air, aren't we? Jewelry makers, quantities of tens. Fives, <laughs> threes, yep. nines. Count them. Fours. Fours. You gotta be checking out your baskets. In a world where pearls have never been more expensive, yep. Al swoops on in here, all Oof. six foot six. Yeah. Like how an tall, eagle. Yeah, six, six five. Six five, yeah. Yeah, I won't overcook it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> six foot five. So, yeah, you? let's not go mad. <laughs> it's still very tall, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. Very, very, very tall. How tall is your wife, by the way? She is 5'1". Oh! Ah. No, she is. Oh, she's one of those ones as well, because she's so short, it's like 5'1 and 3 quarters. Like the 3 yeah. quarters makes any difference. It counts. No, it, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it makes no difference. You might as well just be 5'1 and be happy. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's perfectly petite. Yeah, exactly, she is perfectly yeah, petite. Yeah, perfectly petite. And here's 6 foot 5, Alan saying, I'm going to bring some amazing pearls. Amazing pearls. More people come. Pamela's come in now. She got yeah, three. there's so many multi buyers getting Lorraine. involved, and you know, you know, cast your mind back. I mean, I, like I said, I started here in 2011. 2011. Where did that time go? Pre kids, pre kids, oh. pre husband. Yeah, those were the yeah. yeah. Money, money. Those were, well, I say those were days. It was more like when, when money, you know, you could just spend you could on whatever be frivolous, you like. You? Yeah, you could, you could just be frivolous. Ridiculous things. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I tell you what, you didn't see pearls like this of this size, of this luster at twenty nine ninety nine mm. then, did we, Deb? No, not a chance. Didn't. And pearls are more expensive now, more difficult to source now. Yeah. We went to Hong Kong. I say we, like I was there. I wasn't there. But the collective, team. the collective we. Yeah, the collective we. The jewelry maker team. Yep. We shipped off the managers. That's how we get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, off you go, off you go to Hong Kong. Yeah, try and oh buy yeah, some go pearls. on have a look. Yeah. See if you can buy it, bring back some pearls. Knowing full well they won't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They won't be successful. No. Um, and even if they did, they wouldn't be able to buy them at twenty nine ninety nine. Um you know what I think we should do? What? I think we should go a bit lower. I'm I'm with you, Alan. Yeah, let's go a bit lower. Mid o'clock, pow, let's do it. Yes, he's getting into it now, right? Come on, there it's ticking, it's ticking. Found <laughs> his feet. There we are. Have we got any more music? Yeah, come on. C cue no. music. Oh, no, you don't oh. want music. No. Oh, okay. Once more. Who, Just who? once more. Oh, we can have a bit of music. I mean, I think this is. <gasps> <laughs> Keep that. Are you going to be Keep showing, showing your children this? Uh, probably not, no. Okay. Probably, yeah, probably not. I think you should. <laughs> you think? I think it should. Yeah. Uh, is... Look, do you see when Dabby made his, uh, <laughs> his, his shopping TV debut? Yeah, and the that face. Uh, yeah. Confused. Look, they should be proud. They should, yeah, they should. Especially with what the deal that you're delivering, yeah, it's Alan. insane. It is insane. It's Ten the fact seconds can go lower. Lower. As I say, it, there's no repercussions for me. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, so, so yeah. you can literally just yeah. go, ah. Well, you know, like, like now, for example, I'll just go, you know what, uh, 24.99. How about that? Tw Tw yeah. Right. We started at 99.99 and we said that's a great price. Mm -hmm. yep. The quality of the pearls. Then you halved it. Yep. And we were like, okay, that's a closeout price. Yep. If we had a smaller quantity, it would stop at that price. Yeah, of course. But Al, you come in. Swoop in. Swoop. Swoop. <laughs> With 600. 600, yeah. It's difficult to swoop as well with 600 pearls. 600 pearls, it is difficult. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. But I did it. <laughs> and that's, all, that's all that matters. Can you come on the show every day, please? <laughs> well, I'm here for most of it. I'm here for most of it. So I'm yeah, just imagining time. you like with a trench coat and yeah. 600 pearls. Oh. Yeah, well, that's it. It was trench coat out, and yeah. that's how I was swooping in. Oh, yeah, fair play. So it's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And you swooped in thinking, twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's why so many people go. Oh, I'll tell you what, then, Alan. Look at them. I won't just have the one. I won't just have the two. I wonder if the collector who bought ten, Claire. So you've got for two hundred and fifty pounds, which is probably the price of one strand elsewhere. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. They're big pearls. Yeah, these them. aren't small. Two hundred and fifty pounds will probably buy you one strand of these elsewhere. Yeah. You you you've swooped off with ten. Sw swooped off. There's a lot of swooping. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to swoop off with ten. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's take. Yeah. 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 I can see that. Just a more glide off. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, eighty percent of our collectors have multi bought. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. I look at the price. Yeah. What's exactly. Good? Look, at twenty four ninety nine. Let's talk about what you can get for twenty four ninety nine, shall we? Yeah. What can you get for twenty four ninety nine? No, no, no. You know, this is not. I don't mean to be insulting to these gemstones, but they're more abundant. They're not as expensive. Right. So how about like a die dag eight. Dina. Yeah. Like a banded dye dagger. Yep. Yeah, you can get that for twenty four ninety nine. Certain jaspers you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? And that's jewelry maker. Elsewhere. Yeah. They're got obviously no, not. No. Obviously way. not. Maybe a fluorite. Yeah. Certain fluorites you can get for twenty four ninety nine. Yep. Onyx. Yeah. Absolutely. A dyed varieties of onyxes. Maybe a carnelian or. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing you definitely don't get you right don't now. Get at all. Strand pearl. You don't get that, do you? No. Alan. No, I know. I know. We had 600 of these. I absolutely, 100% Alan, yep. want you to completely annihilate. Anni annihilate. Anni annihilate. That's a new gem coming That's up soon. That's a new gem. Let's yep. cover that soon. Annihilate. <laughs> Wayne's yeah. figures. All right, well, especially as he said, you can't do it. Yeah, well, you know, well, you know what? Let's let's, let's wipe. Have a... Let's wipe that smuggler. Yeah, off his exactly. Face. That, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's put let's put a clock up. Yeah. There's a clock. Let's, yeah, let's Wayne. Go, let's, go, let's go further down. Because there's no repercussions. Remember? There's no repercussions. I don't care. Let's, let's <laughs> <laughs> there's repercussions for Russ. Russ ah. is having a great time. Look at him. Russ, you're all right, aren't you? Not really, he says. He's like, no, forty nine nine times the great price. He's saying. Well, I mean, it is a good. It is, it is. It is. But you know, we can go better. We can do better. We can do better. Yeah, we, yeah. What a great opportunity for someone that's maybe been watching Jewelry Maker and never shopped with us before. Yes. Because pearls, everyone knows pearls. Yeah. So pearl, like, to make to make that initial step. Because we're at twenty four ninety nine. You want to go? You want to? <laughs> Here you go. There you are. Yeah. Janet's just said yeah. I spent more on a Chinese meal last yeah. night. Yeah. If you went to the cinema with two people, that's more than twenty quid. Yeah. Twenty four quid. It's true. It is true. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. It's just, just any it takeaway. Doesn't get you far no. much, does it? No, twenty four ninety nine these days. Yeah. No. But, oh. Go on. You tell him, Alan. You what? <laughs> Yep. Wow. Oh, well, yeah, so here's the deal. We're going to get it under £20, but we need more people. We need more people. More people Way to more people. It. Yeah. Because so remember, it's, balance. That it's off balance. balance. It's off balance. It's off balance. We've got one ear, one ear. We want it here. Yeah. Synergy. Perfect. That's what we want. That's it. Shopping <laughs> TV is different to normal. Air juggling. Yeah. <laughs> Shopping TV is different to normal retail, isn't it? Yeah. Because retail, the price is what it is. It might change. It might go back up and whatnot. Shopping TV is different because you've got to remember we're talking about airtime. And this is the first time they've ever been on air. Yeah. So we want them to sell out today. Yeah. In one auction. Yes. Of course. But it's that balance. So where the quantity of customers that join us how many it's looking like Alan is going to sell, and then the price point, so it's that balance. Ooh, oh, you say it. Well, okay, so when this clock ends, these are gonna be under, under 20 pounds. Under 20 pounds. 
Because I say, no repercussions. There's no repercussions. Not for me. Alan, 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 okay. he, ain't, he ain't bothered. Yeah. There we are. What, would you just go for? Do you, this, uh, this what we're going for? Yeah, this, yeah. Just this shrug. is why you wanted them. There we are, look at that. 1999. Look at that. Look at the phone lines as well, Alan. Oh, they, oh, oh God, we're on free. Yeah, oh. so many multi buyers. Where do we reform now? All around, well, I normally start at London with three because that's the right, well, and then go that way. But they disappear off the screen. Yeah, they're, just, they're, just, they're just going quite, quite, quite rapid. rapid. Yeah. Um, Sydney's yeah. almost gone. Barbara's almost gone. She's off the screen almost. We've got two Barbaras going. We've got all sorts. It's mad. I know. Catherine's got five. Linda's got five. Barbara's got two. Carol's got four. Christine's got four. Mary yeah. and Jerry got four. Margaret's got oh, three, Linda's got five. You get the idea. Catherine yeah. and Bridgen, five. Yeah, it's just good. I've never seen it like six. this before. Have you not? No. It's, this it's, is, it's, this is, this is new to me. Let's call it the Allen effect. The Al yeah, yeah. We'll call that from now on. That is the Allen effect. Yeah. Yeah, that is a lot of multi buyers, Alan. Yeah, there's loads. We've got loads of people coming in. Um, but it is also down to the fact that you are bringing one of our most popular gemstones yeah. at one of the most ridiculous, irreplaceable price tags. Yeah, it's, it's mental. <laughs> yeah. Because we can't replace them for that. No, no. Once, and once they're gone off, I'd imagine that's it. We're not getting any more in like that, are we? Not a twenty quid. No, definitely not a twenty quid. Because they're not small. I need to point that out, jewelry makers. These are not small pearls. Look, yeah. They are large in their size. Look at the measurement. Seven to eight. I think it's actually being quite conservative, to be truthful. Yeah. Twenty pounds. Yes. Twenty pounds. And they're still coming in. Look, Ross was happy at forty nine ninety nine. He thought that was a more than fair price tag, and he thought six hundred at forty nine ninety nine. Amazing, absolutely amazing. That's a huge closeout deal. It's probably, arguably, our number one most popular gemstone at the moment. Okay. Pearls and jade, yeah, are our number one gemstones. Yeah, but both of which incredibly difficult to buy. Alan. Swoop it in. Swoops. 600 swoop. Yeah. That's impressive. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And yeah. And you had in your head £20 as a price point. Oh, you know. Yeah. £20. Well, 19 99 Yeah. 19 99 Debs, you've been here a while, haven't you, lovely? Uh -huh. Have you ever seen a deal like this? Nope. Yeah. Ross is saying very adamantly, you never will again <laughs> on his watch. Yeah. Nineteen <laughs> oh, is the most stupid price, he says. The, mo the most stupid price? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Well, we can, I think we can go st st stupider. Stupider? Let's go stupider. Let's go stupider. Okay, he wants to go stupider. He wants to. It's Alan's deal. Yeah. I want him to. We all want to, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Ross is saying, don't you start now, yeah, Debs. Yeah. Right, hang on a minute. Can we go for a, let's put a vote in? Let's put a vote in, right. Hang on a minute. No, there's a vote. Those in favour of Alan going stupid up. Stupid. Ooh. Or Elle going stupid Say aye. <laughs> aye. Aye. Becky says aye. Alan, uh, Adam. Aye. Adam. Yeah. Adam. Aye. Ross, you're Adam out says aye. Lauren. I. Yeah, I. Sorry, Ross. You're outnumbered, <laughs> Ross. You're outnumbered, Ross. There you go. <laughs> We've taken a vote. Okay. You're gonna do it. You've been, you, yeah. We've bullied you into it, yeah. basically. Yeah. Sorry, Ross. It's all. I'll take the brunt of it. I'll take the brunt of it. <laughs> yeah. All right then. Okay, loads of you getting involved. Those in favour say aye. 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 Everybody at home aye. say aye. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> aye. aye. London says aye. We do want it lower. Yes, we do want it. Yes. Off you go. <laughs> well, Mr. Smarty Pants. <laughs> You think you're big, <laughs> yeah. you think you're clever. Oh. Um, Becky, because I know he hates this, can you point the camera directly at Ross's face? <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was that? Was that a, a minute clock, he was it? He's there, look. 
<laughs> Literally. <laughs> Here's there. Ross, peek over. Come on. Where are you? <laughs> oh, no. we can't quite oh. see you. There he is. is there he is. Is that just Ross? about? Stand up a bit, Ross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you can just see his eyes. <laughs> there he is. Look. That's creepy, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're big, you think you're clever, he's got lower by a penny. Yeah, well, that's that's what he gets. Well, yeah, let's have a minute clock then. Let's be serious now. Minute clock. Okay. I don't think we can do serious, Alan. Well, no, we're not doing... You we're know, not able to, to do yeah, serious. Yeah, but, 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 you know, compared to 1998, we can yeah, do... Yeah, right, what's that? What's oh, yeah. that? Yeah. yeah, come on. That's not a jury maker no. prize. No, we don't, we don't play them. We, we don't, don't play do that. eight. Yeah. Not, it's not in our vocabulary. No. Right, final no. what? <laughs> Get involved, everybody. We've got how many? How many have we got available? He says I, I can't. Yeah, actually, the phone lines have gone crazy. It's really difficult for I will actually sort of defend Rossi. It's difficult for us to give you a quantity when people are multi buying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because tick tick yeah, you just see this. customers. Yeah. So that doesn't tell you how many that customer's bought. Yeah. So it is actually pretty oh. challenging. I know. Everybody pays the final low though. Yeah, yeah, they do. That's that's how we that's how we roll. Alan's that's auction roll. debut. Yeah, it's going all right, I think. I think so. Yeah. I think so, Alan. You've actually crushed the system. Yeah, right? fair enough. I mean, I think as a manager, that should be a goal. Yeah. Uh, uh, for someone who's not a manager, you, you know, I'll crash the system, I'll do it, I'll do it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You four salads. Yeah. Salad that's, that's, well, that's it. We're just gonna this we're just gonna drop happened. prices because yeah. What so What oh So yeah, let's go yeah, let's be serious then, ish. Oh. Let's go fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. Have that. Yeah. Goodness me! Is it's, it, it's literally it's just Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Bear with while we just uh, while we just literally yeah. reboot the system, jewelry makers. We will crash it because yeah. you've 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 said it now. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Wow! 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 Yeah. So it's not what's on there. But it's. It is going to go lower, but yeah. Ross is being very adamant. He says you literally cannot go any lower. The system will not allow it. <laughs> well, we need to we need to change the system. <laughs> we, need, we need to change the system up. Fourteen ninety nine. Final price, jewelry makers. Yeah. That literally is us giving. Otherwise, we will get told off. We will get told off. I mean, off. yeah. It's okay. It's all right. I put my headphones on. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> You're all right. It's all good. Like it out. I think we're fairly good at shrugging it off. Yeah. 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 We want. We just want what's best, don't we? That's, Absolutely. That's, we're just looking after our lovely jewelry maker friends, aren't we? They're still like piling in. Ah, uh, yes. We had 600. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo clue yeah. how many we got now, Alan, but... Oh, yeah, I wouldn't even uh, begin with the maths. No. Um, there you go. 423. 423. Left. Oh. You say it. There's almost 300 in baskets. Yeah. 300. A little cue on the phone lines. You yeah. need to be checking them out, jewelry Check makers. Out. You got to look, look at it this way. Let's look at the top section, Alan, yep. of the names. So Margaret's got four. Yep. Suzanne got two. Yep. Anne's got three. Cumbria's got six. And Conway's just got ten. Yep. You've got to remember, that's what you reckon. And someone else is coming with four and two. And yeah, all sorts, it's so. not just one customer, no. is it? No. You know, so that's percentages off that quantity so 200 all of a sudden all of a sudden yeah just can go in a half just like eight. that like that dorothy and merseyside's just got eight well, well done, done dorothy nice one, dorothy amazing and why wouldn't we can yeah. we buy pearls at 14.99 in the current market right now no no well, I, would, I wouldn't know where to begin if this place didn't <coughs> exist where would you go for that that's a really good point. You know, even an individual pearl at fourteen ninety nine, a genuine one. Mm. You'd be, and that's not, you'd be happy with that as well. You'd be happy yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I walked past Pand Pandora the other day. Right. And they're doing faux pearls. Right, faux pearls. Faux pearls. Right. For more money than what you've just brought that strand to air for. Um, I always called you Ross. Yeah, it's all right. Alan. 
Um, yeah, there's, yeah that's, and that's insanity. It is insanity. Yeah. You're bringing genuine culture pills. We have, we've crashed the system again. Oh, I just see, um, I can just see, because you can't quite see through the gra glass from this angle, can yeah, you? Yeah, you have to kind of like yeah. squint. And I just saw this. Yeah. Brooding. Is that Wayne? Oh, uh oh. No, I said I was, um, I was trying to get, you know, Team Allen. Yeah. Six hundred quid. Oh, yeah, yeah, you really have to squint to see Wayne. Yeah, you? Like, he's there though. I just <laughs> saw the arms. There, folded. that's the, that's the arc to see. Yeah. There no, he is. Are. Just, I just saw the arms folded. I was like, oh, there he is. Yep. Looking all menacing in the background. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> there he is. Like Darth Vader of Joy Maker. <laughs> the Darth Vader of Joy Maker. <laughs> da, da, it's da, just da, like da, 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 da. <laughs> It's Wayne. Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the last one. They're absolutely flying out. Um, yeah. Alan, lots of love for you. Um, lots of amazing uh, multi buys. Well, there's never been a better opportunity to multi buy on beautiful pearls than yeah. Alan's deal. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm coming on, I'm doing it properly. Like, we're not messing about, are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you so. can just sh shirk all responsibility. Then, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I can just waltz off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> flit off. He swooped in, he's going to flit off. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're going to need to do a 60 second clock to close, jewelry oh. makers. Um, and I will keep you updated. We're going to allow our call centre to catch their breath, allow our app and our website to recover. Um, yeah. But I'm looking down the call screens and it's literally just... it's probably 80% yeah, of you choosing to multi buys And not just two, there's lots of sixes, eights yeah. and tens. And a lot of names are coming up that originally had one <coughs> and now I've got more. That's it, changing their minds. Well, yeah. that's because, Alan, they were probably expecting maybe 49 99 Yeah. Not 14 99 Well, that's what I do. That's what he does. That's what I do. Bring it in. As well as doing amazing promos. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a, it's a balance. It's that balance. It's that balance. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Alan, we have loved having you on air. I've, I've enjoyed myself. I've had a great time. It's been really good fun. Yeah. Hopefully we will have Alan back on air very, very soon. I, I hope to be. But just in case you need just a little bit more of Alan, just check out this VT. Oh. What's this all about? <laughs> It's manager's special this week, but half of them have decided to go on holiday. So some of the team members have decided to take over instead, and now they think they're the managers. We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for manager specials on Jewelry Maker. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that fun? Right, okay. The graphics are still live. Uh, over 300 of you still have these in your baskets, Jewelry Makers. Um, we are going to win the auction. Don't think that you've missed out. There is still a triple figure quantity, which is amazing yeah. in the world of pearls. Um, however, there's 300 of you which actually have them in your baskets too. And people aren't just buying the one. Very savvy. Why would you at 14.99? No, that's amazing. I mean, Debs, you know, go back what? We've been, how long have you been here now? 12 years. Yeah, I was going to say it's as long as me. Mm. I'm fairly sure we started at similar times. I think we did. You and I. You know, pearls were not 14 99 12 years ago, were they? No. You know? I mean, they're not now. That's a very unusual for us. Yeah. I mean... And, and we're great at buying pearls. And we're amazing at buying pearls. Yeah. So that's absolutely incredible. I mean, I can't believe that we've been able to do that. How amazing for our viewers. I know. And it's all down to uh, Big Al. I know. Big Al. <laughs> nice one, Big Al. Nice one, Big Al. But why didn't I, why is he not called Big Al? Do you actually call him Big Al? Do you? Six foot five. Uh, hiya, Zoe. <laughs> you broke the web 
on your first auction. Brilliant. Ah, oh, Zoe. It was good, wasn't it? It was good. And can I just say for the record that the three quarters, the five foot one and three quarters does matter. Oh, it does matter. Um, five foot three and a half. And it a matters. half, right. Okay. Hiya, Debbie, Alan, you are the man. Um, although the ladies have, enc have encouraged you uh, rather a lot for <laughs> Ross, no chance. No, we did bully Ross into it. We totally bullied Ross into it. When, when we get started, he's got no chance. No. He's like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. He'll just shirk all responsibility mm -hmm. afterwards, that's the mm -hmm. thing. Well, do you what, won't you, Ross? You'd be like, you, you, you'll just shirk all responsibility, have you? Just say, we made, yeah, we made you do it. He says, <laughs> I literally have got nothing to do with that auction. He doesn't um, <laughs> You can't literally say, it was Alan, <coughs> it was Al, it was Debs, and it, it was the whole team. All of us. We literally railroaded you into it. Amazing. Well done, everyone. Should we do some more pearl? We've got a break coming up as well. So we do some more pearl closeout deals. Just on the back of, of Alan. <laughs> Big Al. Have these are so beautiful. Heart shaped mother of pearl. And whether it's pearl, whether it's shell pearl, whether it's marine or freshwater, whatever it is, all things pearl. Yeah. Yeah, um, all things pearl, the price has gone up. That means, you know, your mother of pearl that you see at Van Cleef and Arpels? Incredibly expensive. Yeah. The mother of pearl that you see on your Rolex watches? Oh, yes. Do you know the dial for a Rolex? And this is back when I worked in the jewellers for like thousands of pounds. For the dial, the face. Oh. So if you could change that face. Yes, yeah. Yeah, now it's about 2,000, yeah. Goodness me. Mother of pearl. <gasps> Yeah, they th they are very expensive. Look at the quality. Sorry. Let's show you. <coughs> Excuse me. The type of deals that you're going to be getting are mother of pearl. Yeah, it's lovely to see it back in stock. And I remember having a conversation with a viewer saying, "Why is mother of pearl so expensive now?" There's obviously different degrees of quality of mother of pearl, and I have to say. Our mother of pearl is amazing quality, um, but also it's uh, it's it's connected to the pearl industry, yeah. you know, because obviously we only get mother of pearl from the oysters that produce pearls originally, um, and it, you know it's it's all expensive at the moment. The popularity of anything pearl related has skyrocketed. Same with abalone as well. Have you noticed mm, the price of abalone yeah, has gone up? Um, or your power shell, hugely exp uh, considered. Let's show you some of the closeout deal prices that we're going to bring you. The first price, but not what you're going to pay. Oh, Ross, you're as bad. You're as bad. Yeah, you can literally say that about Alan. And here you are, starting with Mother of Pearl at 19.99. These are pretty depth, aren't they? Can't go wrong with hearts. I love the way they're drilled because they're great for your sliding bracelets yeah. or because the pearl's sitting um, that way rather than top to bottom. So I think that you don't often see that with pearls. They're often drilled top to bottom, aren't they? Yeah, true. And then if you pop um, a bead when it's top to bottom, you kind of lose the shape a little bit yeah, sometimes. True. So I really like the the way these are drilled. It's, you know, Do the you heart. So it? popular. Yeah. You know, the heart motif. How many we got? 70 available. Oh, yes, please. Just do lots of little heart wish bracelets. Or family bracelets, one for each child, one for each, you know, best oh. friend. You know, you can add all of that a meaning when you've got a motif like this. Yeah, absolutely. Loving these. I've only got 70. We're going to do some massive um, pill related closeout deals. Good. Um, basically, tag tailing Alan. <laughs> basically. We're just going to. We're going to stand in Al 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 Alan's shadow. So if he can do it, we can do it? Yeah, 100%. Okay. 100%. 9.99? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's so good. And imagine how difficult it is to carve Mother yeah, of Pearl I, as well. Yeah, I wouldn't even like to. Oh, Would these you... are so useful. <coughs> Excuse me, you could use one just in the nice, if you do silversmithing or anything rings. like that. Lovely rings. Stretchy rings, perfect. Pop your elastic <clears throat> through, get some spacer beads, and you've got a stretchy ring. Gorgeous. Be lovely, wouldn't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've got hearts. We've got stars as well. Oh, really? We've got some hearts and stars. Very pretty. Let's do some more hearts first. These are slightly bigger and they are, oh, are they all on pre-order? 
Is that my pre-order? Oh, these are absolutely flying out. Yeah, I'm not surprised. There is a little queue on the phone lines, but bear with our amazing call centre team. To be fair, we are bombarding them right now. Oh, Alan. Hi, Alan. All right. All right. Yeah, you? He's loitering. Yeah, I've got my water bottle. Yeah, do you want it? Yeah, go on. Here you go. There you are. Oh, thanks. I'll come now. Alan, we're on your tag. You're on your. Um, we're tag tailing you. Tag tailing me. Well, I, mean, I was trying you, to think. You do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> was it coattail? How do you say it? Right, well, riding the coattails. Yes, we're riding your coattails. Yes. Thank you. No worries. Because I couldn't think it's, of the it, end of that it's sentence. It's a pleasure, Al. <laughs> <laughs> you ride them all you want. <laughs> <laughs> riding on Alan's coattails. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Let's bring you the large one so you can see the difference in the size. These are the eight mils that we've just had. Oh, you could do two, like like you could do sort of mother and daughter, father and, oh, father yeah, and son, father I and love daughter, that. best friends, whatever it might be. We're going to do this in one price crash. Coattails of Alan. Straight away collectors getting involved. Beautifully double carved as well. I don't know if you can see it, but they have got a really lovely soft curve. Um, yes, Adam's saying we put these on air because Alan has got a big heart. He has. He is a sweetheart though, Alan, isn't he? Let's be honest. He is a sweetheart. He's a good egg, is our Alan. Everybody loves Alan. It should be like a catchphrase. It does sound like a sitcom. Yeah, yeah. it does. Everybody loves Alan. <coughs> you know, you've got like, like Frasier and Friends. Yeah. It would be like everyone loves Alan. Yeah. Fourteen ninety nine jewelry makers Cheryl London Christine Sandra Carol Sorry Kent and again these are drilled in the same direction that you were talking Loving about. Loving that. So you could just put if you've got the sapphires this morning. And the, I'm thinking obviously I've got three kids, but now I add on my grandchild. So I'd have those probably four of those together, and then like the little sapphires all around for a bracelet with maybe one sapphire oh. in between. Because you know you look at them and they're facing the right direction yep. on your wrist or on your neck. Ah, oh. you could also flip them, couldn't you? Yeah. So you could actually have them. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Have them like that. Yeah. Which is lovely, isn't it, for a necklace? Yeah, gorgeous. Loving these. How many do we have, Ross? Only 30, and these are looking like they could sell out imminently. Sandra, Janet, well done, getting two. Swansea, Christine, Kate, London, Cheryl, Kent, uh, Carol, Davinia, hello to you, Sharon, Kent, Helen, Patricia, Kimberly, Liz, uh, Angela, hello to you there, well done, well done, well done. Um, yeah! Two strands of Mother of Pearl rounds coming up as well. I've never seen Mother of Pearl rounds know. before. Yeah, I don't know if... I don't know if I have actually, now you say. I don't think I have. Can we consider that this is a shell? I know, how do they do it? How do... We almost overlook this. This is a shell that you've just seen carved into one of the most challenging shapes. Not to draw, but to carve out something that's quite brittle. All the same. And have them, yeah, absolutely, mathematically precise. Hold that thought for a second, because I'm about to boggle your brain. Oh, they're lovely. Now carve this shape. They're lovely. How? That's got to be one of the most... I can't draw a star like that, no. that let alone carve one out of a gemstone. We've got how many? Oh, 60 available. Imagine like waterfall earrings. Oh. Or these on a tassel or charms. These with your projects at 12 o'clock. Oh, yes. Mother of Pearl and Queen Conk. He's so gorgeous. Oh, stunning together. Absolutely stunning. I, again, again, full of that lovely iridescence. Mm. It's the quality of the Mother of Pearl that we bring to you now as well, jewelry makers. Um, and then the fact that these are so perfectly precise. I can't get my head around that. You know, this is genuine mother of pearl. What? Can I count them? Then I'll be ready. Okay, I might have sold out before that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 
20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, hang on a minute, uh, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 53, Goodness approximately. Me. Let's say approximately just in case I missed some. 53 carved mother of pearl at 9.99. That's amazing. Guaranteed seller. Oh! There's only 10, so this you're going to have to be literally... Oh. What was his name? Um, what was the cartoon character? Andley, Andley. Arriba, arriba. Arriba, arriba. Speaking Hello, Gonzalez, Matt. there yeah. you go. 14.99. Oh, you'd have to get the two, wouldn't you? Yeah, lovely together. Well done. Right, so Debs, you said earlier on, mm -hmm. here's a shape that you don't think you've actually seen in Mother and Pearl, and I've got, I'm scratching my head now thinking, I don't know if I have. I don't have think I have. four mil. Oh, perfect. And six mil. <gasps> I can't remember ever doing Mother of Pearl rounds. Can you imagine a Mother of Pearl Marla with the six mil? Oh, that's so gorgeous. And a Capriccio with the four mil. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and it'd be so wearable as well because it's Mother of Pearl. And it's light. Not too, yeah, not, not too heavy. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? These are stunning. Please say this quantity, Ross. Oh, that's not enough. No, it's not. There's 30. They are brand new. Can you see that, how the light hits it? You get that lovely mother of pearl iridescence across the surface. Oh, they're stunning. They so really unusual. are. I wonder if you can, Becky. Like If I hold it like this, because look, that's when you see the magic with mother of pearl. Oh, yeah. They're gorgeous, aren't they? We've got 30 jewellery makers, and the same would happen if I was to do it all the way along this strand. Ah. Oh. Six millimetres. I, I don't remember there actually ever being mother of pearl rounds previously before. Debbie raises a very good point. Imagine it with things like your selenite. Oh. 30 seconds. You had bamboo selenite. What, carved into bamboo shapes? Lovely. Ethereal, mood lifting. You Amazing. can wear them in any, any season. They're yeah. just beautiful. Absolutely. Did you talk about bamboo, the shape? Amazing. We've got the six mils. Yeah, they are ethereal. That's they the are, aren't that. they? I have 30 available. Four mils are coming back to back as well. Teaming with the pearls, you can't go wrong with mother of pearl. Oh, with pearl, it no. makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Because let's not forget. The, what, the colours that you see on Mother of Pearl would have been the same colours that you'd see on a pearl that if, if they produced it. True. Because they it's the same... The nature is the same as the Mother of Pearl. They're family. They are family. What is that? Twelve ninety nine. Goodness me. You know, the fact that we haven't had Mother of Pearl in absolutely ages, it's not through, you know, it's not through the want. We definitely do want it, but it's, it's through the supply of it. You know, Mother of Pearl is absolutely everywhere at the moment and also popular much like your pearls particularly so um in china 12.99 for your six mils i agree debs i don't think i've seen six rounds i might be wrong but i don't remember i don't remember i've I seen the shapes before and you know not not rounds. slices yeah slices um we've had kind of like squares yeah. before not rounds which I imagine is even harder to shape, uh, to actually carve. I wouldn't even know where to start. I think these are gorgeous for bracelets. Yeah, like just stunning. stretches. Yeah, stunning. Put on a star, um, a matching star or heart for a charm. Beautiful. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We had 30 available. They've sold out. Well done, everybody. Still got the four mils to bring you. I'm just going to swap that over there. Um, I've got this and one more auction before we dive into a quick break, jewellery makers. You've got lovely Malachite coming up and you've got Deb's amazing um, Queen Conch uh, Masterclass projects. It's going to, like, I can't believe we're going to the price that we are for Queen Conch mm -hmm. at 12 o'clock. Um, okay, now for your four millimetre mother of pearls, you said it, Capriccio bracelet. It's going to be light because for the nature of that kind of bracelet, you need a lot of beads. Yeah. 
Um, and it's just not going to be weighty at all because no. they're not weighty gems. Oh, and can you imagine like just how uplifting that would be having Especially that on your natural arm. sunlight? Just as well. gorgeous. You know, this is a gem. It looks lovely in our studios. Yeah. Which is the worst possible lighting <laughs> yeah. condition for any gemstone. But you imagine it actually outside. How breathtaking that's going to be. That would ju just uplifting piece yeah. of jewelry that would be, wouldn't it? But we we we're swooning over this because we neither Debs nor I can actually remember actually bringing four mil rounds nope. in Mother of Pearl. We've got 30. One price crash. Straight down to it, jewellery makers. Straight down to it. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, you can do Mother of Pearl tassels. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mother of Pearl tassel with one of your connectors. Oh. It's a bit of you, isn't it? That's a bit of me. That bit of you. really is. We've got some messages coming into the studio as well. Good afternoon. Oh, sorry. Good morning, rather. We're still in the morning, aren't we? Yeah. Are we? Oh, yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> <coughs> uh, I can't see it from there. Sorry. Ah, they turquoise strands on the other stand, says County Tyrone. Oh, those ones? No. They are not turquoise. Is it beginning with an A? It is. Oh, beautiful. We are launching totally natural Colorado Amazonite on Friday. <gasps> it has, did it literally touch down today? Can They're I just incredible. show you these as well? They're incredible. They're absolutely gorgeous. The colour. Yeah, it's amazing quality. The best colour Amazonite that we've ever had. Yeah, it's, it's literally turquoise colour, isn't it, Count, uh, County Tyrone? Now, can I also just say, um, your producer, Ross, he um, has really championed this gemstones behind the scenes, you know, and we often all, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have gems that we want to bring to wear. We always, we'll always have favourites, won't we? When yeah. you're really passionate about talking about it or maybe a particular design that you love or medium that you love as a guest designer. So, um, you know, Wayne will sort of come to the team and actually say what gemstones. Um, but Ross has literally been probably the greatest advocate, of, the greatest champion of this gemstone. Um, over the past year or so, probably even longer than that. Anyway, and he was a man on a mission, wanted to bring you, after the Peruvian deposit of what we believed actually bought out by David German, he was a man on a mission, and he, you basically embarked on a gem hunting expedition, didn't you? Um, and he unearthed about a parcel, he heard about a parcel that was, had just been discovered in Colorado. Um, and and Ross, is that, Ross is the reason why this has been launched on Friday. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's very, it's beautiful. It's the, the best colour. quality we've seen. Yeah. Um, and Ross, how long have you worked in gemstones? 12. You've worked longer than that, haven't you? <laughs> no, I was not referring to you. I thought, did you? 2012. There you go. And, and again, you've, you've been a massive champion of this gemstone and you predicted what was going to go happen to the gem's popularity and it's happened, hasn't it? Um, so the fact that Ross has managed to actually uh, acquire a parcel of your Colorado Amazonite, it's launching on Friday. But there are literally four lines, just so you know. You've got the Guru beads, just there. You've got rounds in eight, six, and four. But we put it all on the T-bar so you can show you the quality, literally that consistency of color. It's the best Amazonite in the history of Jewelry Maker. Yeah, because the colour is all totally natural. Coming up Friday at 10 o'clock. One more auction before we duck into a bit of a, um, a little break. How about some? Um, we're loving pearls, aren't we, jewellery makers? We're loving Alan's amazing deal. We've got the Malachite coming up in a few moments' time. How about natural, natural, not dyed, apricot pearls? It's a full 38 centimetre strand, just so you know because it looks, this bust makes it look shorter, but it's not, it's full, th same as Alan's, full 38 centimetre strand. We can't have many of these, Ross. Really? Oh, they're nice, yeah. Can I just throw this one out there? Oh, no, don't. Oh, how lovely would they be together? Someone's gonna have to frisk me when I leave the building. <laughs> <laughs> Debs needs frisking. <laughs> 
there Debs, may not be any to show on Friday. <laughs> I, I, I don't blame you though, Deb, because these are absolutely beautiful. I've not aren't they? seen a colour like that before. They're no. absolutely stunning. Can I also just say those amazing pearls that we had? Oh, you've got what? You've got some of the Amazonite that Debs can work with. <gasps> perks of perks of being a Sorry, guest I just deafened here. everybody. Amazing. Sorry. So there you go. Ross is going to give you some sam uh, samples. Oh, thank to you, work Ross. With. I'd love to work with that. Now, natural colour. These aren't bleached and dyed. And beautiful. I know um, in rice pearl shapes. I love this shape. I think it's so elegant. Oh, yeah. So, so, so elegant. Very bridal, very prom, yeah. very wedding as guest, very um, flower girls, yeah. you know, because you've got that lovely soft colour. Yeah. Amazing. We're at 99.99, which jewellery makers for natural pearls is amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's not lose sight of that. And also, let me just say, 50 is an absolutely huge quantity for naturally coloured pearls. Remember, only a handful of pearls will produce colours like this. Mm -hmm. um, plus, you haven't just got to match the colour, you've got to match the overtone, the un undertone, you've got to match the shape, you've got to match the nacre, the luster, um, the smoothness of the surface. We're at a double figure price tag, but in 30 seconds, one price crash. One price crash. Imagine this with your mother of pearl that you've just had. Oh. But like, you know, I think the pe the pinky peachy tones that you're getting of your apricot pills with the Amazonite that's coming up on Friday would be amazing. Can I just say today's show has been one of the best shows I've been on for a really long time Beautiful, as far as beautiful products yeah. at absolutely amazing prices for everybody yeah i agree yeah yeah, yeah exactly i mean you've got to love jm for that you just do because we've wow. brought you pearls at 14.99 yeah and we've brought you pearls at 240 exactly both amazing deals yeah amazing <laughs> ross says we can't say what he said no i won't i won't repeat <laughs> word for word what ross just said but he was alan Take that, Alan! Take that! And that's the polite version. No, you love Alan though, don't you? You just don't want to be outdone, Ross, isn't it? Something like that. Don't want to be outdone. Anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah, $14.99 for natural. I echo Which what I just said. Exactly, <laughs> and exactly right, Debs. We can bring you the finest, finest pearls at different price points. And, you know, affordable, like £10, £15, not £150, you know, and even our £250 <laughs> things aren't worth that. that, that like, they're oh, worth so, so much more. more. Yeah, considerably um, more. But I just the variety of products today, the prices is just amazing. Yeah, gorgeous. Can I just throw this one? These, pe uh, these peach pearls, I think, would be lovely with some of your jaspers. Wouldn't they? They yeah. really would, yeah. And also, I think, with your queen conch that's coming yes. up. Yes. Amazing. It's going to be a sellout. It's, I, I've just looked up, glanced up at the call screens and seen it's gone crazy. Um, so make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. We've got a beautiful, sticking to the beautiful gemstones of the ocean. Um, we've got an amazing masterclass with Debs coming up, queen conch. Um, uh, we've also got one of my all-time favourites, that is beautiful Malachi. Third time trying to actually uh, bring this showcase to air. Um, yeah, well the first time it was like we didn't have time in the show. The second time I was poorly and had to be taken off air. Third time lucky, Roscoe. But you know what, they're worth the wait. They're absolutely amazing. So stay with us. Queen Kong, come up with Debs as well in her beautiful masterclass. You'll love the masterclass. Um, so we'll see you in two.
Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. It's manager's special this week, but half of them have decided to go on holiday. So some of the team members have decided to take over instead and now they think they're the managers. We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for managers specials on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. reiterate what Deb said earlier on today's show has been utterly beautiful from start to finish and I think we're just going to add to that beauty in another amazing natural gemstone just imagine many gems form as deep as the mantle of the earth diamonds and peridots 55 miles beneath the earth's crust still fascinates me and then other gemstones will form quite shallow like your turquoise, your larimar, and your malachite. Malachite is a copper-rich gemstone that basically is very, very shallow forming. And just put that into perspective, that's why you see historically lots of turquoise and, and malachite mines closing. That's because there's no point digging down deeper because the the malachite that you'll find is on the surface and that's pretty much it. But it also adds to the scarcity of the gemstone. I want to show you what bullseye malachite is. Because again, sometimes referred to as peacock's eye as well. Um, but a bullseye malachite, and I can show you, I'm going to pick up a different piece first. <clears throat> is basically these perfect circular patterns that you see in malachite, malachite. And I'm going to tell you that, imagine this gemstone forms in stalactites and stalagmites. Remember those when you cast your mind back to school? Um, I was used to learn it this way, stalactites. 
stalagmites, so that way. Um, basically, yeah, tights and mites. And imagine that copper-rich solution literally filtering down, filtering down. And like the rings of a tree, it builds and builds and builds and builds. Now, the heart of that stalactite or stalagmite, or that drip effectively of copper-rich, makes the actual bullseye. It is the most valuable type of malachite that you can find. Those circular patterns. All of these are amazing bullseye malachite pieces. Let's see. Just unbelievable. And it's all totally natural. This is how it forms in nature. It's one of the most fascinating gems in my opinion. Absolutely fascinating. Yeah, and just to cut through it, there you go. You can see the bullseye, the most valuable variety. So this hypnotically beautiful gemstone was written about, not so, well, well, I say that, it probably was quite a while ago now, by the jewellery editor. And when you've, I've got a real passion for this gemstone. I think it's one of those that once seen, you never forget, and you immediately love. Um, and I've never found an article that I think words it or describes it better than this one. So, but it's been a while since I've referenced it. So let's go through it together. What is malachite? Well, imagine the eternal paradise in shades of green. I mean, it's positively poetic, isn't it? But that belief, paradise in shades of green, actually resonates historically as well. Reading on, they say malachite is a highly distinctive, is highly distinctive with its variegated banding and rich emerald green color. That color comes from the copper rich deposits where malachite is often found. In fact, malachite itself is used as a source of copper via the process of smelting, although in all honesty, they don't really do that right now. It's more valuable as a gemstone. Often malachite is found with azurite, a brilliant blue gemstone that forms in copper rich areas. Concentrically banded malachite, known as peacock's eye or bull's eye, um, is especially sought after, as it is rarer than linearly banded gemstones. Malachite is rather soft with them on the most scale um, of three and a half to four. That being said, so is turquoise, and we can quite comfortably wear turquoise. Just take care of it as you would do your gemstones. Malachite is found all over the world, including the US, in Arizona, Brazil, Australia, Mexico, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Adorned with the allure of mystery, Malachi is a hypnotizing stone. Like a mesmerizing beauty, it puts you under its spell the moment you lay eyes on it. In the world of stones, Malachi is the outlandish eccentric, the stone you see once but will remember, so significant is its appearance. Possibly the earliest ore off, co off copper, having been mined in the uh, Sinai and eastern deserts of ancient Egypt as early as 3000 BC, Malachite is a green copper carbonate hydroxide. Um, it was used as eye paint, a pigment for wall painting and in glazes um, and the colouring of glass in the same way that lapis lazuli was back uh, sort of in ancient Egyptian times. Um, the name malachite is believed to come from the Greek word molochitis, referring to the mallow leaf, which is similar in colour. Malachite has been used by humans since antiquity and was believed to protect one from evil. In ancient Egypt, the colour green was highly symbolic, representing new life and fertility. Ancient Egyptians referred to the eternal paradise they believed awaited for them in the afterlife as the field of malachite. So they believed literally the afterlife was as beautiful as malachite. They would rarely uh, use malachite as a gemstone in jewelry, but would grind it up to make paint pigments in eyeshadow. This, these days, obviously, we don't need to do that. We don't need to be grinding up our gemstones, do we? We can use pigments in other ways. But um, back thousands of years ago, obviously, this was green was a, a hugely popular color. And if you're incredibly wealthy, then maybe you might use gemstones uh, to actually sort of dye clothing or paintings. Um, this is a Malachite funerary mask of the Red Queen displayed in the museum exhibition in uh, Mexico City. Um, <clears throat> and you can imagine there's lots of different gemstones that would have been um, um, available even then, but they choose malachite. 
In modern metaphysical practices, Malachite symbolizes transformation, abundance, and spiritual wisdom. Some pe people believe that wearing Malachite jewelry can alleviate depression and help in the aid of restor restoration of balance and positivity. Whatever your beliefs are, Malachite is undoubtedly a beautiful stone to add to your collection. It is. They've used a few words that I think always resonate with me. Hypnotizing, outlandish, eccentric, and that so perfectly describes this amazing gemstone. Shall we see a few of those high-end jewelers that are absolutely favoring this gemstone? Because we mention Van Cleef and Arpels, Piaget at Harrods, one single sphere at Piaget, 2,000 pounds on gold, Van Cleef and Arpels in the iconic four-leaf clover, 2,990. And by the way, there she is, uh, Queen Camilla wearing her. She wears it quite frequently. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, the quality of the, of the Malachite. Chopard also love uh, this beautiful gemstone, 7,370 pounds. If you want the matching earrings, you're still talking 3,800 pounds. How about a long line necklace, 18,300 pounds, set in 18 karat gold. And tiny diamonds, I have to tell you, I love Chopard jewelry, but tiny, tiny diamonds, they're not massive. Um, another pair of Chopard earrings there, 3,269 pounds. How about just something really simple from Netta Porter, 480 pounds. How about, hang on, hold that thought, hold that thought. Let me just tell you, you are not going to be 480 pounds lighter with us here at Jewelry Maker. And we will bring you the same quality. They're, those are four mil. These are four mil. I'm going to start with some bullseye. Let's start with the donut, which is absolutely stunning. Look at the quality of this. You've got, um, you've got the bullseye, peacock's eye, whichever way you refer to it on both sides so it doesn't matter if it turns around again that's natural in color it's, i love it i absolutely love malachite i have um i got one of the bullseye bangles that dave launched some time ago and every time i wear it i always get i always get comments on it hello suja i have the bullseye donut malachite um it looks amazing and i'm going to display it yeah it is stunning isn't it it is one of those hypnotizing gemstones um, and when I was over at Tucson, it became a bit of a running joke if the team lost me, which is very easy to do because I get distracted by gemstones quite quickly and I'd just be like, ah, wander off. They'd be like, find the Malachite, you'll find Elle. Um, I was always hovering around these gemstones. It's so gorgeous. Are you, are you the same, Debs? I love Malachite. Um... I mean, look, the quality of this is absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah, so over the past couple of years, and again, Malachite is everywhere with the big high-end designers. Yeah. So it's expensive to buy, um, expensive to source, more challenging for us to source. The, our quality just seems to get, it's, uh, it's, it's impeccable quality. It's gorgeous. I've got 40 available. 14? Oh. Oh. Look at how stunning that is. Hang on, you've got all the strands. I've got all the sizes for you to create an exclusive entire Malachite piece. You want to put it out with some eight, eight mil bullseye Malachite rounds? You know, how much is that going to be elsewhere? Well, I don't think it's going to be anywhere near jewelry maker prices. Let's just put it that way. I've got 14 available jewelry makers. That's it. Natural Congolese. Bullseye Malachite. Today, I'm going to show you the launch price, jewelry makers. 14 is not a viable quantity for us. I can't. I don't want to clear out Malachite. <laughs> I don't want to, Ross. I don't. I don't want to clear out Malachite. It launched here. I like looking at Malachite. 
says, but L, there's only 14 left. Okay. 200 carrots and one single beautiful solitaire and an amazing high goo. Donut, whichever way you look at it. Pie. You can set a gemstone in the center. Ah, oh, all the meaning. It's the circle of heaven. And remember that ancient, uh, ancient Egyptians believed that this was fields of Malachi that awaited us in the afterlife. Adam's saying, <laughs> don't be shy, Gooel. We're going to say bye, bye, Goo, to the high Goo. The high Goo is fly gooing. No, sorry. <laughs> the high Goo. <laughs> the high Goo is going to fly Goo. <laughs> <laughs> Only because we have 14 available. <coughs> oh, dear me. Here we are talking about one of the most beautiful gemstones, and this is why I was hearing in my ear. This high goo is going to fly goo. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, there's loads of you on the phone lines. 50% off jewellery makers. And that 50% is £100. One hundred pounds, unbelievable! It is beautiful. Every single one will look. Look, you, you go get a fairly generic four mil strand necklace from Netta Porter for four hundred and eighty pounds. You can get a whole two hundred carat malachite donor or high goo for a hundred pounds today. Well done, well done, well done. We're going where? I love this strand. It's my favourite. It's my favourite. This strand. How many? Oh, it's only 11. Don't make me say goodbye to it. 30 seconds. We're going to get this strand of amazing quality. Look at the quality. It doesn't take me to say that, does it? How about under £100 again, jewelry makers? You're getting two different sizes. Each and every single one of these beautiful rice bead shapes has got the bull's eye or the peacock's eye, whichever way it's cut around the peacock's eye. The most valuable uh, um, quality, basically, um, of your Malachi. Oh, this is stunning. It's one of my favourite colours, Malachite green. Oh, it's gorgeous. Cool. I mean, they're so much fake malachite yeah you've there. got to be careful yeah you know and you can trust us i, yeah. I would never buy my malachite Not from me. anybody else would Not you me. i got i remember once getting really angry in my prep for a malachite showcase some time ago and i saw exactly that so much fake and it was so obviously fake you can see but unfortunately you? i'm sure there are people that do get caught up with it i saw and it was described as something like malachite quartz crystal gemstone oh. i was like well what is it which one is it then yeah um and it was basically something that had been painted to look like malachi oh. and it was dreadful um yeah you know you are sourcing the real deal with us here at jewelry maker um and you're sourcing it jet with that gem lab cert as well so you can get hold of that for i think for like 25p it's minuscule amounts really um but again the quality is exceptional um, we only had 11 of these available, so again, make sure you're checking out your baskets, lovely jewellery makers, to guarantee your success. Let's bring you another shape, because we often, you know, if you see malachite, it's either in slices, maybe rounds. You really get it in shapes like this, now, uh, like this one. Ross is saying it's his favourite. Yeah, I can imagine you wearing this, Ross. Yeah. I reckon you can pull this one off. You can wear this. There's eight available. Is green your favourite colour? Green suits you the most. Yeah. John Scott told you that. Oh, I'm intrigued to know what my favourite, what, what colour I should wear then. 
Blue. I hardly ever wear blue. I should wear more. Brings out your eyes, all right, okay. We have jumped up significantly in carrot weight. Who wants this under 100 pounds as well? How many have we got? Eight available. We're clearing out the vault, jewelry makers. To be fair, that isn't a viable quantity for us, is it? You know, eight available. Massively, massively bigger carrot weight than what you see on the other side of the screen, jewelry makers. And here we are bringing it to you at double figures in a beautiful drum shape. Do you work with drums differently, Debs? Yeah, I like drums because I think that you can put the little rounds in between. It gives it a completely different feel. Like imagine little pearls in between oh, there. Like Alan's or, pearls. Like Yeah, exactly like Alan's that. Alan's pearls. That would be amazing. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Put those in there or maybe the peach pearls that you saw a few moments ago. Close out deal, jewellery makers. We're at £99.99 and, £99 and we have got beautiful... This is bullseye malachite. So each and every single one of your beautiful uh, solitaire gemstones, which what is what each drum is, effectively, um, will have a beautiful bullseye. Again, it's been carved and polished around um, that most sought after. Well, it's like, it's, it's like um, if you like, it's like the core of our planet, you know? Yeah. It's the heart of the gemstone. Amazing. $24.99. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. For the final few. Moving on. Let's do. Brand new. Please, can I have a nice bust? Yeah. Let's do some. Yeah. Let's go with either of those. Only because... These are brand new. They've never been on air before. And personally, I would just knock this and put it on a precious metal clasp of choice. How gorgeous that is. When you look at the quality of what you've seen at Shopard, at Van Cleef, at Piaget, when one single round at Piaget was £2,000, you know, I don't even think they could argue you are paying for the name with Piaget. Oh, yeah. Because it's not the gold. It's not even the tiny diamond. <coughs> How many have we got? 30 available. You have a full 38 centimetre strand that are 7 to 8 mil. And they are complete perfection. Remember the colours. Remember, it's about those distinctive bands of green. The intensity, the hypnotising beauty that you get from this wonderful gemstone. That is so, I don't know, it's one of those so memorable, I think. That we're seeing a, a presence of malachite in marketing. I think about Dior, they use this. Yep. We're seeing it interior design. Yeah, I was going to say that. They're doing wallpapers in the same, yeah. aren't they? We're seeing it in soft furnishings a lot. So I've seen curtains, malachite curtains that are amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Very expensive, mind. Now we are launching this brand new strand. Again, that is perfection. There's 220 carats of natural Congolese malachite. Good luck, everyone. Good luck to you all. It is one of those, those colours, those gemstones, once seen, never forgotten. I think another one like Tiger's Eye is another one of those. Yeah. Once seen, you never forget it. It is that distinctive. 30 available jewellery makers from seven and a half to eight millimeters in their size. Um, we used to see malachite all the time and I'm going quite back quite a few years now. We now see it in far smaller quantities and that is down to the popularity. That's why I showed you Van Cleef, Piaget, Chopard. That's why I show you all those designs. It's not to make a comparison. One single round, 2,000 pounds. Again, it's it's because and you've got to think about it, Piaget will get that price for it. The, the, you go into Harrods, you don't get much change from thousands of pounds, do you? No. Not that I've been any time recently. 
And I, I've got to be honest, I think I'd actually prefer a knotted strand. More malachite. Especially of this quality. Good luck, everybody. We had 30. Your first price crash, but not your closing price crash, jewelry makers. Really? What are you taking it to, Ross? Just. What? Wow. Okay. If you love Malachi as much as I do, this might well be one of the most affordable strands we've done. Really? Hypnotically beautiful. Malachite fever. We, we had the House of Malachite on our sister channel, one of the most successful um, launches uh, uh, sort of, of, the, of the past year. Actually, one of the gems buyers actually approached me to see if I want to do Malachite jewellery collection for gems. But it's Ooh. difficult, yeah, but it's difficult to actually get hold of. Yeah. And then, it, you know, in any one of those pieces that maybe I, I, might, I haven't said yes yet, but it's not going to be 220 carats in one piece. No, that's true. What on earth? We've still got what, sorry? Two more strands of rounds to bring you. So if you wanted to go for that full graduation. How oh, amazing that would be. How amazing. It's stunning that. I mean, the quality of this, I don't think I've ever seen Malachite like no, it, it, to be it, honest. It, it's textbook colour, isn't it? Yes, yeah, of course. You know that, that, that first photograph that you saw with it in stalactites and yeah. stalagmites? Um, you really can appreciate the quality of the green that you get from this amazing oh, yeah. gemstone. It is exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. Well, actually... Yeah. It's that hypnotising. In a gemstone round strand. We only had 30, though. Simone, Debbie, Alan, hello to you, Helen, Ronald, Samantha, um, Swansea, hello to you, Berkshire, Kerry. I've got nine left, that's it. Dorothy's got two, Claire and Donna. Helen's got two. You can still do it, but you do need to be quick. I know, if you're expecting these to be around the £100 price point, Mark, me too. Um, I was as well. Beautiful. What's not to love about Malachite? It's hypnotically beautiful. And it's all totally and utterly natural. That's another thing, Debs. Mm. When you look at Malachite, you kind of think, oh, okay, that's got to be reconstituted and maybe dyed. It's, it is truly Mother Nature's miracle, Malachite. Yeah. Because... That's why it's um, ripped off so much because, you know, people love it. They try and paint it. They try and um, do a, a plastic version and yeah. you just cannot beat the real thing. No. You cannot emulate true quality. No, you kite. can't. You really can't. And again, if you're into the metaphysical side of uh, um, gemstones, then Malachite is believed to be quite, uh, to be very protective. Um, so um, my daughter was going through a rough time of period. This was a while ago now, but she was in school, and um, she was like, "Oh, you know, she really was ha struggling with her confidence." So I made her a malachite stretchy bracelet. I was like, "It's your brave and strong bracelet," Aww. and she and she, you know, she really, you know. I wouldn't say relied on it, but it really boosted her. Hello, Alison in London, saying those rosary linked with the drums impactful. Yes, definitely. It is an impactful gemstone, though, Alison, isn't it? It's that lovely colour. I've only got three of them left. Let's bring you the six mil, and I'm going to literally layer up the back of my hand. Now, good news, the six and the four, there is 70 of each. Just done the eight mils for twenty twenty nine ninety nine. Let's bring you the six mil and open it up at forty nine ninety nine. I've got seventy. Look at that quality as well. Look at the consistency of that quality. Imagine that graduated jewelry makers. Oof! I can't get over the colour. Oh, that's in, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I wish I had an area in my home mm -mm. that would that I could put malachite wallpaper on. Oh yes, wouldn't that be amazing? It would be amazing, absolutely gorgeous. I don't just don't have that right place. No. Mm. 
Yeah, it'd have to be the right kind of feature wall, A maybe. nook or something like that, don't you? Yeah. Or an alcove or something yeah. like that. would just be gorgeous. Look at the quality. We're at £49.99. We've got multi-buyers getting involved. The eight mils have sold out at £29.99. Six mils, £24.99. But actually, because we've got a slightly bigger quantity of these. <clears throat> no, I agree. I don't think so either. Ross has just said in my ear, I don't think we've ever done six millimetre Malachi of this quality. Congolese, some of the best in the world. And under £20, but that's what's happening today. Really? So wait, that's £50 for what's on the, on the back of my hand right now. Isn't it? The quality of Malachite. Malachite is a very expensive stone. But it looks expensive. Yeah, absolutely, it does. But again, Ross, but you think about the history of it. You know, in Russia, they've got malachite pillars. Oh, I've seen those. They're amazing. Yeah, you've got malachite pillars. You've got um, <clears throat> literally entire pillars. <coughs> Under 20 pounds, as promised. You've got the most opulent bathrooms that have taken inspiration from this gemstone. That literally have got... Oh, they just... Look at that. I mean, that's not obviously malachite. It's basically probably a resin or an acrylic that's made to look like this beautiful gemstone. That's gorgeous. It is gorgeous, oh. isn't it? How amazing. And here we are with the genuine gemstone and bringing it to you at 20 pounds. 20 pounds. It's not matte. Malachite can be quite matte and opaque, which isn't ideal. You want your malachite to actually have that beautiful kind of, almost like a jade luster. You also want um, those separations of colours. You want colour zoning with Malachite, effectively. So you want there to be darker greens, uh, sort of cooler greens, brighter greens. You want that colour zoning. I've still got four mils to bring you as well, lovely jewellery makers. We had 70 available. I've now got 20. 19 of the six millimeter is always one of my favorite gemstones. Third time lucky, eh, Ross? It was definitely, definitely worth the wait. The first time we didn't have time to play it in the show. Second time I was poorly. And thank you for waiting for me as well. Um, and the third time, and the third time, well, it's happening right now. It's going to sell out. Yvette, well done, Samantha, Donna, Hilma, Jenny, June, Helen, Debbie, uh, Vera, Five, Susan, Swansea, Simone, another Debbie, Alison, hello to you, Jane, Janet, uh, Gloria, hello to you, Hertfordshire, hello to you, Alison. I had 70. What I'm not mentioning is the fact there's a lot of multi-buyers. Um, Samantha's multi-bought, Jenny's multi-bought, June's multi-bought, Swansea's multi-bought. Let's bring you the four mils now. So this was the one that I held up alongside that photograph, yeah, from Netta Porter. I've only got two more auctions to bring you. The last of the strands. Yeah, and I just held one, a simple beaded necklace from Netta Porter. 14 karat gold. Four hundred and eighty pounds. Is yours any lesser quality? First price crash. You know we've just brought you the six mils for under twenty pounds. We're starting at twenty pounds for the four mils, and we are going lower. Seventy available opportunities. 70 it's not huge quantities not for malachite everybody loves malachite don't they yeah it's one of those gemstones i think it's bewitching i think this beautiful gem it is i remember like showing um because your perfume poison actually has the malachite kind of like yes it does bewitching color tones yeah. behind it there it is 
literally it's like malachi inspired the branding the packaging itself for dior poison perfume so it's one of those gemstones i can see why over thousands of years as far back as 3000 bc this has been one of the most sought after gemstones we start at 1999 we've got 70 available again and has got two swans he's got two sorry he's got four kerry's got two we go lower janice allison simone fife angela virginia elizabeth debbie kent donna warwickshire goodness me wait 30 65 pounds i can get all three that's what we should be paying for one of those that yeah and imagine the gra least. graduated designs that you could yeah amazing deb's like on on piage one single bead is two thousand pounds. oh goodness me <laughs> you know and it's not it's not like there's oh yeah but there's it's it's not like yeah i'm gonna say six mil probably it's not like it's like heavy gold weight or masses of diamonds is no, it no it's too grand it, let's be honest let's say it as it is I, I will it's overpriced it's hugely overpriced they are taking the mick a bit there 100 percent, not a bit a lot a lot you know that's one bead and the time, the the stuff, the time is tiny. Anyway, anyway, um, I like Piaget. Don't get me wrong, I like the design. I just think that I wouldn't pay it. Well done, everybody. At fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence, you can get hold of the four mils. I'm not sure if the six mil are sold out. They're probably pretty close. The eight mils definitely have jewelry makers. So, Angela's got two. Jenny's got two. Helen's got two. Kerry's got four. Uh, three. Sorry. Uh, Ronald, well done to you, Jalanta, hello to you, Janet, Janice has got two, Warwickshire, Christine, Elizabeth, Donna, um, Anne, well done, Mandy, hello to you, Rose, Janice, Hilma, Jane, Jacqueline wants three, make sure you're checking out everybody, make sure you're checking out to guarantee your success, I've got one more Malachi auction to bring you, we're going to stick with a bullseye, in a donut, You've almost got the the daddy donut. <laughs> and the baby donut. Oh. Look at that quality there. So we brought you this one already. Right now for the baby donut. Look at the quality of this. And again, you might think because it's smaller you won't get the bullseye. You definitely do. Can you see there? Oh, that's gorgeous. <coughs> Pop that on a chain. That's all you need to do. How gorgeous. And I wouldn't even bother with a bale, Deb, so I think it literally just feed it on like so. I think it's gorgeous, like nice as a ring. Yeah. Statement from producer Ross. I think this is going to be the lowest price bullseye malachite deal that we have ever done. Sixty seconds on your screens, fifty available. Today you can own bullseye malachite. Bullseye malachite is like a D flawless diamond. It's the best. It's the best you can get. Yeah? How about you can own Bullseye Malachi, also known as Peacock's Eye, for less than £20 today? How amazing would they be in earrings? Can I also just try... I don't know if this is going to work, but let me... Can you see that? Imagine setting a diamond in the centre. That's what I was thinking. Hang on. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah, set a gemstone in the middle. How gorgeous would that be? I mean, just imagine that on your finger. Yes, please. Under twenty pounds, jewelry makers. It's happening. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I got distracted then. Good luck, everyone. And how much would that piece of jewelry be in some in I don't know, Shopard, Piaget? 
More than I can afford. Yeah, more than I can afford as well. Unbelievable. 1999, Kerry's got two. Are you going for the earrings, Kerry? Um, Jenny, Simone's got two as well. Wonderful. Jenny, Rose, Samantha, Debbie, uh, Janice, Hilma, new customers, Donna. I can't keep up with you, everyone. How many do we have, Roscoe? We had 50. Half the stock's gone. Exactly, on the nose. Kerry and Devon's got three. Well done, everyone. Um, it is one of those bewitching stones, isn't it? In the best possible way. And if, if, if this is what life looks like in the afterlife, I'm happy. Oh, me too. <laughs> I am happy. Fields of Malachi. I oh. love it. I absolutely love it. The rolling fields of Malachi. Beautiful. Now, we've had a few messages. Okay. Hi, Elisa. Hello, lovely. Oh, um, oh my days. Um, I love Amazonite, but I can't believe you're teasing us and making us wait until Friday. I'm so sorry, Lisa. Debbie, you've also messaged in saying, any chance you could bring one of the Amazonite strands today? They look so beautiful and are tempting and teasing us. Oh, Ross. Guys, do you want more tempting? You've been working with it, Debs. Look at that colour. I am so sorry, everybody, but we actually can't. <laughs> we oh, actually... my beading mat's a mess. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to move my so, hang board on. Just look. and then pop it We here. actually can't bring it to where it's literally landed today, so it's not been booked in. It's getting checked in as we speak. All the documentation and everything being put look. together. So we actually can't put it today. Otherwise, believe me, you know how much... Uh, we're soft touches, aren't we? You know we would. And why not have could. matching earrings as well? And the bracelet oh. and the... Oh, it's so... Go I mean, I've gone quiet because I've been taken by it. <laughs> First time ever, 10 o'clock, Colorado Amazonite. Amazing. Mm. Coming up this Friday. You need to be there, 10 o'clock. Don't go anywhere though, jewelry makers, because I'm going to make my way over to lovely Deb. She's got some more beautiful gemstones, including your Queen Conch. Um, brand new designs, um, amazing techniques, and we've got your exquisite makes in the Wall of Fame, so we'll see you in two. <laughs> Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. manager special this week but half of them have decided to go on holiday so some of the team members have decided to take over instead and now they think they're the managers we've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion you're just not doing enough you're fired what are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for manager specials on Jewelry Maker. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker handbook which is filled with 35 different techniques as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK, or upgrade to our premium option of 5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Beautiful though, isn't it? What a show! Mm. What? I just sorry, I went really quiet because I was like, I've got to finish these pieces for them for Friday, and I've done it. And I, I, can I just say, I've never seen a colour like it on that. I know they're teasing a bit, but you know, at least you know, you know to be here. Is it yeah. 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. Friday. Because I'm going to be here. <laughs> We're not here, but at home. Yeah, shopping. watching. Yeah, yeah. The launch of Colorado Amazonite. Oh, it's beautiful. The colour, and it's all Ross. Thanks, Ross. One of my favourite gemstones, anyway. Do you know? Do you know Ross is actually? going to be in the studio cool good and rightfully so yeah 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 rightfully so because it's ross's baby it's incredible i mean i don't think it's going to be around for long so no. it's one that you kind of i wouldn't have thought so just from personal experience and i've never seen a color like that on amazonite yeah oh it's great it's, it's so amazing. exciting i love working with new things it is amazing you know what ross we could just swap i could be in there <laughs> yeah we could just swap it's your baby, to be honest. You know the whole story of it. So, anyway, um, speaking about beautiful pieces, do you want to start? Oh, off I the, love hang this. On. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. This is. If that rings bells to you, you know what I'm talking about. How long did this take? It's, it's absolutely so amazing. Good. It's so good. Is this on a loom? I would have thought. Um, this is number 30, Kathleen Playford. Hello, here is my latest entry to the Wall of Fame. Seed bead bracelets ready for Christmas. Just needs a clasp. It's absolutely amazing, Kathleen. That is incredible, Kathleen. Absolutely beautiful. Good luck. Loving that. The Grinch. Um, <laughs> number 31 is from Margaret Gibson. Hello, Margaret. These are beautiful. Oh, and lovely. Margaret says, this week's entry is a pair of earrings to match the snowflake agate bracelet I entered last week. <clears throat> I had um, two made-up connectors um, over from when I made the bracelet, so I bent them into shapes and added shepherd hooks. Good luck to everybody in the drawer. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Good luck That's to you. Lovely. They're amazing. Well I love done. those two colours together, yeah. don't you? Yeah, stunning. Um, this is number 32, Linda Wright. And look at this, it's beautiful. This is my entry for the Wall of Fame. This is the second part of the Mermaid Quartz. I made netted rope, everything else from my stash. Would love a wee win, but good luck to everyone. I love the colours you've used there, Linda. It's a really beautiful make. Very pretty. Good luck. Very pretty. Um, again, I've got some amazing pearl jewellery. And this is from Beryl Sloan. Hello, Beryl. You're number 33. Uh, good morning to all at Jewelry Maker. Please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. I managed to make three bracelets, two memory wire bracelets with peach cream, freshwater, culture potato pearls, one with an amethyst drop and another with pearl drops for a friend's uh, present. The third bracelet consists of dyed blue shell pearl, uh, shell gold beads, gold spaces and crystals with white freshwater cultured pearls um, and gold sterling silver bolt ring clasp. 
to keep Ollie the orangutan company, my grandson decided to put the car in the picture. Um, fingers crossed for a win. I need to replenish my stash. Good luck to everybody. Ah, oh, I How love beautiful. the orangutan. Orangutans are up there with one of my favorite animals. They're so amazing. I can relate to them, I think. Oh, I love them. They're so cute. Yeah. Little yeah. boobers. Um, now I'm loving this. This is the sort of thing oh, I'd wear Vera, every day. Beautiful. Isn't yeah. that gorgeous together? Um, number 34, Vera Barini. I hope I've said that right. Good morning, JM. My entry this week has been made using Bumblebee, Jasper and Labradorite. Don't they go beautifully together? Whenever I use a magnetic clasp, I add a safety chain for extra security. That is such a good idea. Good luck to all the entrants. All the entries are awesome. Everyone's awesome, aren't they? Our viewers are very, very clever. So number 34, good luck. Loving that, Vera. Well done. I have number 35, Michael Knight. Hello, Michael. This is gorgeous. Ooh. Um, yeah. Um, hi, all. My entry for this week's WAF is a necklace made with the ombre gold silk quartzite jade rounds and a beautiful quartzite donut. I've made um, a setting for the donut with gallery wire and added a little filigree work using Yvonne's crimping wow. uh, kits with flat wire. Very fiddly, but worth it for the end result. Everything from uh, jade to solder paste is from Jewelry Maker, and I hope you like the end results. Good luck to all waffers. Michael, it's absolutely amazing. I was just admiring the intricacy of that filigree work. It's amazing, oh, well that's done. Beautiful. You're number 35. Wow. Um, number 36, Alison Quince, I've got here. She says, hello all in the studio and my fellow Woffers and JMers. Haven't submitted in a while, but thought I'd share my first bubble style creation made with cubes of fluorite and 925 chain. All the best to those in the drawer. I absolutely love this. I mean, aren't they gorgeous? I love your photographs as well. They are yeah, absolutely pretty. stunning. So good luck to you, Alison. Beautiful. Good luck, Alison. I have number 37 from Sue Gott. Hello to you, Sue. Um, some lovely sea beading here and she says hi this is my entry to the wall of fame Ooh. it's a beaded bracelet made from my sea beads from jewelry maker over the years Lush. loving that sue good luck to you you're number 37 amazing now these aren't easy to make wishbone ring that you make them in a way that you wouldn't think and this oh deb briggs very talented deb she's number 38 she says hi all at jm please find attached my entry to this week's wall of fame it's my first attempt at a sterling silver wishbone ring i didn't use a tutorial or die i just played with my half round wire and to see if it would work and it did i love it when ideas work so do i i hope you like it and lots of love i love it and it's so good um that shape for wearing a solitaire with because it's it kind of a long time yeah, yeah, yeah I think, lovely um, I think our Charlie had a wishbone ring, didn't she, the other Did day? Did she? Yeah. yeah. And that's exactly as I showed it, alongside the solitaire. Absolutely beautiful. Good luck, everyone. You're amazing. Well done. Yeah, good luck in the draw tomorrow, so make sure you're tuning in for that. Right then, speaking of beautiful jewellery, I absolutely love what you have done with these. And it's one of those, we talk, we'll obviously talk about the technique, and obviously you get the demonstration as well, and the instructions with our lovely Debs. But I am bowled over by how affordable given the rarity of this gemstone that these projects are are they going to be affordable super affordable okay because i didn't know if they might be a bit considered can we just talk about what that beautiful feminine pink gem is if i said one in two million chance oh, that's incredible that blows my mind yeah one in two million. So double the rarity mm. of tanzanite. Mm. Um, when I start talking about a gem of the sea, but like finding a needle in the haystack, you'll know that I am referencing the majestic, the beautiful, the elusive Queen Conch. But what is, what is a Queen Conch? Well, I'm going to show you, we're going to talk them through. These are literally Dave's words. And I thought previously, I've shown you a lot of photos, but actually let's talk about, let's talk, do just a short bit of literature about this gemstone. Mm. So firstly, it's an organic gemstone. And Dave said, this is Dave's writing, not mine. When we talk about Tahitian pearls and South Sea pearls, they are, of course, incredible. But they only came, uh, became affordable to most of us when it was discovered that they could be farmed and cultivated. 
rather than having to wait for one to wash up on the shore or go endlessly diving until luck smiled upon you. That's why pearls were, mm. prior to culturing, prior to Mikimoto, one of the, well, the most expensive gemstone on the planet. Yeah. Hold that thought. Pearls are cultured. When it comes to the Queen Conch shell, we're dealing with something that can't be farmed, at least not anymore, as we shall see later on. What Dave's referencing there is they attempted it, there was a harvest set up, unfortunately Mother Nature had alternative plans and two hurricanes completely decimated Oof. the harvest. And it's too financially expensive to just start over again. Oh, shame. Yeah, because they have to age, you know, they mature for 15 years. Incredible. So that's a big investment of time. Um, so this is now comparable in rarity to a natural pill, the kind worn by the Hollywood elite in the golden age of movies and by Cleopatra when legend states she crushed a pearl into a drink to prove her extreme wealth. When dives, uh, when pearls were literally di uh, uh, um, dived for, mm. not cultured. The Queen Conch has a texture not unlike porcelain, but it's exceptionally durable. This is what the carvers, high, high jewelry stores and the wealthy collectors worldwide are interested in. This is when the potential value of a conch shell is maxed out, and this is probably the rarest organic gemstone in the world. You can get juvenile conch. In fact, it's a food source, mm. a huge food source actually in the Caribbean, <clears throat> which is where you find, uh, you may find these. Um, but the reason why, and you might think, well, why don't you use, because that's not, you know, conch itself is, you can find those shells. You can probably find them from a gift, sh uh, from a gift shop as well. Hmm. But they're very brittle. So they're not very good oh. to use in your gemstones. So for example, that amazing chrysanthemum piece that we saw in Tiffany's and Co. Um, that sold for how however many thousands upon thousands of pounds. It can't be done out of a juvenile. Not only just because of the size of it, it has to be queen. And it takes, like, like you just said there, Debs, approximately 15 years. Mm. Um, you can't find this, uh, farm this. You can't culture this. And it takes 14 years to get to this point. In that time, you've got to remember this, a conch has to avoid fishing, sharks, rays, sea turtles, and divers. That's why they say this is a one in two million find, and this is what we need to create and this was Dave's original collection, the Queen Conch collection. Since the closure of the world's first and only Queen Conch pearl farm, started by Chuck uh, Hesey, or Hesse, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, back in the 1980s, the locals and the world market have both seen the price of a fully mature Queen Conch go through the roof. Um, that is why this wonderful creature of nature often now is called the pink gold of the Caribbean. Remember that Pearl Farm hurricane, two hurricanes in actual fact, completely decimated it. And of course, unfortunately, Chuck Hesse or Hesse, Hissy, um, couldn't, couldn't afford to actually start the process again. Well, don't you, wouldn't he have to then wait like 14, 15 years for any, yeah. to see any money? You've got to rebuild the, You've got to rebuild it first. Yes, yeah, so you're in a deficit. So if you look at this photograph, this is the devastation that the hurricane left. Oof. Um, and they literally looked like, out at the sea, they literally looked like pearl harvests as well. You could see like the, the, the uh, f they're almost in cages so that they would be protected from all the, oh, okay. from all the uh, marine life that would be a risk. Like so did they just wash out to sea? The hurricane tore it all apart, yeah, oh, basically. No. So um, they all went out to sea um, or, or sadly maybe died, you don't know, yeah. and something like that. But again, it's another 15 years if that process is going to be started again, which wasn't, they obviously saw, financially viable. So this still remains to be one of the world's rarest gemstones. One in two million chance. <laughs> but you know what, when we do see it, it's so phenomenally beautiful. Um, and yes, it commands high prices. We're talking about the Queen Conch. And in, you saw when Dave was holding just that one of the Queen Conch shells there, it needs to have, I think it's seven horns to get the queen status yes um avoiding all of the its natural predators as well not just humans who, who eat it too but um marine life natural predators rays sharks absolutely 
sea turtles, all of those things. But in the inside of that shell, you get this gorgeous pink color. Take a little look at Deb's amazing pieces of jewelry. We've got it in three different shapes, these lovely connectors. We've got it in a rectangle, which I did notice as well, because your photograph differs slightly. It's reversible. So if you don't like the beaded, you can wear it the other side as well. You've got it in your absolutely beautiful four-leaf clover, or we've got it in a circle, which is absolutely stunning, whichever way you want to wear it, to be truthful. Each of these come with a cord. Yeah, the idea was um, high-end stacking bracelets. You know, oh. I'm always going on about that. You know, and I, I've got a board on Pinterest that I follow, and I just sit and look at it sometimes with of, of, a, of different stacks of bracelets that people wear that I can dream of affording. And you often see these sorts of stacking bracelets with the cord layered with diamonds and high-end designer bracelets. And we've never really brought anything like this before that you could do that with. But having said that, of course you can add chain to either side of it if you yeah. want. So of course you could add um, pearls. elastic uh, pearls and um, sterling silver spacer beads. Yeah. Um, I like this kind of stacking idea. It's stunning. Yeah, very, very designer. Now also, with each of the shapes, I'm just showing you each of the shapes there, um, you also get a selection of spacer beads, which are silver, aren't they? Not sure. Ross, do you have the details? I'm sure they are. They certainly look it. I would have thought so. I would have thought so with Queen Conk as well. They do look it. Yeah. Oh, yes, they are. Yeah. Sorry, it says 925 silver on the silver. back. Yeah. I just didn't want to say the wrong thing. Yes, they are. Now, how many do we have of each of these projects? 100. Ooh. But again, big statement. And that's why I wanted to give the introduction of that because I really wanted, because often sometimes we don't do ourselves any favours here at Jewelry Maker. We will say, we'll show a price and people think, that, okay, that's, that's a usual price. This is Queen Conk. Queen Conk should not be anywhere near affordable. It's incredibly rare. Incredibly rare, incredibly beautiful. It's totally natural. And today we're going to a price point for Queen Conk that I've never seen before. Okay. We've got a hundred of each. Which one? I'll let Deb's choose. Which one do you want to start with? Let's go with this one. The rectangle. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a really a... good size piece. Of it's conch. stunning. And there's the piece of jewellery that our lovely Deb's has created. So you get 100 spacer beads, but they're not just your generic spacer beads either. Should I tip them out? They're actually sort of faceted? Yeah, they're faceted. They've got like a real sparkle to them. You get a hundred of your spacer beads. You get your beautiful, like a lovely teal coloured cord. And then you get, whichever way you want to wear it, smooth or kind of textured. In sterling silver, your queen conch. I don't know, I can't choose, they're both lovely. They are, and I just think that you could also wear that the other way as a pendant and have like a tassel on the bottom of it. Or... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so like... Like that. East to West design. And then have a tassel or a pearl. If you've got a lovely Brock pearl that you could hang yeah, off at the bottom stunning. of there. If you're not a cord person. <coughs> absolutely stunning. Okay, framed in sterling silver, we've got a hundred available opportunities, jewellery makers. First price crash and straight under £100. Um, I remember the launch of Queen Conk and it immediately was one of those gems. Oh my goodness me, look how beautiful that is. It's just lovely. Like Dave Wett mentioned in that presentation, you know, it is like... It doesn't feel dissimilar from porcelain. No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel dissimilar. Um, but again, on this photograph as well, you can see Dave holding at the actual Queen Con itself. You can see that beautiful pink colour itself. Even when they're juvenile, they'll have that pink colour. But like I said earlier on, it's almost an impossibility to carve it and cut it. I think that's what people don't understand sometimes is that, oh, can't you just make that from the, the shell in the gift shop on holiday or whatever. But of course you can't. If you've got to wait 14 years to get anything like the specimen that you can yeah, do this with. Yeah, it's that much thicker, yeah. isn't it? It's that much thicker as a, as, as, as a queen herself. But just think everything that, that, that she's obviously uh, um, avoided. 
up until that time. Yeah, there's a real meaning in that, isn't there? Resilience yeah. in that, as well as beauty. Now, we're under £100. Simplistic design, but all about the Queen Conk. I yeah. love that. Absolutely beautiful. And again, if I was to show you the chrysanthemum piece of jewellery, you would see that lovely, soft, pastel pink colour. There it is. How gorgeous that is. That's absolutely stunning. I have got um, a conch carving and some conch beads that I haven't used yet, but I open the box and regularly ooh and ah. It's one of those moments, isn't it? Just yeah. Open the box and stare at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Look how pretty. We're at nine. Uh, sorry, ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, and that is not where we are stopping. Again, which it depends which way you prefer to look at it. I quite like it both. It's a tough call, isn't it? I think you've got that kind of on the plain side, you've got that just sheer clean lines and elegance. Yeah. And then if you want to, you can add a little bit of kind of beaded sparkle on the other side. I like that side. You like this one? Yeah. yeah it's lovely. Okay. Plus you get Deb's instructions. What's your instructions for, Deb? My instructions are, let's find them. They are for the macrame stacking bracelet. So the bracelet for this, um, we take oh flat we take um for granted that everybody knows how to do a sliding knot and everyone knows how that is. but you know i've been teaching macrame now for probably 15 years it's one of the first things that i ever did at a big craft show um and so i've actually put some photos i think it's very hard for you to to know by just reading it makes it sound really complicated so i've done all photos for you um, also sometimes you need to split the cord if you mm -hmm. want to get it through because it's a bit thick so I've told you about that um, and just like basic techniques really and that's what I'm going to demo just the basic because you can do a basic macrame you can do the twisty one yeah there's it, lots of different ones you can do it's absolutely beautiful Debs it, it's very simple I mean it's it macrame never seems to to go out of fashion macrame and everything no. yeah um but as i say if you know that was the idea behind these were, was that you had the, the almost like the posh the bougie stacking mm. but if you're thinking oh, i'm really not into cord i think you've got a hundred spaces there that you're going to use you've got cord you're going to use and then you've got this incredible connector that you can use in any way you want yeah absolutely like put sterling silver with it every day of the 100%, week hundred percent hundred percent I mean, even here, like I said, ninety nine ninety nine for the Queen Conk herself. I think that's absolutely incredible. Agree. We're not closing there, there, there though, Debs. Oh, okay. You get 100 sterling silver spaces and you get the cord. We're not stopping there either, Debs. You're not stopping at twenty nine ninety nine. I genuinely meant it when I said this is the most affordable Queen Conk. Even Adam is going, eh? Hey. So if you strung those sterling silver spacers onto a thin elastic and made it into a, a queen conch ring mm -hmm. how much is that worth it's worth more than 29.99 oh, for sure they are sterling silver your spaces are sterling so silver. so you've got the spaces you need if you wanted well, to make that it. a bracelet a hundred spaces for, for 29.99 yeah that's, that's amazing that's very good but you've also got the queen conch one of the rarest organic gemstones in the world, if not the rarest organic gemstones in the world. And yet here we are, one in two million chance of finding a Queen Kong. I thought you were going to go like down a bit like you did earlier, like 27.99 or something to be funny. We've got, we got 100 of them. 20 pounds. Today, what's going on today? Today's All of amazing. them are under 20 quid. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this now. Right, let me just get this right. So you can, uh, I mean, I, I think we'd be, da if your budget allows, obviously, we'd be daft not to get all three projects, Ross. Because seriously, oh, there's still more in there. I don't want anyone to be put off by the cord. You don't have to use the cord with it. If you're thinking, I'm not putting cord with queen queen conk don't be silly it's too bougie then don't put sterling silver with it you yeah. know you've got sterling silver spaces in there we just wanted to go for the really bougie stacky bracelet trend <laughs> oh my goodness me i want to show all of these because they're all price pledged under 20 pounds i think which one do you reckon is going to be the fastest selling deb um the clover yeah i think so too there you go there you go. All three available right now, jewellery makers. So you can get, look, the, the silver cord with the 
clover and the sterling silver yeah you can get the blue with the circle and the sterling silver you can get the teal with the rectangle and the sterling silver or you can get all three for 60 pounds and Deb's instructions and the crowd goes wild hey, <laughs> hey. always wow. I know amazing well done take it away Deb okay so <laughs> okay I will <laughs> oh sorry just make sure I'm in I'm in frame so what you need <coughs> is um, a macrame board if you don't have a macrame board you can use a kumihimo board or you can use a clip board you can use a cushion with a T pin just something to um, actually pin these little cords down so that you can work with them so I've just put it on here so that I could um, transport it but what I've done come here I'm just gonna move the board for a moment is I've taken a strand of your cord and you find that when you cut this cord, if you cut it with scissors, I got scissors, yeah, sometimes it unravels because it's actually a few strands put together. Now this is a good thing because if you need to unravel this cord, then you can do. You can just cut it with the scissors and then open it up and you will get sort of four smaller, smaller strands. Um, of cord and you can there we go so you've actually got three times as much cord as you might need so I did that which one did I do that with I did that with um, the rectangle connector because I wanted um, a thinner cord to go through the loops but it's not really a problem because you can put your cord through a jump ring and then you're jump ring through a loop so you know it's up to you so but alternatively if you want to avoid that happening when you cut your cord use a thread zapper because it binds them together as you open it so when I take my length of cord I always either pop if you're going to use glue or clear nail varnish take it down quite away so that it can't unravel if you're going to use a thread zapper this doesn't work on natural cord like silk but on, on cord like this it's fabulous um, and you it's, it's man-made isn't it's it it's man-made so I just kind of take my zapper all the way around and what that does is it kind of glues it to itself so that's equally now not going to come undone but also it's going to be easier to thread mm -hmm. into whatever okay so it's important to say that whatever cords you're going to use your lazy thread and your working thread um, just do that to the end so that you're not worrying about anything unraveling so I've taken um, my length of cord and you get loads so I always take more than I need and I've taken it through the connector there and then I've just popped on a spacer bead now you might want to do a knot first and then put your spacer bead on it's completely up to you now when you're dealing with your macrame board if you have got one it's useful to actually note these because you can see especially when you're doing something like this where you're doing one um, side at a time so I'm just basically connecting these now to my board so that let me just get that roughly central. If I'm macrameing and I've done the top part here and I know my macrame has gone to here, I've counted sort of three and a bit squares so that I know that when I'm doing this side, it's going to be three and a bit squares so that I get that, that even without having to get the ruler out. That's, that's sort of how I do it. Now, I'm going to get another length of cord and depending on how many macrame knots you want to the length of cord you need. So some people might, there's so many different ways of doing this, you might want to put some of those spacer beads sort of four, five or six and just have a little bit of macrame. You want, might want the macrame to go all the way around your wrist, it's completely up to you. So the bit that you're working with first you want to be facing you. So I'm just gonna get that in shot. And then I've used a slightly shorter bit than I'd usually use just for demo purposes. Now I'm gonna show you both ways of doing this. If you just want to do a square knot, what I usually do is I tie one knot in one side, and I've always done it like this for years. Because what you do when you do a basic square knot is you go right, left, right, left. But if something distracts you, you might not remember what cord you used last and it'll start to twist. But if you put a knot in your tail, then you're gonna know that this, the tail with the knot on is always the one that goes over the top. And you, you can look away, you can leave it, and you, you know that. So I'm gonna take this, it's called my working cord. And the one underneath is called my lazy cord, because he's lazy, he's just sat there, he's not doing anything. You're okay. chilling. Why not? I mean, you know, let me give it a pull. So I'm gonna take um, this about equal, um, so I've got two equal lengths 
and then I know that I'm always going to take the cord over the top first that's got the little knot on it. So what you do, you're going to take your cord over the top of your lazy strand and it makes a little D. You're then going to take the other tail and that comes underneath your lazy strand and up and through and I've taken photos of this and that's called a square knot and then you want to just push it up to where you want it to be and give it a pull. Now again if you're going right left right left and you get distracted you might think oh which side did I put over last time but I know that I've got my knot so that I'm just going to always do that. So again I've gone over into a D shape I'm going to take the other strand make sure it crosses over that side before you bring it under it comes under the lazy strand and up so it's gone under the lazy strand and then it's coming up and through that D and then you just take both tails and there's your square knot now you just continue doing this square knot um, for as long as you want your piece to be and it will end up can I just borrow that please mm -hmm. it will end up being a straight flat piece of macrame for as long as you want it to be so we'll do that again we've got the knot there I'm taking a little D I'm taking the other tail I'm coming under the lazy strand up and through the D giving it a pull and just add some good tension here so it doesn't come undone same again so this is what you do for your um, flat braid now when you're using a twisted braid which basically means that it just can I have the other one please yeah. oh thanks a twisted braid the difference is is this so you can see that this is twisted as opposed to flat now it's exactly exactly the same knot but you just use one side all the time okay so, so you I'll keep going you. right yeah exactly so say we, we're starting on the left so the left goes over the top we're not, we're not using the knot now we're going through and then I'm just going to use the left again and what you'll find as you start to go with this you'll feel it twist just let it go let it go <laughs> <laughs> I'm my glad I wasn't the only one who had that song literally <laughs> ringing my ears because my granddaughter is in the back of the car going let it go yeah and I'm like yeah I don't think she'll be a singer <laughs> <laughs> lover so as you can see as I'm going already it's twisting so you don't want too much tension on this lazy strand or else it, it won't be able to twist so you don't want to force it to stay towards you just let it be free <laughs> be, free. be free little cord and really quickly it works up into a really nice twist can you see it going round? Yeah. now you can mix these so you could have a flat bit and then a twisty bit and a flat bit and that's where these little squares come into play so you know that you've got sort of two squares for your flat two for your twist I usually just tend to go for the same um, yeah you know the same one but you know and the little spacer beads will be great as well if you add a bead and pop it down before you do your knot it sits your beads by your lazy thread it's really really good so when you come to the end so say this is our final whichever stitch we've used and you come to the end and you go through and it's time to finish this particular part what you're going to do if you're going to glue it then you want to just trim it off so you've only got a little tail left on each side and then you want to add jewelry glue so that you don't see it so like um, e6000 or hyper cement and you're just going to pop it where your thread exits you're just going to pop some glue there so that you're kind of keeping that thread in place and then you want to wait completely until that's dry before mm -hmm. you trim it close now if you're using a thread zapper you don't have to do that because what you can do is 
actually burn it down. So some people do it with a lighter, I'm not that brave. I always use my thread zapper. So you just use your thread zapper and you burn it down until it goes in and it melts together and then you don't have to use any glue. And then just quickly, have I got time just to quickly yeah, show something yeah. else? Um, when it comes to, so imagine that I've done both sides now. When it comes to doing slidey knots, especially slidey knots with a few cords, what you do is you take both of your ends into a circle. Okay, now we'll imagine both of these are done. So that both of your ends are in a circle. And if you've got a way to secure that, it'll make your life easier. So um, T-pins, I've always got T-pins on my board regardless of what I'm doing. So you could pop T-pins in there. I've used masking tape before now, or if you've got enough tail to actually fit in the grooves of your board. And then all you do is a square knot but you do it under all four of your lazy strands. So exactly the same as I did before, the flat one. Over the top, you bring your tail underneath, but this time you're bringing it underneath all of the strands, or maybe you've only got two, up to you, and then you give it a pull. Now the thing to make sure when you're actually doing your square knot over, it's actually gonna be a sliding knot, is that if you pull this too tight, you've got to make sure that you, these can slide underneath it. So make sure that your tension isn't too tight. And then I usually do, I don't know, six or eight of these knots before I um, finish. And I'm just going to move this out of the way. So that what you've then got is this sliding, sliding knot. Look at that. Like also that. known as a Solomon's bar. Oh. Oh yeah, I knew that. I read that in our handbook and I didn't know that before then. Mm. And so then you've obviously got a couple of tails left over. So you can either just um, knot them mm -hmm. or you can add your lovely spacer beads um, to each one. And I think that gives it a really pretty effect yeah. on the end there. So it's sort of function and, and it's pretty. So oh, that's cool. what you end up with. So very easy, lovely and relaxing. You can do it in front of the TV. Oh yeah, I love macrame. Put it I on your lap. I love macrame. And I do think, you know, as long... It's one of them. I like doing the twisted one myself because it, you can't go wrong with it really, can no, you? No, you can't. And it's really satisfying. So the only way I go wrong with macrame is if I forget which direction I've just done. So yeah, so just do the do the knot on the end. Do the, yeah. little, do the little tip. Yeah, and then you know that you're always putting the, the side with the knot over the top first if you're yeah. doing the flat one. Um, yeah, it's and a it's top tip. I mean, I've even done that. I've got a picture of me doing this, and I've rested it on my dog because she's on my lap. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I'd you can even have to rest do that. It. You know, you can even rest it on your pet while they sleep on your lap. You don't oh, have to disturb them. Perfect. Look how beautiful. <laughs> now, jewelry makers. That one goes there. That one goes there. We've got a few more projects to bring you. Right, we're gonna leave. The clover to last. Okay. Because it okay. is without doubt one of our most popular motifs. Oh. It's, have I, is it actually? Oh, the clover one sold out. Not surprised. Oh, right, okay. Let's do the round one, which I think is very, very um, Bulgari. Very Bulgari. Very. Bulgari do that motif. And it's that clean line. You've got the yeah. circle and all the symbolism of that. Amazing. All those sterling silver spacers. I know. A hundred sterling silver spacers. You get a, a reel of cord in this beautiful baby blue. Yeah, it's lovely, that colour. And then that gorgeous, very Bulgari-inspired Queen Conch connector. I do like the circle. I think the circle has a lot of meaning. Yeah. behind it you know you've got the circle of life and you know I don't know I, just, I like the simplicity of it mm. yeah it yeah, is eternal ending. isn't it it's never ending love that and that again motif has been used in lots of different lots of different designs as well it's just a really lovely shape and the fact that these are I don't know if this is intentional or not but I'm definitely definitely looking at these as almost reversible because you've got the smoothness yes. the clean lines on the one side yep. and it all be about the queen conch and then on the other side you've actually got like a sort of like a texture effect um, that you could use if you wanted to go that's how I'm showing it to you right now yeah. I, I assume this is the back to be honest do you think I think so, but I don't know. I don't know. I like both. 
No, I like I feel both. like I like I feel like it's both, Adam. I, I don't yeah. think there's all right or wrong. I feel like it's reversible. Can you imagine that in a ring, just with the spacer beads? I think that'd be gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Look at that for a ring, Al. Do you like that? Yeah. By the way, speaking of rings, I love this. That I've made with um on the 29th, I've got a water casting show with you <gasps> guys. Um, yeah, and I've been playing with molten silver. This hasn't been cast. I've done this on my fire brick. Oh, <gasps> that's cool. Thank you. But wouldn't that be a nice ring? Yes. Sorry, Sorry. I digress. But I really love this as a ring. Absolutely gorgeous. Can you see? Sim and you've got enough spaces to make a stretchy ring, haven't you? I'd put um, the little spaces that come in on the elastics and make it... Look at that, but you yeah. could macrame. Macrame rings are a thing. Yeah, hundred percent. You just do a, a squ you know square knot at the back. Is that lovely as a ring or yeah, a choker gorgeous. even? Yeah, gorgeous. Like Love that. all of these. You could use the connectors if you want. You know, just I'm thinking if you have multi bought at these prices, shepherd hook connector pearl. Ooh. The last of the projects. Gosh. Yeah, but aren't you teasing us, Ross? You know where it's going to as well, should it? It is Queen Conk. In our most popular shape. This is beaded both front and reverse. Mm. So that there isn't, oh, look at that. Look at the core screens, Debs. A hundred of these went before we even brought them to air. I'm not surprised because it's beautiful and it lends itself to this shape. It looks, I mean, it does look so Van Cleef. Yeah. Van Cleef and our pals don't have Queen Conk, that's for sure. And and by the way, it's it's pink Queen Conk front and reverse as well. Yes, it is. So it doesn't matter if it turns around. No, not at all. Do you know, even if this project was literally all about that Queen Conk connector and you didn't get the 100 yeah, space. that's still amazing. And you didn't get the silk, you know, that would be absolutely incredible, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, so you could get, what, four, five for 100 pounds? Do you know how much those necklaces are that, you know, where they have their multi, multi motifs with oh, the sterling of, silver? Tens of thousands. Thousands and thousands and thousands. And they're not even Queen Kong. And this would be truly unique. Yeah. Well, oh, one in that. two million level of rarity. Truly unique. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Needle in a haystack. Forget that. It's even rarer. I love it. Even, even rarer. It's fascinating, isn't it? Um, there was footage of Dave, actually, when he went over to the Caribbean in his, in his quest um in his quest for queen conch he's got a tough job sometimes isn't he yeah he, you know i don't know how he manages to yeah to just cope went, do you you know went over to you know he's been to australia to the south sea yeah he's harvest. in the ocean looking for the looking for the conch yeah just splashing around in the in the nice beautiful blue waters we're not jealous much, aren't we? I've offered to be his assistant, but he's not taken me up on it. No, nor me. Nor me. They've sold out. Well done, everyone. Let's what? Coming up on tomorrow's show. Yes. So you've got lovely Carol. Who's it Carol tomorrow? With Azza Tazza, who very much held the fort, by the way, on Thursday for me. So I need to... Let's bring her in some chocolate. She's a lovely. Um, eight o'clock silver plated wire guardians. Oh, that's good. So you Ooh. had your collots today and you've got wire guardians tomorrow. And a hundred of them. That's amazing. Yeah, that's good. Amazing. Then at eight o'clock, um, you've got opalite, beautiful opalite mm -hmm. in your projects. And um, 10 o'clock, 35 carats of type A green jadeite, three to four mils. Amazing. Nice. What were we were saying today, weren't we? The most popular sizes. Then at 11 o'clock, it's all about your jadeite closeout deals. 12 o'clock, flower bee caps. Ooh. Loving that. Make sure you don't miss out, jewellery makers. I'm back with you. I'm actually back with you Thursday. I'm up back with you on Thursday. Um, but remember, on Friday is all about the launch of Colorado. It's Amazonite. Just... It's some of the best colour I've ever seen. I can't believe the colour. I cannot. It's completely natural, right? Yep. That is breathtaking. Breathtaking. Can I just throw, just, just throw this one out there? <gasps> now, normally Amazonite will come in classified as either bluish green or green. Mm -hmm. This is classified as blue. 
That's blue with bells on. Yeah. That's beautiful. Look at it. Blue oh, with bells I can't on. Cope. Amazing. Now that um, is coming up on Friday. Now I've got time to just quickly recap some beautiful pearls. Which pearls? Anne's pearls. I don't feel right saying that sentence. I don't know why it sounds. Laura, can you pass me Alan's pearls? <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, darling. Um, he had 600 of them and he broke the system, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did. Uh, <laughs> basically, it was like, okay, he'd been, he'd been absolutely... Well, he'd been railroaded into it, basically, because half the managers are on holiday. Yes. <laughs> so it's like, Alan, you do it. He's like, oh, I do um, But it, it did, little did we know that Alan's daughter's middle name is Pearl. I love that. That's nice. Mm. They're gorgeous. I've not seen them close up because I was over here. Aren't they very, lovely? Very, very, very lustrous. Um, I'm ever so sorry. Could you pass me a bust? That lovely navy one behind you would be perfect. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. That's the one, yeah. Warm, warmer, boiling. <laughs> That's the one. Now, if you didn't see what Alan did to these pearls, <laughs> um, oh, they're amazing and they're so lustrous. This is your second chance to buy jewelry makers. We had 600. How many have we got now, Roscoe? 105? Oof. Okay, literally. How gorgeous are these? They're like, they're like liquid gold. It's an opportunity for everybody to get their hands on pearls because they're gorgeous. Yeah, and you know, if you tuned in and were like, who's Alan? <laughs> who's, who's Alan? Uh, who's this guy? Six foot five guy that's just on our screens right now. Alan um, does all your promos. Um, not just for jewellery maker, across all the channels. Yeah, um, very busy. Yeah, so he does all the craft channels. He's a busy, busy guy. And he was kind of, yeah, basically railroaded into doing the deed of the day today um, to bring a, an amazing manager special closeout deals because they're all off on the jollies, aren't they? Um, however, there was a little bit of uh, to and fro in over the fourteen ninety nine price tag. Um, Alan was game for it. Ross wasn't. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> But to be fair, Ross, you weren't wrong. That is too low. Um, yeah. So grab it whilst you can. We've got literally double figure quantities and so many multi buyers out of the 600 that we originally started with. Conway got 10, Cumbria got six, Devon got five, Mary and Jerry got six. Uh, oh God, I honestly, the, the names are literally endless. 600 quantities. We've had a wonderful show from start to finish today, haven't we? Today's been amazing. It's been really enjoyable. It's been lovely to be here. Really enjoyable. You're off on your jollies as well, aren't you? Yeah, Friday, again. I went away with my daughter a few days and then she's not coming on this one. I'm going with my friends and my son and my granddaughter. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah. How long are you away for? Uh, just a week. Just a week. So I'm back on the 29th. A week's enough. It is enough. Yeah. Mm. I start pining my pets. I'm bringing one with me. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I start If I, if I go on holiday, I start missing my uh, fur babies. Yeah, me too. Um, after a week. That's not saying that I am going away for two weeks in the summer though. I'm just going to have to continue to miss them. Oh. I know. Um, 14.99 jewellery makers. Oh, do you know when you're back next? 29th. 29th. So we haven't got too long to wait for you then. No. Gorgeous, gorgeous Debs. We love you. Oh, thank you. We love you. you very, very much. Now, don't forget, coming up tomorrow, mm. amazing show and with our lovely Carol and Alison. I'm back with you on Thursday. Off the top of my head, I can't think um, what's coming up on Thursday, but I know it's going to be amazing. Friday is all about your Colorado Amazonite, like the launch of that, where you're going to be um, welcoming Ross into the studio. So, um, very exciting. Make sure you're checking out your baskets as well on Alan's Pearls. Um, <laughs> just feels weird. 
feels weird saying that, doesn't it? Um, but there is, there was, and there, uh, there is, uh, there were six hundred of them. So that's why you've got these, uh, this amazing price tag, and it is unprecedented, certainly given um, the current status. It's been fun. We love you, Debbie oh, Kershaw. Thank you for having me. Oh, always a pleasure, never a chore. And we love you as well, jewelry makers. I'll see you soon.